What a beautiful Paris Saint Germain family. PSG just played versus Clermont, and that game has ended. Bob, we gotta be honest here. We're not here to talk about that. We always do a podcast straight off to the game. If anyone has any questions about the Clermont game, you can ask that. But we're jumping straight into the FC Barcelona Paris Saint Germain fixture. This is what we care about. And uh, for the people that were in the live stream before, why it took it a little bit longer time is the thumbnail. I wanted to get it really high quality. It took me a bit of time. But I made it. We're here to discuss Barcelona versus Paris Saint Germain. And that will be pretty much all the content from today on until the second leg will be parts of PSG because that's all I care about. That's all everyone cares about. That's all the PSG fans, Barcelona fans care about. What about we're, this channel is about to milk this picture. And I'm ready for that. Linus is shaved head away from being back to 2020 anymore. <laughs> it wasn't 2020, it was 2022. All right. Uh, but yeah, we're closing in. Um, no, no, no. Don't say that. You know what? Because I'm not milking it for the money, I'm milking it for the exposure. The money comes by itself. I don't chase money, money chases me. You got to have that as the mentality. But yeah. Big game. This is a huge game. Huge game. And I can't wait. I'm so excited for this game. Way too excited. Audio, all right, let me improve it. Let me improve it. Oh. What? I, I, I accidentally had something else. Let me know if it's better now. It should be better now. Thank you so much, Jason. My boy. You want to bring... Streams when you preview these big games at Paris. Ace back. What do you mean by ace back? Who's ace? Can't wait for this man tonight. Man to get humbled. Six five Barca. <laughs> Yo, is that United's last victory? The three to versus Aston Villa. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, man. Wait, look. Now I'm going to change it again. Let me know if it becomes better now. Uh, let me know if it's better now. Like, I hate these kinds of questions and scenarios. If Mbappe gets benched. <sighs> If Chavez starts with nine players, you will get thrashed. Like, why are we going into these stupid scenarios, man? You talk about Phil? Or Lidor? Phil and Lidor are the only Barca fans that have been there. Wait. Wait. I remember we had a Barca fan on. For that Mbappe, Mbappe podcast. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, I, I think I'm on to who you're talking about. No, this guy is called Elmi. I remember we had two Madrid fans. We had Kingsley, Kingsley, and Jet Sensei, and then uh, this Elmi guy was a Barca fan. I don't remember Ace. No, just there's no plan for these slow blocks. Uh, yeah, it's an issue. This game, it's a bit different because. We have that Barca game coming up, plus we played like our B team. But yeah, Lucha definitely has to find ways. Thing is, like we're still at the top of league end, so it's not like he has to, but I would love him to find. 
Yeah. Do you feel a little bit nervous for the fixture? Just pure excitement. No nervousness, Linus. And that that doesn't even have to do with like me not rating Barca that highly. Like even if we came up against Prime Barca, I wouldn't be nervous because I'm not nervous. When I get nervous is when the game starts because then anything can happen. But now, calm, calm as calm as you like. Yes, sir. Hate to keep hating. No, I actually like to to answer or. Like, get involved with haters. Because haters hate to say something and be like, oh my God, uh, uh, I, I've triggered him. And then I come and like, no. And then they become quiet because they're like, okay. <laughs> like, Because if you can answer to hate, because I don't get affected by hate. If you can answer to hate, then you're even more unstoppable. I don't like to ignore it. I like to respond to it. Oh, a PSG fan. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Barca boy, um, I would try maybe to get him out of the pre-match podcast uh, the day before the game. Hi, no, do you have a Barca fan who you can... No, 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 I don't want to watch a game with an oppo oppo uh, opposition fan. Why you shave? You look weird. I, I shaved because this is my last shave for my entire rest of my life. I would like, keep my beard for the rest of my life. I was just club's last hopes in Champions League this year. PG team misses their flight to Barca. You guys are losing. You see, now, now we're cooking, Varon. <laughs> Yo, everyone is welcome here. Barca to win or draw? I mean, you're a Rashford fan. Arian? If you could find exactly what podcast it is, that would help a lot. Oh, wait. Now I remember. PSG win. He's job, my goat. <laughs> now he's actually, Linus is actually a Barca fan. Man, your team is so boring. You have to follow other teams. Disgusting donkey. What's up, Marco? No, no, no. We're here. Come on. Now, looking forward to the Barca game. Clermont is behind us. We don't give a fuck. Which Barca player do you think could cause PSG most problems on the left? Yeah. Okay, out of those players. Um, so, we're going to play Marquinhos as a makeshift right back slash right center back in those areas. None of them have pace. I think that is Marquinhos' biggest weakness if you have a pacey player like Rafael Leao was doing with him. Felix is obviously a great dribbler. Maybe could go past Marquinhos. But he's so slow that Marquinhos or someone else would recover. Ferran. Ferran is a good goal scorer, but not a good 1v1 player. Roque. Roque. I mean, he, he's not confident. He doesn't play good football at the moment. So I would have to say Rafinha. Audio is disgusting. Oh, my God. I keep changing it all the time. And you guys always complain. Wait. It's too Oh my god. Yo, my bad. I accidentally clicked the button here. Everyone is I mean we're playing Barca. We're playing a disgusting team. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh Michi, I will soon be showing the predicted lineup and everything. 50 goals and assists. Rashford, what in his career? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, Yes, yes. I will I will look at Barca boy and try to get him. Barca Media made a video. Well, you have to like I'm gonna invade. What kind of video? You have to walk up so we pay some champagne. Oh, they wanna uh, renew Pedri's contract. We we don't care about that. I mean if Ace comes in the chat and wants to come, he's welcome. Yes, Kangalu will start against Barca. Welcome, Mirza. Let's be honest. PSG ain't winning that game. Barca just restored Atletico Madrid. 0-3. PSG is done with the Champions League. Oh, my. This. Man, I'm guessing You're hurting side because how shit big job your club? No. So you're hating on other clubs to relieve the pain to quickly? I was not even mad. I was happy Mayulu and the left back start. I hope Mayulu can score a goal before the end of the season. Yes, sir. Future versus Barca ultimate podcast reaction. That's the video, brother. Three hour long. I mean, 
Yeah, no, no, now I remember who Ace is. He was the Mbappe fan. I mean, he wasn't a PSG fan. <laughs> I enjoyed uh, Mayulu's performance a lot, but, uh, him and Zagwe. And I think because we have such a good cushion at the top of League N and uh, prioritizing the upcoming Champions League games that will come now week in, week in, we should give Zagwe and uh, Mayulu more minutes, 100%. I enjoyed these crosses, and obviously, I, I love this goal that was disallowed. Yeah, the post match, oof, hopefully. Into some Bob's Insta story in the game's free. Oh, I didn't see it. Huge job, huge job. No, and Bob, what? Most appearances, PSG. Let's look where he is at the list. I know that. Oh, Marquinhos, by the way, Rivi. I mean, you have somehow one shot him. Marquinhos just be became our. Yeah, Marquinhos just became our most appearance, uh, highest appearance maker. Look at that. And you see, see him. He's also one of the Marquinhos, 435. My goat, man. Ultimate legend. Yes. Yeah, Mbappe is 11th. He could take over, he will take over Cavani, could take over the, and maybe even Thiago Silva and Bernard Lama. No, maybe not them two. I don't know if it's enough games. Huge job, man. Yeah, and I think most PSG players now said that everyone wants them up to stay, apart from a lot of us fans. Our midfield will either be the best midfield of all time, just absolute shit. There's no in between. We're too inconsistent. We're so inconsistent. Yeah, with and with Eriksen, uh, Christensen still not comfortable in this role. Dion coming back for a long-term injury. It will have to be a Gundogan carry job. And he's mostly, you know, your playmaker rather than a midfielder, someone that wins a lot of duels and all of that. Say we make it to the finals, inshallah. Who would you want to face? Real Madrid, Abdul. Give me Real. Give me Madrid. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how. Once you get two goals in the last seven games, you said our defense is trash. And I made him one HP. I mean, that is good form, but you've been facing mid teams. We got to be honest. But that's why you're going to face PSG. Oh. If you. Keep it good. If you only concede like one goal, then your defense is good. If you concede more than two goals, then your defense is bad. When do you plan to do the part with this game, brother? Uh, so today is like a big part we're doing right here. Then Tuesday, straight after the City Games, so like the day before the Barca game, we're going to have another pod. And in the meantime, we're going to be uploading a lot of videos and content. Like Thoughts on Juice Kunde, do you rate him? I rate him somewhat more as a center back than an actual right back or like a right center back in a three at the back. I think that's his best position. Uh, it'll be interesting how he plays against uh, Paris Saint Germain, but he's been in good form recently and acted Kvarat Skelia. So I think he's ready for this battle, but he won't be enough. Yeah. I'm glad Ryan finally posted something good about PSG. Oh. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Well, I wasn't able to watch the game because of Taraway, but already the new caller dropped a sinker. He's so at. Oh my, he was so ass, man. Even Gonzalo, they, he had that good moment, the goal, but we, we have to buy so many more players next season, Omar. We, we got to. Mu'alaikum as-salam, The way PSG played today, this will be a problem against Barca? I mean, why? We played against Clermont. We're 12 points clear at the top of Ligue 1, and we played with an entire B11. Like, we don't care. Yeah. They made a video about three key bats between PSG and Barca? Zach is going to be here. Just okay. Yeah. <laughs> Kingsley, if we, I, know, I just know, Kingsley, you know we'd never get prop. If we beat Madrid in a final, you know they say Madrid don't play finals. They win finals. The um, if we win, we gotta get prop. <laughs> Pakistan, I have a close friend that's Pakistani. Pakistan is a beautiful country. Urdu being their national language, Islamabad being their capital. Great food, great people, great Muslims, great religion. I'm very positive about Pakistan. <laughs> Second leg, so the first leg is Wednesday coming up. 
The second leg is the Tuesday next, uh, the week after that. Do you think Skinner's gonna? No, absolutely no. <laughs> As I said, uh, I, I had to make this thumbnail. It took me a long time. Here, I can even show it to you. I mean, you have seen it when you clicked on the video, but oh, well. it's a beauty. Killer, it's a beauty. <laughs> but welcome. Whoop Trngop. With Trngop. <laughs> I'm not allowed to on top is so behind. But yeah. I know, I know. Like Screenyar made the chance happen and then couldn't clear it. So as David said he will come on. Yeah, I've sent a link in the group chat. Let's let's uh, see when he comes. Maji. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Uh, you know, when I was young, I used to like art a lot. Art was like one of my favorite subjects. And I used to draw a lot as well when I was young. So that's why I like making them. Robbie Lou. Yeah, isn't that white uh, Barca YouTuber with like hair like this? Mm -hmm. I mean, he makes this generic uh, NPC videos, but good quality. I sometimes watch his videos. Uh, which player piece are you going to be in Barca again? I will soon be showing the, the lineup and everything. Oh, uh, Omar, David said he will join, so I think he will be joining us soon. No. By the way, Omar, um, the only thing you want to see from the, the Clermont game, like from highlights, yes, is the Gonzalo goal. That was a good goal. And no. Mayulu scored a goal, but it was disallowed. I will try to find the goal if I can. Oh, I should just take it into the fucking... Oh, dumb. Exactly, stop time. Uh, what the? How is there no Mayulu goal? I could kill you, be careful. Mayulu, 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 Mayulu. How has nobody uploaded the? Oh, it's gotten already copyrighted. My copyright rules are the gayest rules I've ever seen. Probably oh, wasn't hovering. I'm coming. Okay, yeah, go, uh, Ahmad. It, it, it doesn't exist on Twitter. Exactly. Oh, maybe I can find it here. I'm here. Try, I'm PSG. I got everything. I will show you this my little goal, man. Because he got this lock because there was a tackle before the goal was made. Oh, I found it. Look at this beauty, people. This is our 17-year-old. Uh, first sock for PSG. Look at this beauty, people. Look at that. He receives it here. This is Mayulu. Look, receives it. One touch. Pop! Let's go back. Receives it. Pop! Oh! Right before half time, man, that was such a beauty. Oh, Unlucky. Nine. Yes, he is. I mean, Kerry at least had a, a good period. Any Mayula comp? No, not yet. I mean, let me search. Maybe there is one. Oh, yeah, there is a Mayula comp. Comp's PSG, man. I'm so happy that he's back. Same, so yes, so. He was cooking, Omar. He was man of the match. 
Like he was doing some beautiful stuff. Uh, before he got he got it from Asensio, but Asensio got it from um, Zagwe. Zagwe tackled the player and didn't get the ball, so they went back after and looked at it. Oh, what happened to the super? Tall black center back piece used to have lost here. I thought he was the future of PSG. Oh, Bichiabo. Uh, we sold him off to RB Leipzig where he received the ACL, but just recently came back from it. Uh, he had really high potential, but you know, some youngsters they're good, they have high potential, but you know, they need time. And PSG, unlike Barca, we don't have that time. Barca have to give these young players time. Why? Because they don't have that much money. They can make transfers. Whereas Paris Saint Germain, it's like they're they're more in a hurry. <clears throat> I would soon show it. Social era. No, 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 no. <laughs> Defensively, it's not. He, he didn't have to defend. That was why he was good this game. <laughs> okay. What's the reason that the player PSG starts so badly? What do you mean start so badly? Ramos? No, uh, we didn't sell Ramos. His contract ended. We wanted to extend him on a lower wage, and he accepted. But when Luis Enrique came in, he said no, because him and Luis Enrique had beef uh, on the Spanish national team. But let's actually watch this uh, Barca media video. I want to see what he's going to say. If it's just a load of BS, as usual, or if he has something smart to say in this video. Let's see. I wish the game was on Tuesday. I can't wait any longer for this game. The vibes should be unmatched. Yes, sir. Now I'm happy. Actually, Tuesday we got we got a big match to watch. You want PSG to win Champions League or Mbappe to stay? PSG to win the Champions League. I don't I want Mbappe to leave. Barca's danger man, uh Gundogan Lewandowski. Them too. How you go better I want to, but my, my main Twitter account has been suspended, so I can't get those. Uh, I don't have those messages at the moment. Like, so where did you start against Barca? Uh, so like uh, Nuno, Lucas, Beraldo, Marquinhos. Yeah, that one, yeah. No, Danilo. Danilo wasn't even good that today. What do you think is hilarious when someone says that Barca is going to win? Because there's such a huge gap between the two clubs. It's like saying, I mean, they have a chance, but... Yeah. No, you know what? I actually don't have an issue with Barca fans uh, th thinking they can win. No. No, Skinner was actually good, like, good, decent at the beginning of the season, but just recently... He recently came back from a big injury, so... Yeah. Thoughts on Serie 70 Saudi? Um... Nobody really cares. He wants everyone to care, but nobody cares about him. You see, Kip? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I don't know what they were talking about. Maybe Mbappe wanted the victory. I don't really know. Maybe Mbappe wanted to play more minutes. Maybe Mbappe's like, oh, you see, you should have started me. I don't really care. Mm -mm. You see, that's why I'm not into this. I'm into the Yamal hype, but that Yamal is going to have a great game? Absolutely no. This is not friendly. This is not Las Palmas. This is not Granada. Leva can score a goal, and Gundogan, he's been your best player this season. Cancelo would be one of those players, Linus, but he got to defend in this game. It must be at least two good gap. 100%. That's exactly how I'm feeling. Stay calm and let us cook. Everyone is downing us just because we tied one game. That didn't matter. Let them use their gimmicks. Let our performance talk for us. Yes, sir. I don't think Yamal will easily cook a play like Nuno Mendes or Fosu David. You, you see, I don't understand. Wait, Mendes, I Wait, I don't understand why you put Nuno on Alfonso Davis. Alfonso Davis can't defend. He's great offensively, but he can't defend. That tag has never been put on Nuno Mendes. You're just thinking, oh, he's quick and black. He's the same as uh, Davis. No, he's the best defender out of... He's better defender than Ake and Mendy. <laughs> like, he, he's like elite on both flanks. Defensively and offensively. Number three. You see everyone's celebrating, especially the girls on FT when you got packed on Twitter? I know, Fonzie. I know. I'm, just gonna go with I, I'm a very controversial figure. Um, and I love it. Not because I'm, I don't really care. I love it because I'm myself. And that's what people feel about me. But I'm going to be back. When you have haters, you're doing something right.
When I think about Pittsburgh's boss, I get excited when I realize the bar, bar. Why do you think Barca might beat us? Jesus. Fun fact, Luis Enrique is nine matches away from making Pitch's all-time record of it beaten. And I think that's like in the 1985 something season. So this is the best like post KSI ever. Serie A. I think you only rate old Barca players that are already rated. No, well, this is the big Champions League game. It's usually the experienced players that perform in big Champions League games. That goes for any team, including Paris Saint-Germain, including FC Barcelona. Leva has been in the Champions League. He's done stuff like this. Gundogan has been in the Champions League. He's done stuff like this. Both of them previous Champions League winners. His defending has been so underrated since he's been back. His defense has been much better than offense. 100% Omar. Because he isn't, he isn't making those runs yet. Still getting back to his best Omar. And maybe Lucio will start tweaking around stuff. But defending-wise, beautiful, man. I mean, the thing is, let me make Ramos score against himself. Yeah, he can't be stopped. If Acer gets his ult off and just one shot, anyway. Ramos score. Are you talking about 37 year old Sergio Ramos? Acer right now is really, really strong. No, 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 no. You see? Never give up. Never give up. Trust me. No, we have. Wait. Uh, eight, 17 times two, that's 34. It's match day 29. Yeah, five games. You're right. I said today an Oscar account, Rodrigo, gonna join Pigeon Summer. No, no, nothing, nothing yet. No, and I don't think Real would sell to Pigeon. I think Rodrigo will stay in Madrid. Were you completely disregarding one of the best midfielders in the world, Frankie De Jong? Because he's never been one of the best midfielders in the world. Maybe in La Liga with Barca? When the Champions League, he's never had that kind of performance. And with him coming back from a one-month injury, I don't, I don't see him as one of the top players coming into this game for Barcelona. Uh, two, I think Araujo and Kunde. He doesn't have Verratti and Neymar to feed that pause that he loved. You need the others to do it. I mean, it was correct move. Uh, the thing is, he do doesn't even need those passes, Omar. He just needs to get the ball high. Like, Fabian, just give it to him on the flank. He can cook his 1v1 easily, Omar. Like, he's on par with Dembele dribbling-wise, Omar. Like, there are two best dribblers in the team. Uh, Lamine was bad in the first game versus Napoli. The second game, he was good. Uh, for moments, I, I, and he played against Oliveira. And I can't compare him to Nuno. And I don't consider Napoli a big game because Napoli have been mid this season. It's only Barca fans that started hyping up I, Napoli after beating them. Okay. That makes me feel like yeah. we're going to win if experience is important. Yeah, I mean, I look, both of us have an average age pretty much the same. I think we have like I mean, I, 0 0.5 younger than you guys, so not that big of a difference. No. When it comes to experienced players, we have Kylian Mbappé, we have Lucas Hernandez, right. we have Marquinhos. Like yeah, purely, no. strictly starting 11. Somewhat Fabian Ruiz, somewhat Dembele. You guys have Ter Stegen, Lewandowski, Gundogan. Somewhat De Jong. That's it. Okay. Now is so we're pretty much the same when it comes to that. Yes, I will. Mm. How do I have overconfidence? You see Donna's reaction to the amount of extra time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, he, Donna, Donna, man. Nah, he, he's a true Parisian, man. I love it. No, he was. He's just gotten even better. Six games left. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it also depends on what the other teams in the league do. Like, Brest play tomorrow, and they are the closest team to us. We're going to back off either way. Frankie De Jong has not been better than Gundogan this season. And he's not a better player. I don't know where you got what, FIFA rating? Bro is more considered about the quarterfinals than Luis Enrique himself? I mean... What? I'm not concerned about the quarterfinals. I'm excited. The young with Ajax was in the FIFA XI. Yeah, that's why I said semi-experienced. Yeah, but you should... Uh...
Split. Vinny's gonna stay at Madrid. So you should go mid. Like 80%, 85%. Okay, Mario Rui and Oliveira. Uh, Oliveira was in the first leg and Please. both are ass. Really experienced left back. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so thankful that you guys don't have Verratti to go on midfield this time. Linus, there's another boy in town and he's called Vitor Ferreira. Me. I mean, I don't count it. It was like one season. What team does your brother... He doesn't watch football. No, Gavi's injured for the rest of the season. Hopefully he can help. Maybe, maybe. Isn't the Napoli's bad? Just Napoli always come against us? I think we got a perfect trip. That's true, that's true. No, I'm just saying, like, if we compare Napoli this season to last season, such a huge difference. <laughs> Not anymore. When I... You know what? Yeah, okay. Look, when I was a kid, I used to actually uh, collect football cards. So that's a great question, Ibrahim. I used to collect this. I only collected one version. It was this. It's the 2014 World Cup. Yeah, well... Now our two two six younger. Let me see where the special player is at. Oh, so I had here. Here I had Cristiano Ronaldo. Let me see if I have some. Add Neymar. Glenn or I don't know if my special cards are here or not. Ibraga, David Silva, Ribery. I gotta have Messi somewhere. Like, look how fun. Xavi Hernandez, Karim Benzema, Philip Lam, Cristiano Ronaldo, Fabregas, Modric, Gerard Piquet, Kilini, Matsumus, Podolski, Lam. Oh, and I have some Champions League cards as well. I have Neuer, Champions League. But I don't do that anymore. This was when I was much younger. So I, when I was like 13. Oh, I have some special Thiago Silva card here. And here it was some UEFA kickers. Kickers cards. So I have like a Blaze Match with D card. Oh, I have a legend card here. It's a Peter Schmeichel legend card. Oh, all right. I think this was like my best car, probably. It was Ibra 2014 World Cup. Plus this. Um, Evra, I had a Modric special card. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, this one is good as well. It's a Ronaldo special card. From the World Cup, I have a Thiago Silva special card, Buffon, oh, Patricio. Okay, so I don't have Messi. Other account. Robin special card. Well, that's it for my car collection. I have even more, but well, I will. I will do this uh, video here in the meantime. I'll be back in one second, people. Yet, if Barcelona can get a win at PSG, they're going to be one step closer to having a historic season. And not because I believe that Barcelona is going to win the Champions League, mainly because no one expected for Barcelona to go this far in the Champions League. A team that is young and a team that is under construction. We don't even have to talk about the squad itself, but even financially, we're under construction. No one expected for Xavi Hernandez's Barcelona to do this great. I do think that if Barcelona go into the semifinals of the Champions League, it's going to be much more impressive than what Ajax did back in the 2018-2019 season. Yes, I know that maybe Ajax probably had worse players than the Barcelona team that 
we see today. Maybe yes, Xavi Hernandez has better players, but everybody saw this Barcelona team that conceded a lot of goals that were mentally and spiritually broken. The main talk three months ago was about Napoli beating Barcelona, and now we're talking about Barcelona maybe going to the semifinals. So I do want to speak about the starting eleven that we are most likely going to be seeing against PSG, and then talk about the three important key battles. So let's start with the starting eleven, and it says here according to sport that Stehen, Kunde, Araujo, Kubarsi, Cancelo, Lamine, Mar, Rafinha, and Lewandowski are all expected to start against PSG. The midfield is where decisions still need to be made, such as whether or not Frankie De Jong should be a starter. Now there is a really big question mark on whether Frankie De Jong is going to be starting. Okay, for sure, he will feature. Well, I'm back squad. now. Um, has been said, according to Benayad, that Barcelona wants to take zero risk with Pedro. Yeah, the Ronaldo card was my best one. Cook, cook. Okay, so I, I heard what he said. Point expected for Barcelona to go this far in the Champions League. This is a lie. So first of all, everybody expected FC Barcelona to go through their group stage. They had the weakest group stage in the entirety of the Champions League this season. Second of all, I don't actually know. I predicted Barca to go through against Napoli. I knew they would go through against Napoli. He's trying to play here some kind of victim card. And then what he said here, Barcelona what was that it? We see today. Maybe yes, Xavi Hernandez has better players, but everybody saw this Barca Champions League. It's going to be much more impressive than what Ajax did back in the one expected for Xavi Hernandez's Barcelona to do this great. I do think that if Barcelona go into the semifinals of the Champions League, it's going to be much more impressive than what Ajax did back in the 2018-2019. Barca, okay, I understand beating Paris Saint-Germain is a big accomplishment, but the Ajax team beat Real Madrid. The Ajax team beat Juventus with both wins coming away. They beat Madrid 4-1 away. And they should have been in the final. They just bottled it. How is he comparing this Borussia team to Ajax? Let's look at Ajax. 18-19. So this was their um, line, line, 11 that they used the most. Onana. Daily Blind. I remember this was their first Champions League season ever. Masrawi, Tagliafico, Schöne, De Jong, Van de Beek, Ziyech, Neretz, and Tadic. He's comparing this to... Oh my god, you can't see the screen. Sorry. This is the team Ajax had. He's comparing this to Lewandowski, Araujo, Gundogan, Ter Stegen, Yamal, the generational best 16-year-old of all time. No, what the fuck? Barca fans, please. <laughs> Do you agree with the, your YouTuber here, what he's saying? That's fucking insane, man. 19 season. Yes, I know that maybe Ajax probably had worse players than the Barcelona team that we see today. Maybe, yes, Xavi Hernandez has healthy. I think that... That's a disgusting take that there is no right there. for him in the 11, mainly because Gundogan is... Okay, so this is the, the first Kunde match. that we are seeing today is the best Kunde that we have seen in his career. The games that he has had against Napoli and against Atletico Madrid really did show just how much of a world-class right back he could be. And I do think that coming up on Wednesday, going up against PSG will be his biggest challenge ever. Like ever. Like if Kunde is really showing that he is becoming the best right back in the world, show us, right? Show to the Barcelona fans. Show to the world why you Mr. are the best right back, right back in the world and why no one can take you down. Because you are going to be having the biggest challenge. And that is Kylian Mbappe, a former, a former teammate coming from the national team. And it's insane for me to say this because three to four months ago, Kunde was not at his best but in the recent weeks he has gained so much confidence so much motivation so much physical health it has been said that the reason why Kunde has been improving so much it is because he works with a physical trainer individually after every game just to make sure that Kunde is always feeling strong and those days of Kunde thinking that he's much better as a center back than as a right back is long gone and let me tell you guys if Kunde has a ounce of doubt of him playing in that position let me tell you this if Kunde ends up having a good performance against PSG and shutting down Kylian Mbappe he's going to be like oh wait a minute there's no way I just did this there's no way I stopped Kylian Mbappe the best left winger in the world I did this as a right back maybe Chavi Hernandez had a point like he's really going to realize just how good he is if everything ends up going in the correct way it's like saying like if you go to a math test and you always thought that you're not good at math and then you end up passing the math test with like an A plus or A minus. You're like, wait a minute, am I really that good in math? I didn't know that. I didn't even try it. Maybe I should build my career based off math and major in mathematics. And so in the end, Kunde is going to be having a huge defensive responsibility. And I think that because of that, he will be sitting deeper. I don't necessarily think that he's going to be joining Lamin Yamal as much to make like those overlapping runs or to connect for a one-two. And that's okay because I do think that when Yamal is by himself, he's capable to bring the game to life on his own. He does not necessarily need another player. Even though I know that it would help, Yamal is somebody who can take down two to three players by himself, mainly because of his talents. Also, Kunde will not be on his own. Yes, he would have to face Kunde, but another player behind him will be Araujo. 
Because let me tell you, we are definitely going to be seeing a lot of Dembélé making those crosses from the right wing and into the box for killing a puppet to arrive inside the box and meet that cross. Very similar to the combination of Inaki Williams and Nico Williams. And that's very dangerous because it would be really hard to stop those crosses knowing that Kylian Mbappe can make those really fast sprints inside the box. And Araujo and Kunde are going to have to be very on top of their toes. And let me tell you guys this, right? Because knowing how dynamic Kylian Mbappe is, he can move to the left, to the right, to the center, back and forth. He can do all of those things. And because of that, he is very dangerous. Let's remember that we're talking about the exact same player where he scored two goals within a span of like eight to 10 minutes against Argentina in the World Cup final. Even if you shut him down for 85 minutes, he can show up for just five minutes and that's all he needs. Those two goals that Kylian Mbappe did score, a lot of it did have to do with him moving in and out, becoming very dynamic, being much more hyperactive. Now, Mitch, I don't think... Because if Mbappe was a touchline winger like Vinny, I could see that happen. Mbappe is not. Mbappe plays as a left forward, so he's like a striker and a, a left wing. So you keep Araujo in the center and Kunda on the right. I don't see Le Chabi he do doing that. that. He ends up feeling alive, and it's up to Barcelona, especially with Kunde and Araujo, to make sure that he does not feel alive at all. That they are the boss on the field. That so we take the ball away from him within a span of one to two seconds. He should not even get a chance to receive the ball and turn his face to the goal. Not a chance. And so that's what's going to lead us to point number two: Dembélé. Dembélé versus Cancelo is going to be another key battle. If you want to stop Dembélé from being effective, you stop his crosses. Because you and me know Dembélé. His crossing is so precise; it's not even funny. Usually, he likes to use his left I mean, foot we, to bring the ball. We we don't cross at PSG, so forward into space to take down one of the defenders and then use his right foot to cross the ball. Or sometimes when he has the ball on the right flank, he fakes it with his right foot and uses his left foot to cross the ball. Cancelo is going to have to be very well aware on just how quick Dembélé is and how fast he can distribute those crosses. Like, just think about this. You know how fast La Minimal and Rafinha like making the crosses into the box for Lewandowski? Just think about Dembélé being two or three steps above what La Minimal and Rafinha could do. And so it's going to be difficult because Cancelo is slower. And so what I expect for Cancelo to do is to block Dembélé's path to the ball and get in front of Dembélé because he is not going to be Dembélé on a 1v1 run to the ball. It's just not going to happen. Cancelo has to immediately get in front of Dembélé. So just like Koundé, Cancelo is going to have to make the left back position his. Now what's going to be difficult to predict is that Dembélé has been playing as a right winger, sometimes even behind a front two. So as a central attacking midfield, we don't know where he's going to be playing, but for sure he will be playing within the realms of the right wing position. In the end, I want to see Cancelo make those runs into the final third once Rafinha does have the ball because Dembélé does not like to track back. And even if he does, he's really weak at that. He barely wins 1v1 defensive duels. So literally Hakimi Wait. is going to be by himself and that's what's going to lead me towards the last key battle that is between Rafinha and Hakimi. Rafinha is a player where like every time I think about him, I just think about a player that gives out his best. Like to him it's now or never. Like when he was younger, he was never the most talented. He was never the player that everybody called one of the best that's coming from Brazil. No one called him the golden boy. No one knew who Rafinha was when he was 23, 24, 25 years old. Maybe yes, some Brazilian fans, but in the world of football, generally, no one knew who Rafinha was until he was linked to Barcelona. And now Rafinha has this chance to really be an important player for Barcelona. He cannot make no excuses and he knows that. No matter where he does play, he's going to try his best. And that's why I do think that Rafinha, when he plays on the left wing position, he is now able to bring great results because he has been working on it. It's the only opportunity that he has. And in this game against PSG, his main job is going to be to run behind the defense. Hakimi is going to have a big job because I don't see Dembele making any sort of defensive efforts. And I think that Cancelo or Rafinha are going to have to really punish Hakimi over and over again. Rafinha, the main one because he has the most stamina and he has to make those runs behind Hakimi. Rafinha knows how to make the runs on a defender's blind spot. Like, how do you think Rafinha made that goal against Las Palmas? That is because he made those runs behind the defense and found the long ball from Joao Felix. He's really good at it. And so if, you, if Rafinha can do the exact same thing, but on the left flank, everything else will fall into place. Once he receives the ball, he can make those crosses into the box where Lewandowski can find the crosses. And so I hope that Cancelo can be used as like bait for Hakimi to step up, come out of position, and for Rafinha to run behind Hakimi. That is the only thing that needs to happen over and over again. As for Lamine Yamal, like I don't even I don't even want to mention him because he's gonna do things that are gonna be very unexpected, unexpected events. He's gonna be taking down two to three players, bossing the right flank, and that's what you call what the fuck is this, man? He's been saying this fucking Lamia Yamal is gonna take down two to three players. This isn't fucking Granada, man. What the fuck is he talking about? Oh my god. I could see Yamal coming inside and cooking Fabian. That could definitely happen. Fabian is not that mobile. But Nuno, he's gonna maybe, maybe if he is good, cook Nuno maybe once, maybe twice. What the fuck? Cook two to three players. I'm not even saying that about Dembélé. <laughs> I'm not even saying that about Mbappé. <laughs> Your mom's gonna dribble past the need to four players. Oh my god! When Vinny scored the hash against them, he was playing left forward. So Mbappé gonna cook. Yeah, that's the thing. Mbappé plays in that role. It will be because you can't mark him then. Because when uh, Vinicius is just, just off the left wing, you guys had Benzema centrally. It's much easier taking Vinny out of the game. You just put, put Araujo really close on him. But Mbappe will move around so much. You can't man mark him. I love the E2. I love that. And I think now for the remaining six league end games we have left, I want to see them get more game time 100%. Lucio, we're ready to play any match. So obviously, we're ready for Champions League. All the players are available and ready to play for Wednesday, except President Kimpembe. You show sure? Bro doesn't watch Yamal. I do watch Yamal. I have watched Yamal. I watched his sinker versus Las Palmas. I watched his sinker versus Napoli. I watched his very interesting, but well, somewhat stinky game versus Real Betis. I watched his good game versus Napoli. I watched his... Good game versus Brazil. 
I've watched Yamal. It's just that you guys overrate him. That's my issue. Especially because this is the biggest game. <laughs> like, this is a huge game. And you guys are expecting Lamin Yamal to play like it's a La Liga game. That's my issue with it. Yamal doesn't watch it. Yo, but these Barca fans watch. I think we have a better midfield and defense than you, but you have a much better attack. Uh, you know what? The midfield part, I could always be okay with giving way. Why? Because that is our weakest part. But with you guys missing Gavi and Pedri, I still think we have a better midfield. And defense, I mean, it, it's not even a debate. You have a 19-year-old Kubarsi, Cancelo who can't defend, they couldn't be playing out of position. To Paris Saint-Germain, we have Nuno Mendes and Ashraf Hakimi, the best two fullbacks in the world. Our centre-backs, Lucas Hernandez, Beraldo Mar... But it's okay. It's okay. Have a feeling Barca are going to get cooked by PSG. Deb, sir, you have a great feeling. What, what is your feeling saying prediction? Who going to play the striker? We'll soon come to him. Yes, Barcola will come off the pitch. No, no, no. Marco, could you send it to me on Twitter? This ain't Ugarte? I don't... Maybe, maybe Mbappe? <laughs> Because they think Mbappe is everything at this club. Uh, but no, we don't really have overrated players because we don't have that much PR. And what do you think of Kari coming back? Yeah, I, I think uh, he will get a chance under Lutra in the preseason and hopefully he performs well. Imagine Mbappe Hatchik, Vini Mbappe on my days. Watch the guy crying and coming. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Beral who? <laughs> but to be fair, Quinn is quite versatile though. Yeah, but he just no nowhere he does right back as a center back. Conway, it's gonna be a cracker, even as a city fan. I think the first leg would be tighter than what people think, but PSG should definitely come through. Oh, and it's bad the plans, yeah. Lee, Lee, no Ramos. Stop this Ramos stuff. Uh three three one or four one first leg, then second leg, maybe like a two, two, three, two. This Marcus last chance prove he is in a bum. If he performs as promised in Ligan, we should keep. Inshallah, man. I want it for him. And he just became our top appearance maker of all time. We should care when we got Hakim best for back in the world. He's a good athlete for sure. We could come put a decent cross. Yeah, that's that's like his flaw. Like no one is perfect. Like he's obviously not comparable to Nuno in my eyes, but in terms of, you know, Hakimi, I like to compare him to Valverde. What they do off the ball is what makes them so elite. And even with the ball. I mean, he still has like four goals, five assists this season. Excited with Shiva. We'll see from the Ulster Wednesday. Yes, sir. Kwas is going to shock a lot of the casual ones. I think people are in for awakening. The thing with Kubarsi this time, he won't face a striker. I could not really face Osiman, you could say. We don't play with a striker on the right. So it's going to be interesting. Because we play with an extra midfielder, so he has to drop deep then and then recover a lot. Very tough. Is it Asia's channel for the previous tomorrow? Um, I've previously been on Asia's channel a long time ago. Um, if he invites me, I would love to come, but I don't think he will. What's up, Trunks? Yes, sir. No, No chance. The only thing that Barca have over us is the midfield. We we'll have a good defense. I want him to start. Lucas. Yeah, Lucas will start. You see, the normal mad in the fourth ref on performance extend. The players are more invested now, finally. We're much more co collective, much more united. So I, it's, I think it's about the vibe at the club, but then leader. Yeah. Napoleon and Alexander the Great once said, you if you have an army of lions and the leader is a dog, the lions are going to fight like a dog. But if you have an army of dogs and a leader that is a lion, the dogs are going to fight like lions. I mean, my... We went from Pochettino Galtier to bitches to Luis Enrique. Dub, dub, dub. Main is 450. All right. Uh, he can take second best. Second best. I don't take one. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm not playing with you because I don't have time. Yeah, I, I think a lot of it has to do with the, the AFCON. He didn't come back well. 
Uh, and then, you know, Dembele has also started to play more inside Omar. And we know that Dembele, Hakimi, link up how gray is. Well, I 100% agree, 100%. Football club? Is it just called football club? We could watch almost impossible to press him, which would be interesting. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I don't think when Kobasha has the ball, we press that much. We press much more when Christensen has the ball, when Kunda has the ball, we'll be physical on Yamal. Okay, I'll talk about Kola versus Barca with Dembele and Mbappe and have Fabian Kang together with Tina DM or Raba. I would actually have more Kinos right back. Mbappe looked really good, but I'm scared they're going to put like three people on Mbappe. There will be no other goal there. They can't. Okay. Cancelo will push a lot, which means that Dembele will be left 1v1 with Kobayashi in open field. Do you think he can handle him? N no. I mean, Kobayashi will probably sometimes win the ball, but when he doesn't win, oof. Mm. I feel like you're the one. Can you show us the live stream? Uh, be, the channel will get copyrighted. The stream will be taken down. Oh, we'll come back. Yes, sir. Mr. Neymar definitely display up complaints into clicks. Mbappe genius for King of the Mouth. No, no, no. Mbappe is part of that. That's why I want Mbappe to leave. No, no, no. That, he's the last slick we have left at this club. No, no. I saw Barcola with Mbappe and then Belay with Kang in midfield with Warren Vitina because from his two moment. No, no, no. Fabian has to play. Uh 2026, I think. And we're trying to extend him. And so far it's looking good. We we have a good start uh, in extension talks. What did the buy do? Uh Theo Hernandez. <laughs> this forward line against Barca first is we start calling Bob and Billy because of the speed. No, I'll I'll play Kangi Lee. Barca should play with mid block and let PJ have the position if they want to go through. I agree. The thing is, though, Barca are not used to playing in the mid block, so they, they, it wouldn't look good. It wouldn't be a good mid block. Please you don't lose it to Pal. These Barca guys are funny. They're not ready, man. They're not ready. Uh, I don't know if I could call it out of position because I think he can play both left back and right back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For example, uh, if you go to the advanced metric, with my mid kill again. So when you go to the advanced metric. When you go to this advanced metric here, and you go to this one. So this is called uh, post-shot expected goals. This is like how many goals you're saving your team. Donnarumma this season, if you go to per 90 as well, Donnarumma this season has saved 0 0.45 goals. Let me zoom in a bit more. Donnarumma has saved Paris Saint-Germain 0.45 goals every single game per game. Now let's look for Ter Stegen. And this is per 90, so I know he hasn't played that many games, but let's look for him. How much has Ter Stegen saved Barcelona this season? There we have him. I can't even see. Back in Germany. Here's Ter Stegen. He's saving Barca. 0 0.05, no, 0 0.04 goals per game compared to Dona 0 0.45. It's not comparable. No, yeah, it, it, they're just not comparable. No more, so much better. Excuse me, pass me through of the search and age like the better goals currently. Richard, you know, I just think it looks worse than it is. You know how Messi had that first season in PSG? I think Dembélé has something similar. But he also has to do with Richardinho with Dembélé. He's not playing as an attacker. He's more playing as a midfielder. That's why Haki Hakimi has more XG than him. Hakimi has had more dangerous chances. Because Dembélé is always outside of the box. And it's much harder, obviously. And he doesn't even take that many long shots. Yeah. Dembélé is just playmaker for Hakimi, playmaker for Vitinha, playmaker for Mbappe, playmaker for the team. 
He's never in goal scoring opportunities. But yeah, his finishing has been worse than it usually is. And do you think Liverpool will be Juventus' record for most games unbeaten and actually will end up season in beating all competitions? Yes, I think so. Ooh, all competitions? I see them, I see them losing uh, in the Europa. I don't think they will in Europa. What do you think of Garza? To me, it seems he has lost confidence. You can tell he must be used to the speed up league again. I think he's lost a bit of confidence, but then it, with us having Lucha's managers, it's, a lot has to do with profile. We are a position-based team. Ugarte is a player that suits a counter-attacking more. So, yeah, that's why Ugarte hasn't really worked at PSG because his profile doesn't suit what Lucha wants to play. Ushan has to start to act as a poach and pure striker in the box with Mbappe on the left and Kangli on the right with the Billy in the 10. Ooh, that could be a nice th thing to try out, podcast plug. But the thing is, I think it's too late for the season now to be trying stuff out like that. Maybe in the upcoming league games until the semi final, if we go through versus Barca. Um, but I mean, we saw it versus Nice in the Coupe de France, and Oshala didn't do anything in that game. Oh. Uh, Denzel, DM me on uh, Twitter. PSG ends on Twitter, and I will fix uh, hook you up. Yeah, yeah, you want that to happen. You want it to be like that. I would start Kangli because then you have an additional midfielder. Wow. For me, the most important thing against Barca is to out position them. I want to have like a 70 30 percent position game. Even if Barca try to press us, we just have so many midfielders that are so good at Barca tennis that Barca can't win the ball. They drop a bit back, and then we can just like dominate them. Yeah, I mean, we don't play that many long balls behind the line. We occasionally do it here and there, so it's not that big of a thing. So I must have already asked, but thought to my I found him really interesting. He's presently quick. He fought to get the ball back to you. Now, I absolutely love it, Trunks. He has the mentality, which I definitely saw. He was like fighting. He, he took this game as an audition. When I saw him in the starting lineup, I was like, let me, I better see something from Yamal today. Uh, for Mayulo, and I definitely saw it. Happy for him. Do you think Mayulo will get loaned last season? <sighs> They're different, man. Mayulo comes straight from the academy and is French. Okay. Plus, Lucha's already played with him. I mean, he didn't make the decision to loan Xavi out, so no, I think Mayulo will stay. I could see Zagwe loaned out. Stash Merchant? No, okay, money, because I can say Donnarumma is much better than Ter Stegen. And you're like, okay, why would I believe that? Then I prove you with the stats as well. So it makes my argument even more valid. I watch the games. Donnarumma is a much better shot stopper than uh, Mark and Ter Stegen this season. Sure. PSG hasn't faced a good team since December. I mean, we've faced semi good teams in, in Ligue 1. Stade de Rennes, we've faced Nice, we've faced Marseille, but faced Lyon soon as well. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, that's why we need the Super League, man. Do you think Araujo could handle Mbappe? I think Araujo would do a good job on Mbappe. That's usually what Mbappe's weakness is. A, a physical, quick defender like Araujo. But Mbappe will 100% go past him a couple of times. But Araujo will probably do the best job we've maybe seen on Mbappe. Um... I mean, it's against Clermont and Richardino. What, what is the level we have for him? Personally, I think the player plays the best game this season against Barca. He's an extra incentive to, as he's playing his former club. And what's the nice the nose from Barca fans? 100%. Plus, he's playing in this new role, and Barca don't have that strong of a pivot. That's why they're playing Christensen there and De Jong. The Bili could cook them. Who thinks Barca's biggest threat? I've already said uh, it's Ilkay Gundogan and Lewandowski. Yamal, this game will be too big for him, in my opinion, too early on in his footballing career. And the Cancelo won't attack that much because he will have to defend a lot with Dembele and Kangili being on his side. So, Gundogan and Leva. Pierce is going to play back three again. What formation do you think they will play? Okay, we can. I can start showing the, the predicted formation after the game. Yeah, I know it's also. That's why we have to extend him. But we, if, if if we can extend him and loan him out also, that would be beautiful. Like, thanks. Who you want, Kingsley? One uh, Trent? If you have Kang in the base, like you only have one attacker? Yeah, but I mean, that's what we did versus Sociedad. So funny. If, if, Barco, if Barcola was 100% fair and in better form, we'd obviously play him, but... Do 
two weeks of uh, Everton test. Perhaps early on. All right. I'm with Tosin. I think we really need Barcola Barcelona having thrown the wing. None of us can set up on going up the field. I mean, we have Dembele. Dembele and Kangili alternate. So it's not like we only have Kangili as a winger. But here's my predicted lineup for the game. I think Gonzalo is in Bapper head of course. I think Colo should be loaned out. No, we, we need to buy someone. If Mbappe is going to leave, we need to buy someone. Gonzalo is not that good yet. But I would I would like to keep Gonzalo as a squad player for next season. We have more position and by how much do you think? I think the thing is Barca and PSG are the second and third best teams when it comes to position in Europe this season. City is number one and then it's PSG and Barca because Xavi and Lucio are both position managers. With the game being at the back, Paris Saint-Germain will have even more pressure to have possession. And with PSG playing with these five midfielders, I think we'll have more possession and it will be maybe 60-40. 60 40, or, or if we have a really good game, it could be like 65 35. Open up PSG, once it's about, I mean, it's fake reports, so I have no opinion on it. Uh, it's Barcelona Lovely. making up reports so that Yamal's hype gets even higher up. Oh, PSG made the 200 million, but then we rejected it. We've not done that. We haven't like done anything transfer wise. I know you're saying too big of a game for Yamal, but usually these kids really play amazing. They break our year. Remember Bob versus City when he was 17? Um, I mean, yeah, but I, I have seen Yamal in, in some of big games and he's completely uncomparable with Kylian Mbappe. And that's a one-off. That Mbappe is a one-off. Especially, plus that Monaco team was better than this Barca team. Especially if the bill is inside, we really need the throw on the wing. If only Kola had good touch, it would be fine. That's why we need Barcola. Yeah, I mean, you could play with Colomani like this, but I would rather have the position. On 22, soon 23, actually. And so the fake great player, I wanted him last season, but now that he's gone to Rennes, he's not even a starter there. He's dropped off a bit. Now, trying to ask, need the academy to give us another cut of a hand rubber and Marcel dead right now? Go for Hakimi, Kingsley. Try your best with Hakimi. I mean, I hope he extends, but you should try. You enjoyed it. Imagine the faces he will pull in that Barca game. 100%, Nadir, 100%. But it's more about control, and usually the team that has more position has more chances. Especially with Barca being a position team. If you guys were a counter-attacking team, then us having more position wouldn't matter. But you are a position team. You're a team that is used to having position, and a team that creates most of their chances from having a lot of position. So you would be put in an uncomfortable position. If you could have one Barca player for PSG, who would you choose? I'd probably take one of the midfielders. Oh, Gundogan would be nice. Maybe a winger threat. Maybe Araujo. Oh, I like Araujo a lot. You know what? I would take Gavi. I would take Gavi. I know he's injured now, but I would take Gavi. Thoughts on Jose's comments for Centre of Love about PSG playing their C team? I haven't seen his comments. What did he say? Uh, Premier League, Serie A, Liga, Bundesliga, La Liga. The best 26. It's how we we're looking game, but I'm asking what formation will be officially. No, it will be like we will defend in this shape, a 4 5 1 shape. That's how we usually play when Mbappe is up top. Yeah. Brothers does give me confidence at all. He gets cooked by many, many times. Okay. When has he got it cooked? Wrong. Like the Marseille red card, that wasn't a red card. I've said this before. We have the most go through transition. The last time Barca first a good transition team. Vinny scored a hat trick. That high line they keep is crazy. Yeah, but that's the thing. Some people are talking maybe Barca won't play that kind of a high line. Maybe they do. Oh, we'll, we'll eat Elvis. Hakimi 2026. That's too late. No, but you could try with him having one year left. I mean, obviously, PSG won't listen to offers. <laughs> but I'm just saying try. But yeah, that would never happen, especially with Mbappe leaving. <laughs> What's that less position versus Napoli? Yeah, because after scoring the two goals, Barca came, became really comfortable and stopped really trying that much and became a bit comfortable. And then um, the contrary towards the end of the game. Your hatred to Barca has increased massively this past Oh, of course, of course. What's Mbappe's weakest side? 
Kylian Mbappe's weakest side. I would actually say it's when his ego gets in his way. It's when Mbappe just... Sometimes I would say it happens to Ronaldo, maybe even Messi. It's when they just get frustrated. If you frustrate Mbappe and he starts doing stupid stuff, I would, yeah, I would say Mbappe's, Mbappe's biggest enemy is himself. The weakest Mbappe is when Mbappe is playing against himself. That formation is really good. And having Nuno attacking up the field is good, yeah. Because then we will have actually an outlet on the left in Nuno. And then Kangeli and Dembele can interchange and Dembele can make runs. Maybe Kangeli plays more centrally versus Barca. And Dembele more as a winger on Cancelo. I could see Lucha doing that with us missing Hakimi. And then we have two outlets on the, on the right and left and Mbappe up top. Do you think Muscato will be a start of rotation? Great question. Uh, we've seen Peraldo how quickly he went from a rotation piece to a starter. And with the hype they're talking about Muscato, it could potentially happen. But... PSG are looking for a world-class midfielder in the transfer window, so the competition will be even harder next season. But I would say in between a rotation piece and a starter. 22, soon 23. Bielsa hasn't been cooked, only when he's been a left-back. Oh, like the Sociedad game, yeah. He looked a bit uncomfortable in that position. The only reason when he scored a hat-trick is because Peña was in goal and he dives. <laughs> in the first leg, we said that he was suffering Kubo a lot. Yeah, I know, I know. That Daniel Olmo thing, it was disgusting, man. But it's a friendly. Exactly. Not a little ignore tournament offer from Bob because he go Hakim facts. Even in the first you have to go for Frimpong, Trent, maybe Reese James. <laughs> Even in the first it was not put a position was basically 50 50. Oh my god, I can't wait for PhD then. We will definitely have a 70 30 then. I'm a Madrid fan, but I'm supporting PhD this time versus Barca. Huge job. Welcome. Welcome, Debster. Kobarsi? I agree. Brother's not good of a defender against cooked. What? Man, how could we screw this up into home? Honestly, ways we let them win? Like how? No chance. There's no 0% chance. I'll be back. I'll just bring some water. <laughs> I made it with Sandy then way, I guess. Thought I didn't have to buy it so first. Uh, I mean, that's interesting. Hmm. I don't know. The problem is actually playing on the shadow. I don't know what the ball. Your boy's back. So, uh, did you grant to play well? He played good, decent, but it was against Clermont, so I'm not taking anything away with it. Yo, Malachi, welcome back. I haven't seen you in a while. And yeah, join the PSG hype, man. You're welcome. All Madrid fans are welcome, man. And I will be doing a Madrid watch along for the City game. Be there, man. Yeah, I think Kangeli will be the top of the diamond and Dembele right forward. Would you rather have Gumeras or Barella? Ooh. I would love to have Barilla, but I don't see that happening. Even though his contract ends 2026. So you guys are saying more like this. Because then it's like Pep's uh, box from last season. Oof. But others good defending rules the game well. He has good on time, but he's just no pace. Can't kind of sometimes I need to get cooked like this. Yeah. The all trust not even proper. I bet it's very James, but he's constantly in the hospital. True. What would be the excuse of Barca to smoke PSG? Um, no, nothing. 
There's no excuse. It's just now they were better and we're not that good. Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, also always going to get that prem PR. Line up. Yes, sir. So, Marquinhos, Beraldo, Lucas forming that. All of these guys are good defending in, in good positions. They're very aggressive center backs. Marquinhos holding the right spaces. Lucas left. Uh, Beraldo in the center. I could did I could see this be changed though. That Beraldo on the left thing is though. Uh, that means, yeah, I could see that happen actually. I could see this happening. Yeah, more like this. So Lucas Marquinhos, Lucas in the defense, a Warren Vitinha pivot, beautiful. Kangeli Fabiano in the half spaces. Nuno on the wing, the Billy on the wing, and Mbappe up top. It's it's delicious. Yes, yes, yes. Do you think PSG was just granted this summer? We generally has looked awful this season. No Archibald, no put go on good performance. Uh, I think PSG will try his best, selling a lot of players, including Milan Skriniar. It all depends on if an offer comes. He has like a 300 wage, 200k a week wage, so it would be very hard getting rid of him. He's just playing on like... Um, uh, but yeah, I, I, I think PSG will try his best. Real Madrid. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, he can't. He can't defend. He just. Uh, he can't defend in space. And PSG play very high up, and then our centre backs have to defend in place. Yeah, that's his best move. That's the best move for us. You guys would easily cook Barca. They were barking endlessly just for it to be a walk in the park for us. It would not be a real concert. They just love to bark. Malachi, you see. Elite ball knowledge, man. Um, but yeah, they've been talking ever since the draw. Their main admin on Twitter has been talking shit. That That's about to end soon. You're not screwing it to Madrid, says no. Uh, Somewhat. I think Kangi Lee will play at the top of Dama with Dembele will play right for a while. Also going with Barilla. No, I would take Barilla. I would take Barilla. But I said, I think it's hard for us to get him. Kind of don't want Dembele to get subbed throughout the... Two matches since his derby. You should control those games. Yeah. Not same thing. I think when it comes to substitutes, it would be different. Plus, we don't have a game in the week like Barca have. The thing is, no, I think Beraldo is good on that. I just think some people are a bit reactionary over the stuff that recently happened. Um, and this is a game for Beraldo to show up in. Uh, Nuno will obviously help him defensively. Vitina will help him. Fabian will help him. So I'm not worried. Uh, the question is is the opposite. Why do you think Barca are good? Barcelona, a majority of Barca fans have been really underwhelming this season and felt Barca were underwhelming this season. But suddenly a uh, purple patch came. Ever since that Napoli game, you've been good in La Liga as well, winning a lot, not conceding a lot. And suddenly you feel you are at the level of Paris Saint-Germain, a team that's been unbeaten for 28 games. A team that has Kylian Mbappé, a team that has Dembele, Donnarumma, who's been the best goalkeeper this season, yeah. Nuno Mendes, who just returned, who's the best left back in the world. For me, it's it's more how can Barca feel that they're that good or comparable to PSG? You should convince them you're Jonas ahead of Real this summer. Uh, it's a 50 50. The recent reports do not look that much in favor of PSG, but it's a long way to go, and I still have a lot of hope. Yeah. As his performance, I would give it like a 7.5. Could have done better. Still was better than some other players. I fucking love the channel. Allez Paris. Merci beaucoup, Arian. Tac, 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 tic, tac. Fish your folks in defense this summer. Seldon and his crew. I get the amount of it's for average coaching and speak French and get another league and young center back. Probably can play right by center back. Yeah, the amount is I probably like him more than Inacio. And uh, Antonio Silva, because he's a great defender as well. And with the ball. And can, can defend in space. I just don't know why we haven't been linked to him yet. Instead of midfield, in my opinion, Gumaras and Nindos is most likely likely start next season. Yeah. Thing is, reports are still coming out that Lucha wants a more experienced midfielder. But other defending on the inside is terrible. We're seeing a few times in the league versus the out and the Brazil game. Danilo? No, no. Danilo is a player that will get cooked. Would you say Barca better subs than Felix and Roque? No, I think Cormani and Gonzalo Ramos are better than Felix and Roque. 
Should Pete Stratt says we're not dependent on Alderson window because that would leave us with Marco Bernardo. Yeah, I would definitely do that. I would definitely do that. Human finance has no chance to play against Barca. What? <laughs> Oh my god, man. You still think it's the days of uh, Xavi, Iniesta, and so on. I know when you had Gavi, Pedri, and De Jong, that was a good midfield, but you don't have Gavi, you don't have Pedri. You have Christensen, you have De Jong. Gundogan's good, but he's more of an attacker than a midfielder, in my opinion. You know what? I won't even talk. I was just... I would just let uh, the stats speak for themselves. Mm. It appears you're not good at defending. So, so we look at goals conceded. Goals conceded per 90 and passes per defensive action. Possible defensive action is depressing stat. You want to be as low here. Let's look for PSG. Here's PSG. Where's Barca, actually? Here's Barca. Better than Barca. I'm pressing and defending. No, Barca proceeded a little bit less than us, uh, but we're better at pressing. So, yeah. You guys can box bars. <laughs> we're good, we're good. Depending on any size, Beraldo's strength. When you put him out wise where he starts to have issues, yeah. I mean, you could play him centrally. I just want Lucas on uh, Lewandowski. Jumbo is the heart of this PSG team. Bigger threat than Mbappe. Mm. Well, I agree. Goals, Mbappe is, is purely a goal threat nowadays. Daniel is in the middle. He's a great box defender. What? No play? Lucas Hernandez, our best defender? What percentage do you think we have to pass Barca? 85%? Don't show 85%? Something like that. Lamine versus you is also a huge mismatch. Lamine also cooked your Beraldo like crazy over international break. He didn't cook Beraldo. We went through uh, the Lamine comp together, even on this channel. Mm. Once he went past him, Beraldo even recovered for that. Nothing happened. And then there was a dive. Like, that's the only two stuff. And you're saying cooked. So... I've never understood why Barca fans have to lie uh, to get points over. It just means you don't know what you're talking about. And Lamine versus Nuno is a mess match. I agree. Like, Lamine will have no chance against him. Uh, because he was bleeding from his mouth after a challenge. I mean, we beat the team of Xavi. Messi and Emerson was scared. We're not scared. Yes, sir. Who's going to get cooked? Yes, sir. Penaldo? Penaldo. If Madrid signed Euro, who would get sent back to Scalvini? I think Inacio is the second man on the list after Euro. And so there'll be an internship between the Champions League games. Hopefully, Rivi. But I got to fix that. I, I still haven't had time to fix the, um, the thing um, for, the bar, for the game. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, the FIFA stuff. But yeah, I, I, I don't know if I can say 100% yet. Yeah. Can you emulate the same thing that the PSG 2020 did? He definitely can. Elite manager, elite attacker, elite number 10, great defense, great midfield. This team is maybe better. What the best rather than Dembele? No. No. Because we have other playmakers than uh, Dembele. We don't have other goal scorers than Mbappe. Do you think Skriniar can defend against Lewandowski? I mean, yes. I mean, he did it in the Inter Barca game, but I would he wouldn't start. If I was not purely go through it, come on, man. You know that we know it's insane courage. It's worth it. No, I'm I'm specifically talking this season. We misses PSG core out of ten. Seven, I'll give it a seven. 
disgusting first season, disgusting or like mid second half of the second season, elite first part of the second season. I really thought Campos was fighting with the ref after the game. He yelled at the ref for what? Was big chances created in Champions League season more than the video? Anyone else? Yeah, but, I mean, I think all of them were sad pad in the that Dortmund game and maybe one in the Newcastle game, but like his main thing, uh. And like his dribbling was not it. And like he's not a playmaker. When you watch the game, he's not a playmaker. When you look at those big chances created and all of that, he looks just different. I was getting more of a him and Kvara than Mbappe. Other than him, nobody's scoring in a way. I mean, Kvara was not going to score against you. He could have been dangerous. Are you not scared of Dembele versus Cancelo, Rokan? Are you honestly saying that? People say for Rafinha, where players who excel at through balls like Frankie De Jong, who's the best in La Liga, that Gundogan Yamal and the entire backline. <laughs> Excel at through balls. I mean, like you've been talking about it and this Barca media video uh, I watched talking about Rafinha long balls. I don't think that will work against Paris Saint-Germain. What? You drop points 10 times a season, yet you're 13 points clear, Farmers League. No, I mean, it's just the competition this season has to be. For example, last season, we only won the league with one point. The accident were really good, but then they lost Openda to Leipzig, um, and they lost... They lost someone else. Fofana, Seko Fofana to Al Nasser. Paul. Promise me you will be there no matter what happens. That's what all I want to hear. This team is great. The only downside is it doesn't have the best female attacker, Anthony. <laughs> Linda Bill is in the heart of your team. K K Kingsley, like where well, you just it doesn't make sense. Who was the heart of Madrid Champions League winning team? It was, I would say it was Madrid Cruz, them two in that midfield. It wasn't Ronaldo. But Ronaldo would be the last player you take out. Do you agree with that statement? I remember Dortmund and Newcastle game, the better wasn't available and Bappe put a playmaking. Yeah, not in that game, he was a playmaking master class. But I'm, you know, generally talking about all the eight games we played in the Champions League this season and in the league. Was it better defense in midfield? I mean, I disagree, but okay. We're most keen 2021 season. It's like 8.5. We were talking into his expectations and everything. He really went above what I expected from him. And uh, yeah, he's, he's a player that's still in our hearts for some reason. Biggest fan. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, Shazad. If you could make three times, what would it be? Joao Neves, Lenny Yoro, and Rafael Leao. Since you're saying PG are this great team, make sure you win Champions League. Anything less than failure. I would say, I would say beating Barca and at the score Dortmund, that is expected. But in the final, if we had lost to Madrid or City, I wouldn't have said that's a failure. But I expect us to win the final as well. If I'm not playing for PSG, best ring in the world, I'm going to play for Barca, overrated clown. <laughs> Want to be a great winger and an overrated clown at the same time? Because he is overrated. I've been hearing someone says, I think someone said he's a top five winger in the world. <laughs> I'm just good if Dembele if he could finish, but I think we're going to hit Mbappe. No, no, Rokan, you don't have to only be scared of goal scorers. Like what Dembele will create. Aren't you scared of that? When he will cook Cancelo, aren't you scared of that? And then he gives it to Mbappe. Great question, Daniel. So past five seasons, we have last season under Galtier, season before under Parch, season before half Parch, half Tuchel, season before under Tuchel, and season before under Tuchel. I, I, I would say 18, 19 is better. Maybe 1920 is better. 
and last year possibly before the World Cup, like the first six months could possibly have been better. And the other ones, this one is better. As a PF fan, I do think some of us are being a bit overconfident, including you. Just let the game speak for us. I mean, we should. I mean, Ruan, the, the reason I'm talking all of this is because everything that Barca fans have said. And I'm someone that doesn't let that just happen. I don't like when my club gets disrespected. And I think Paris, uh, Barcelona fans have been extremely arrogant. Not just Barca fans, but Barca manager, Barca players, media outlets from Barca. And I got to speak up. This has nothing to do, but can you react to Mbappe rap as dos? I can't put it on for copyright issues, but I can react to it. Nil out of ten. I don't like these. It's so like it's only kids that like this. And how are you saying that? No, as I said, the big chance created. Sometimes non big non playmakers get the highest amount of that stat because it has a lot to do with. When you look at the context, Dembele has obviously been our best playmaker this season. And wait, let me actually see this big chance thingy. Let me see it for myself. And I got to look. Mbappe. Oh, Pessy's playing now into Miami. No, maybe Messi's still injured, I think. So Mbappe in the Champions League this season. Has seven big chances created. And Dembele. How many does Dembele have? One. Yeah, this is why I can't look into these big stats too much. <laughs> Wait, how many big chances missed does Mbappe have? Because this is a complete lie. <laughs> Mbappe has seven big chances missed. Like, just against uh, Milan, Dembele created two big chances for Mbappe. This is why I can't take these stats seriously. You want to be there what, on the pod and react? We could maybe fix it out. Just DM me on Twitter. Allez Paris Press. We'll do it. Yeah. No, every league is a farmer's league. Need to see the video go to sleep celebration in front of Barca. Steve Nice probably just raised both of hands. Why do we extend Keen? Was it because of Pessi? No, it was because Everton asked for too much money, like 30, 35 million. It was not worth that. Our group plays about as you go school I hope it's more folks on Instagram than in games. Um, I think just, um, I think a PSG would take that extra strip. Um, at the moment, he's, he's at a club where Milan are not meeting, you know, what he wants to do. Um,
I don't know he's not a goal scorer, but I'm not replacing Mbappe with Liao. I just said that's a player I would like to sign. I would like to sign Liao and Osimen. Liao, Osimen, Dembele, Xavi, Warren, Vitinha. Oh. Okay. Yes, um, these streams, they are dual streamed on Twitch and YouTube. Nobody on PSG possesses any go through by Mbappe. Is a clean sheet? <laughs> clean sheet. Paul, you know that throughout your entire history of coming to the Parc de Princes, I think you've played maybe seven games at the Parc de Princes, you've never kept a clean sheet. That's with better players, better defenders, better midfielders, better attackers, better managers. You've never done that. You think this mid-ass Barca squad is going to do that? As a Barca fan, skill of Dembele, Barca fans like to hate on him, but when Dembele is in his game, it's tough to win and run. Love it. Not, love the honesty, Nirmil. Who's your personal favorite PSG player of all time? My, my favorite play, player of all time is Latan Ibrahimovic. So obviously, my favorite uh, PSG player of all time is Latan Ibrahimovic. Followed by Thiago Silva. Uh, PSG. Maybe not yet. Maybe after this Barca game, that can change. Yo, what's up, Delvian? Barca the club have been very against speaking on PSG. Glad Lucia told the players to not say anything. Just hand it on the pitch. Facts. That's the thing. Like, we as fans, Delvian, we can talk shit. But when I saw Yamal, when I saw Leva, when I saw Xavi speaking garbage, can't tolerate that shit. And as I said, I love it from Lucia, from the players, that they're just being respectful. That means you're overthinking. Why think of a 10% chance instead of the 90% chance? That's like a gambler thinking he's going to win. <laughs> he's looking at the small percentage instead of the big percentage. You always got to look at the big percentage. If the Billy not have scored, then he would be the best friend in the world right now. I agree. Own him. How's the feelings after this game, bro? After we beat Barca, I would just be like this, chilling. Vibing. Ah! Oh! Welcome, beautiful Vare Sandman family, to the post match podcast of PSG just destroying Barca at the crib. We'll get some PSG guests, we'll get some Barca guests. Let's talk what went right and what went wrong in this game. Just freedom, freedom. Hopefully, we finish off the leg in the first game. If the I don't think this should only has one goal. It is, it is. He definitely has to improve that. Well, they're still to play the high line they played today on Tuesday. The defense will get exposed so much. No, Pepe will cause it. He's a cracker. No, that's why I see us. Like, City defense will not be in it this season. The Billy needs to practice shooting during training. He does, he does. He has nothing to do with that. And so you stands to prove Donna is better than Drosegi Bonet saying Bob is not purely goal screwing stats, you're saying it's fake. Yeah, because I've watched these games. Donna Ruma, I've watched the games why I can see that stats is so high. And Bappe, this is a complete lie, both when it comes to him and to Dembele. Dembele doing the has he ever done that? <laughs> now I would like now you know I mean <laughs> I don't even know, man. It's just the likelihood of the Billy scoring goes so low. I'm not even thinking about it. It's hurting. No, I have one hour and like 20 minutes left. But thank you. Thank you, Madridista Ibad Ur Rahman. Yeah, I think you could play the striker position. He's barely more than a goal scorer. This season, he's strictly been a goal scorer for Paris Saint-Germain this season. Yeah, I think he could play similar to Mbappe. Cinema Yulu, baller, man. Baller. I, I, I want him to get more minutes, man. You know anything about the contact situation by Warren Saint-Germain? Yeah, it's improving. Uh, I don't really know what's the obstacle at the moment. But no, he will extend. Yes, he will be in the squad. Oh, Barca fans, Barca fans, Barca fans. <laughs> we will be there. Yeah, I think Madrid will be them. Yes, yes. I mean, I make a post stream... Whatever happens, I don't really care. I 
I'll be calm. Like, we're going to beat Boris. Now. I'm not even... Now nah, I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 it's um, it's a mixture of, we can see, I think, one more shot on target than you guys, or one half half a shot target, but it also means that he keeps out more shots than uh, Ter Stegen. For example, where, where, where is it? That's why we, we can look at like just a state percentage. Uh, Donnarumma's state percentage is 80%. Oh my god. No, I accidentally choose wrong here. There we go. Donnarumma's save percentage is 84.7. Uh, Ter Stegen is 74.7. Which means Donnarumma has a 10% uh, higher success rate. So, I mean, they pretty much played this... Wait, did I only do league? Okay. Uh, so they played 23 20 games. Yeah, Donnarumma has faced more shots, but he has a higher percentage save. Yeah. Happy. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. And I'm glad that you enjoyed the content, man. Fun fact, the ability to score against Monaco would have had 99 goals this season. Oh, we have 100 now? Have we really scored 100 this season? Yes, but it would be tougher. What happened today? I'm PSG played their B team. It didn't look good. But we still should have won. We had like so many big chances. We didn't score. And they got a disgusting goal. But thankfully, towards the end, we got the draw. I mean, we've had so many tough draws. An easy one was about to come. Uh, nothing. Paris Syndrome at the moment aren't focusing that much on the transfer window. We're solely focusing on just the season. But how much do you think you're going to win? Great question, Ben Wakal. I think we're going to win the first leg 3-1, 4-1, and the second leg will be like a 2-2, two, 3-2. Two, two. So like a 5-3, three, 6-3 three on aggregate. You think Osimo will come to PSG, and how many goals do you think he will score? Yeah, I think Osimo will come to Paris Saint-Germain. The interest from PSG is there. Osimo obviously would love to join us. He'll probably back like 30, 35 goals in his first season. Also, do you know that those 70s Barcelona face aren't at the level of the team's PSG. Face six, six, maybe Clermont, which is why Barcelona can play those league teams. Yeah, true. More names for the best group from the world country. Uh, Donnarumma, Allison, probably Lunin. Okay. I mean, it's save percentage, so it has nothing to do with how many games you play. There's no player who should person have PSG other than Bob Sibars winning against Paris. <laughs> what? Mappa used to be a much better dribbler, but now he's like built up more muscle and all of that, so he's a bit more clunky. Plus, he plays more as a striker, but he's still a good dribbler, yeah. What? What do you mean, like, still follows? Like, when did he start following us? What was the reason? Uh, we've already played Dortmund, so I would take Atletico. And I'll be here when that green screen becomes a legit studio. Yeah, I hope... I, I, for me, it's all about moving out. When I move out, I'll hang my jerseys behind me. We'll be there, Fonzie. We'll be there. Now, he definitely deserves it. I have Sommer and Kobel. 
Corbin, Corbin could actually take Lunin's place because Corbin has been insane the entire season. Like Lunin, just when Kepa was dropped after the Atletico performance. Uh, but yeah, Corbin and Sommer, that's my top five. Um, I mean, Paul, that was like the same thing when we played Sociedad. PSG is the most hated club in the world. P people don't want us to go through. People don't predict us to go through. That doesn't matter to me. <laughs> All right, we'll see. How is it delusional to think Osimo would join? And how is it delusional that we would do in 6 3? Keep believing it while it's, it's still possible. Thank you so much. Right. I've been growing it now for one year and five months. I love you. Happy. Welcome. No, no, easy, easy, easy. Uh, and Bopper? <laughs> I think Vitino will play a bit deeper. He could po possibly score one. I could see Hakimi scoring at the Mandzukic in the second leg when he's back. Polo Gonzalo off the bench. And um, Nuno Mendes, actually. Yes, sir. <laughs> no, no, I think we should just um, trust in Anatenas. <clears throat> because Sociedad are a better defensive team than you guys. That's why Sociedad have been good. It's because they're good defensively. You're a position team. They're more a defensive pr pressing team. Yeah. Two across both legs? <laughs> um, no. I mean, probably Dortmund just because you have a really bad record against Atletico Madrid in the Champions League. Oh my God. Richard Dino, man. Why, why, why do you care so much about Mbappe? And yet, sad padded <clears throat> versus uh, US Reville and... Uh, some other bum team. <laughs> yeah, that's good enough. We don't need more. Yo, Petrie. Yo, this is like one of the first times. This is a long way ago. I've seen it like obviously in the YouTube comments ball in the live stream chat. Petrie Maji, man. Now, bald end will look. Um, yeah, let's take a look at bald end. Gonzalo Ramos. You think you're beating us 3 1 at the back? <laughs> Scoring five goals? <laughs> oh. You didn't even do that versus Napoli. <laughs> okay.
It's a gin. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll have... Hopefully, Tenas gets more minutes here and there now. And then we have... Um... What's his name? Uh, then we have preseason next season to, to give him even more tries and so on. But I'm confident. What do you think about the discussion of Mbappe and Luis Enrique at the end of the match? I'm trying like to predict where it could be. Maybe Mbappe wanted the victory. Maybe Mbappe wanted to play more minutes. I don't know. But I don't really care. That's my answer to it. I care because you're doing the same thing people used to do, so I don't know. You say it's a pure girl's it's powerful and so much a bit of cross. I'm but another was a pure girl's score. I'm talking 90% of the game where he did. Plus, you're uh overblowing the, the 10% that he does. Trouble twice in a row. Yeah, cool. Colo and Gonzalo are both better. I think Colo and Gonzalo have 27 goals and assists this season, combined in all comps. Not in the Champions League. The signs pack me up. How, how did you beat them? Who was the final boss that you faced? Cook. Didn't take our chances with Napoli, but we had at least five in the first half. Do you think you're going to take them against us? The pressure is going to be bigger. You're going to face better players. I haven't heard it. Well, this is going to be me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's the PSG Lille. Wait. I mean, La Liga is an even worse league than Liga. Just so you know. This is <laughs> this is bald end people. Wait, what? Already one nil. Who? To Messi! Pop, 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 no, I can't wait. I can't <laughs> wait, man. <laughs> Looks like Vitinha. Yeah, yeah. And that's where the comparison started. And then when I grew my hair a bit and had braids, the Warren comparison started. I mean, it, this just shows your ignorance. You haven't watched Vitina this entire season. Vitina is a player that won a, champ <laughs> a Champions League man of the match this season. Vitina has been one of our best performers this season. Vitina was close versus Sociedad in both home and away and versus Dortmund in a game where we had to do something. Uh, but not Chris Christensen. That's what I'm fearing. <laughs> Go to the past that PSG main problem? I don't think so because we don't have players that were part of before. Like before, you could use the argument, oh, Neymar is there, Verratti is there for all this stuff. Like now, it's only Marquinhos and Mbappe from previous team. This is a new team that past goals doesn't exist anymore. If Mbappe scores a hat trick, he's the best. He's the best then. I have a feeling about who will score more at Manjukic than at the pack. Lewandowski those have free headers on short center backs. I mean, this just shows like the football knowledge that I'm talking with here. Marquinhos <laughs> jumps. <laughs> Lucas can jump. Beraldo can jump. 
<laughs> what the fuck? <clears throat> What? I mean, that's why I call it a hard stadium. <laughs> Trust me, we'll be there. And mark my words, the Blue score a great goal. Hopefully, man. I try to have that expectation, but it's hard. Do you think Los is a great game from pre World Cup was a forget? Is struggle against the only decent team in the groups and in any big games so far if you got your awful tax would they have been exposed? I know I don't I don't I don't think so. You know, after the World Cup, we didn't play with our best team a single time. With Eminem starting, we were unbeaten in the entirety of the season. The buying game, we didn't start with Mbappe. The buying second leg, we didn't have Neymar. But I do think if we had someone else than Messi, it would have been better. Like Messi was really holding us down, man. Neymar's best for performance in a PSG shirt. I mean, uh, probably his buying game. He didn't score. He didn't get an assist. We even lost the game. <laughs> but he yeah, did that. Probably that one. If you're talking like quality of uh, magnitude of the game as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he, his assistant was sitting upstairs. Mr. Griezmann debate was never good front three. No target man, no pressing. All players out of position. Our Pedri don't play first leg. I mean, Pedri will not play first leg, and he will probably not do anything in the second leg either. <laughs> uh, no, I, I've never liked the idea of the goalkeeper being a captain. He definitely has. It's a great, uh, but I'll give it to Lucas easily. Two, three, maybe four, five. Uh, two, three. No injuries ruined Neymar, not PSG. I uh, can't wait either, man. <laughs> but yeah, I, I look at every day. That's a good day, as a working day, instead of that long into the future. It was a mistake letting Di Maria go for the inferior player, Messi. Doesn't press and made the team worse. We should have gotten a hard-working pressing strike with a good link-up, like a Benzema type. Now, I would have rather liked more of a right forward. Oh, like a Salah would have been banging. Salah would have been banging. I'll be, I, I just need to get some food because in one hour I can't eat anymore. I'll be back one second. Uh, two minutes. Well, let me get some. I, I will get some video you guys can watch in the meantime. PSG ver, PSG Barca. Let's see if there is any, any video about this leg. Oh, the reason why Barcelona was match PSG. It's an AI account. <laughs> <laughs> what?
What, what mismatches is there, Paul? For, for Barca's favorites, what, what mismatches are there? All right, people, enjoy this. I will be back soon. The chances in a clash against PSG as brother No, the team from Paris has Kylian Mbappe, and this seems to immediately minimize all strengths of Xavi's side. But what if we say that Barca is the stronger team in this pair that will be able not only to progress past PSG, but also able to take the Champions League trophy? Let us explain why. The face-off between the two Barcelona legends as coaches makes up one of the main intrigues in this epic battle. Luis Enrique versus Xavi. Now this is something to be excited about. Both managers use Barcelona football in their respective clubs. For example, here's what Luis Enrique did in the Coupe de France against Nice. Pay attention to where Hakimi is positioned, while the team is built according to the 3-2-5 formation. And here's how Barca attacked during the match against Las Palmas. Looks familiar, right? Total football, which is based on ball possession with the use of sharp lunges and quick interceptions. It's common for Barca and PSG to have a ball possession rate at 60% plus in their games. Will Xavi be able to outplay Luis Enrique? Back in early February, we would have said no. But now the Catalan's boss finds a way to best his opponents in almost every single match. Which is why Blaugrana fans should be optimistic. Since Xavi announced his departure, his boys hasn't lost any of the 11 fixtures, winning 8. The first leg will take place at the Parc de Prince, and Xavi can take advantage of this factor. The fans will push their team forward and Barcelona will just have to play defensively and throw sharp counterattacks, where the speed of Yamal and Rafinha will be given the main role, as well as the experience of Lewandowski, Gundogan and Frankie. You've seen the holes in the red and blue's defense if one intercepts the ball in a situation like this, haven't you? However, the main task will be to stop Mbappe and Dembele. Which brings us to point number two. Kylian Mbappe and Ousmane Dembele are the super weapons of modern PSG. Fast dribbling demons capable of destroying any defensive line if you give these guys too much space. So here's the first challenge for Barca. Space. Reducing the space for two stars from Paris will greatly increase the Catalan's chances of reaching the semifinals. Xavi will definitely be considering ways to shut down Mbappe and Dembele. And in our opinion, Barca's manager may prepare an interesting surprise by putting a nominal center back as a left back, simply because Joao Cancelo does not appear to be a strong contender to face Dembele. Let's think of the most likely scenario, according to which Enrique will put Mbappe on the left and Dembele on the right. Gilles Conde has gained phenomenal form and seems ready even for a duel versus Kylian, while Araujo will play right centre-back and will always be willing to back up his partner. Kubarsi will take the left centre-back position, where he will have to keep an eye on the fast left-back. Well, probably not Inigo Martinez, since it'll be impossible for him to outrun Usman. Balde, with his supersonic speed, would definitely come in handy here. But he's injured. Luckily, there is a rather interesting option with Barca athletic centre-back Mikhail Faye, a 19-year-old prospect who has already been called up for first-team fixtures a couple of times. Xavi is impressed with the player's potential, with him being physically strong, fast and technical. He is very confident on the ball, and his passing is rated quite high. There is still a chance to go with 17-year-old Hector Ford, but he is significantly weaker than Dembélé in terms of physicality. If Xavi actually decides to involve Faye, then we predict Cancelo starting the game in the midfield. Now imagine what kind of block Xavi can build against PSG even without Balde, Ter Stegen, Koundé, Araujo, Kubarsi, Faye, Christensen, Gundogan Cancelo, Yamal Lewandowski, Rafinha. Nominally, Barca will feature six defenders, but this will prove to be a fairly reliable plan for the first leg, when Mbappe and Dembele will need to be neutralized and shown that they have no chance. Stopping Mbappe and Dembele equals advancing to the next round of the Champions League. Do you agree? The next point of Barcelona's advantage lies in the fact that all the team's leaders turned on the turbo mode in the second half of the season. All of the squad players mentioned the increased intensity of their training sessions, with many going to the gym 
and practicing on the pitch even on days off. Kunde, Arojo, Christensen, Lewandowski and Rafinha have especially had their performances improved. With the return of Ter Stegen, Barca has restored calmness in the defensive line. The Catalans have five clean sheets in their last six matches. Prior to that, the Spanish side conceded many, too many goals even. The components of this transformation are as follows. Ter Stegen's comeback, Kunde and Araujo's return to their best form, the tremendous progress of 17-year-old Pau Kubarsi, not to mention Christensen's switch to the false defender or defensive midfielder position. On top of that, a huge credit must be given to the overall team effort in the defensive area. Absolutely everyone, Lewandowski included, is running, pressing and working to the last. Have similar transformations occurred at PSG? Sure, the French side is progressing through the season, but the club itself has plenty of problems. The most important of which is the departure of Kylian Mbappe and his tense relationship with Luis Enrique, who often substitutes the footballer and thus teaches the team to play without Mbappe. Sooner or later, their situation could boil over, especially if Barcelona can find a way to stop Kylian. The toxicity at the Paris Saint-Germain still exists. Another factor that plays in Barcelona's favor lies in the emotional aspect. Xavi has managed to build a family atmosphere in the first team. It was especially apparent when the coach announced his retirement at the end of the season and the way the team reacted demonstrates how much they love their boss. The footballers in the club's management often points out how much they would like Xavi to continue coaching Barcelona for the next season, whereas Laporta sees no alternatives to Xavi at all, preferring him to work out his current contract valid until the summer of 2026. In fact, only winning the Champions League title can change Xavi's mind. Judging by the way Barca gives their all in every match and how well Xavi leads the team, it may turn out that Barcelona have every possibility of not only getting past PSG, but also reaching the Champions League final, as either Atletico Madrid or Borussia Dortmund could become Blaugrana's rivals in the semifinals. Press the like button if you want Barca to win the UCL and keep Xavi as the team's manager. Finally, Barcelona's last trump card, 16-year-old Lamin Yamal, who has emerged as a genuine surprise this season. Lamin owes his success not only to Xavi, but also to Ousmane Dembélé, who betrayed Barca back in the summer by choosing Paris Saint-Germain. Although at the beginning of the summer, he claimed that he wanted to play only for Barcelona and win the Champions League with them. This is how fate swung back to Ousmane and Lamin, marking another great battle of this rivalry. Yamal is a completely Guys, my camera camera died. I need to recharge it, so I'll be using this worst camera in the meantime. Uh, I mean, I heard some of the stuff he said. So the advantage was they can if you stop Mbappe and Dembele, you won the game. If you stop Messi, you win the game. If you stop Ronaldo, you win the game. This doesn't happen. <laughs> You just have to wish Mbappe has a bad day or Dembele has a bad day or Mbappe misses a lot of chances. And then he was, I was hearing something about that Michael Fay and Hector Ford guy. And then he said, the vibe at the club, PSG, there's toxicity, uh, how they have turned around, Xavi leaving at the end of the season, Barca hung. Like there's no actual quality point. It's not, this Barca team is great at this, this Barca team is great at that. It's just BS points. And then at the end, oh, like the video. So Barca win the Champions League. This is obviously content for five-year-olds. <laughs> oh my god, man. I can see one. Oh, we got Tosin in the house. What's up, Tosin? Good, good, G. How are you feeling? Good, man. Good. Just had to get a little nap in, man. Didn't know okay. you were Oh, you took a nap from the Clermont game until now? Yeah, man. I was fucking tired. So, did you dream? 
Did you see four one? Six one? Five nil? Did I dream? Yeah, about the game. Uh no, I didn't dream about anything. You know, all men dream, but not equally. You know? Okay. Yeah. What's that supposed to mean? I don't I don't be having dreams like the rest of everybody, like, you know. What what are the most um what's the type of dreams you get? I can tell you what dreams I get. I I honestly I I don't know if I have the lucidity to answer that right now. Okay. Yeah. I mostly oh. have uh, wet dreams. Oh, wow. You're too old to be having that. No, Susan, I'm 22. Yeah, I, I exactly. I'm married. Oh, okay. Good luck in your uh, search. <laughs> Thank you. I need it, man. Mm. Yeah. Have you gotten any new thoughts about the upcoming game? Ooh. Wait, what was that? Do you have any new thoughts to the game? Um, Not really, no. I just think I just need the game to get here. I need the game to get here immediately. Who 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 joined? Did David join anyone? Mm-hmm. Yo, David sh- said he would join. You didn't. Oh shit! Shout out to you, Chrissy. Chris. No, Chris. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Now, Tosino with a double double bacon emoji. What's that supposed to mean? Is he calling you a pig, Tosin? <laughs> um, no. It's it's basically bacon. Yeah, yeah, but what's the meaning of it? What's the metaphor? That's that's, that's what Tosino means. Oh, okay, okay. He's <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Chris. I appreciate it a lot. Um, and Thompson, no, what, what did the Lehav president say? Tosin is bacon in Spanish? Okay. Beraldo's ass genuinely don't get why you rate him. Damn, who's this hating ass nigga? How's he ass, bro? He's a Barca fan. Expand, expand, bro. Okay. Oh, okay. This guy, let's talk about mismatches, Sosin. Cancelo Rafinha. Versus mm-hmm. Marquinhos, Fabian versus Dion, <laughs> Gundo versus Warren, Lamine versus Nuno, Leva versus Hernandez, Dion versus Vitinha, and Mbappe versus Araujo and Kunde. Yeah, so Dion in two matchups at once versus Fabian and Vitinha. <laughs> <laughs> the difference in saying, class yeah. is crazy. <laughs> yeah, he's saying all of these are mismatches. Wait, give me a sec. Yeah. What? We drew. If we played our B team, Thompson, and still won 5 nil. okay, maybe. We drew. <laughs> we give Clermont points. I don't use Snap, Shazad. You can get my Instagram, though. But I don't use Snap. I just... I just warm up my food.
Yo, yo, yo. Hey, yo, Ant, uh, in your screen, it's like there's a spider web in the background. Or like a... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like it's just the lightning when I'm not here. So my, 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 my main camera just died. So I'm using my old one. Oh, okay, okay. But yeah, uh, I don't know what the fuck that dude talking about with mismatches. Just sounds like waffle. Everybody was saying Wednesday while I'm not bullshitting with my takes. It's clear as day. No, you're just letting you you're just letting your ego feed your shitty takes. That's all. Yeah, I, Justin, I think most Barca fans are are scared about this game deep inside. So so they just come up with a with a fake reality. Yeah, where... they know realistically they know they're not gonna be able to survive the park. They're not going to be able to survive it. His predictions, Sosin, were 2 1 at 3 1 at the back, Barca win, and then they mm -hmm. win 2 1 at the Manjukic. Barca scoring five. When have Barca ever scored three, two? Oh, yeah, I guess since they beat <laughs> a fatigued, ever since they beat a fatigued um, Atleti team, they've been feeling themselves, man. Yeah, that's all they're talking about. The Atletico performance is full of them. Yeah. Huge fool's goal. Mm. Like, who's the player to watch out for in um, Barca for you? Yamal? Yeah, I can see that, Richard. You know, uh, what did you say? The front three? No, who's the player to watch out for you? Uh, at Barca, is it Yamal? Or? No, no. Leva or Gundogan? No, Gundogan. Yamal? Gundogan. And then Leva just, like, he could score a dirty goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's Gundogan. I mean, Yam Yamal is just going to have, you know, one of those games where you're like, this, this game is too big for this youngster. Oh, but he's just 16. <sighs> He's just 16. That's what they're yeah, already saying. I, yeah, yeah. No, Yamal won't, won't have a chance. Like, respect You know, we asked the question. Yeah, like, remember yesterday we asked the question, who's going to be the best teenager on the field between him, Warren, and Kubarsi? Yeah. No, we, we know it's between who and who. Like, that's why I like to look at Yamal's performance versus Napoli away, Tosin. Yeah. He was, was effective absolutely, in that game. He was ass. So he had zero goals, zero assists, one shot, one shot on target, one out of four dribbles completed, two key passes, zero out of two crosses, five out of 12 grand duels, one dribble pass twice. Th that's what I'm expecting from Lamy Yamal in this game. And that game he played against Matias Oliveira. Now he's going to play versus Nuno Mendes. Listen, if we lose, which won't happen, I will pass to every PS fan to channel it. Man, I don't know about it, but you're all fine. No, no, look, Paul, I really don't need an apology. Yeah, no one I cares about you your apology, bro. Yeah, just, just pull up. Yeah, I mean, if Barca... I mean, you're pretty oh, one If Barca smacks a 3-1, we will be here and be like... What is no, your track we'll record? Uh, what, what is your track record, Paul? You should ask him now. Like, what's your track record? With do you have a track record of quote unquote amazing takes? Probably not. So you just like you know you posturing right now for the chat talking about we gonna win three one at the park. Come on, brother. This is reality. <laughs> Did Tosin like Mbappe's cameo today? Or does he still not like Tosin Mbappe because he's, he's a Navy fan? fan. Yeah. Tosin is an Mbappe fan. You ex Mbappe no. fan. Nah. No, I, I respect both players. Did I like his cameo today? Or does he not like... So wait, are you saying because I didn't like his cameo today, you're saying I don't like Mbappe in general? No, like objectively, his cameo today was pretty mids. 
I mean, and that's one two with Gonzalo for the goal, but I mean, we didn't really do much else. Yeah, just this, just this overall game, his small thing, everything, just playmaking. I don't know. I don't even know what to blame him. Yeah, but it's an irrelevant. It's it's Claremont. Just just don't lose, which is what happened. So I'm good. If my team was worse than the opponent, I wouldn't come here saying we would win. I knew we would get smashed by Bayern, PSG in 2021. Man, this guy is just, you, you're making it up as you go, Paul. I get it. So, so Paul, what, what team what team in the world at the moment is better than Barca? He's going to say What team do you think would These hybrid um, City Barca fans, man. What is Sosa's opinion on Gonzalo Ramos? My opinion on Gonzalo Ramos is I think he's an above average striker at the top level that will peak at, you know, 20 to 25 goals a season. Um, but I don't think he's a striker for an elite side, personally. Mm. You know, I think he's I think he's really good. I don't think he's on the level of the strikers we've had, our starting strikers we've had in the past. Like, you know, like Zlatan, Cavani, you know. Even Acardi, a even Acardi. I don't think he's on the level of an Acardi mm. when he first came to PSG, so. Wait, what? What was the question? Gonzalo or Moiskin? Oh, Gonzalo, Gonzalo. Real Madrid, Man City, that's it. But, Paul, like, you do know that according to the eye test and the underlining stats and everything, the PSG Madrid and City are the three best teams in Europe, in the Champions yeah. League and in their respective Exactly, league. and you're not in there, you know? Yeah, you're not in there. You're not in there. Like, it's PSG <laughs> and Real Madrid. It's PSG and maybe City, I guess. And y'all the ones coming in the middle, you know, trying to, you know, y'all, you know that a video, I think it's like a WWE video where you got like two wrestlers fighting. Oh, two some big fucking, and one. Yeah, yeah, and some midget, comes some in, midget post they're... comes in. Exactly. <laughs> That's Barca, really. Like, like, do you understand PSG are the best pressing side in Europe? They're the best pressing side left in this competition. They have the youngest legs. They run for days. They have the best big game player in the world. Exactly. They have the, they have the best big game player in the world. They have the best. Um, they have the most destabilizing player in the world as well, in Usman. Like, come on, man. Word the threat in the... possession and, and 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 on the counter. Oh, is that Phil? Yeah, Phil. Did you hate hate uh, hate watch along today? Wait, he's saying PSG's best pressing side? Question mark. Well, Barca is the most press resistant alongside City. No, Barca's we the are most pressing. <laughs> you, yeah, that oh, press he, resistant. The okay. guy that you're ripping, Jules Kunde. You know how bad he is on the bond. Just because you're the best, uh, most press re uh, resistant doesn't mean anything. I've seen City get press off the park by multiple teams this season. Bro, it's a different vibe in the park. You don't travel well at the park. You don't. You're going to get absolutely filet mignon. Like, you're just... Tosa, do you think we'll score more at the pack or Madrukic? Because then Hakim is back, and then, like, we know how they play. What's going to happen? Better way. Is, I think 3 4 three, four nil at the park, and then Dembele, cheeky yellow. And then, yeah, positive mm. vibes only at the Madruk. You know, no booze, none of it ranking down, nothing like that. 
just come out there with like maybe a two one win or a one one draw. You know? Mm. You couldn't even Newcastle there? What about an answer? For you guys. Newcastle we had 4.7 XG. We were just extremely unclinical. We absolutely dominated and destroyed Newcastle's in every PSG, sense of a football game. PSG generated the what? The third most XG? In what? In Champions League. Group yeah, stages. yeah. I, we had I think the it was second or third. Yeah. And we underperformed our XG the most in the group stages. Like it wasn't even close. PSG were number one in underperforming XG. So we have shit to cash in on, bro. We got we got goals to cash in on. Barca do not create at a high level in Champions League. Like we saw the numbers. So you think we'll score more at the back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put press them man to man and at the park. Um, they're it's basically mano y mano. They're gonna press us. We're gonna press them. You know. And yeah, they're they're not gonna be well equipped um, to face us. Stop waffling, Tosin, bro. That's all you say. <laughs> I'm waffling. I'm waffling, Waffle, bro. You. <laughs> Street saying y'all drew today. <laughs> yeah, this was our this hour was our like vacation game for friendly game. Exactly. Like you think we're gonna draw and then lose at the crib? Yes, sir. Oh, it's all I'm... coming for it's 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 about to switch up, you know. <laughs> it's all trending towards a gigantic win on oh hell no, bro. That's what we do before a Champions League game. I saw Mbappe arguing with Luis Enrique. Um, oh my God. What more? I saw that. <laughs> look at you. Just look at trying to look. Did, just trying did, to did search for storylines. Did I see what? Then he made goal. Oh, no. He would, oh, he would get into, It got canceled. So, yeah. But, yeah. He, he would get into your team. Stop. Like, you but, niggas are starting for mid Lopez and shit. Well. Wait, Wait what's your say... midfield three? What's the, what's your midfield three for real gonna be? I told you this. Christensen, Christensen Frankie, Frankie or Gundo. Okay, and Gundo okay. Gone. okay, okay, okay. I think you're saying for me respect me, bro. And then front three, um uh, <laughs> Rafinha, Lewa, and uh Yamal. Yes, sir. Jeez, man, that is so mid. Bro. I'll you even know that. At least, at least, like three attackers. The are great. At least, have three attackers. And Lucia is going to play prag pragmatic. Usman and Mbappe up top, four midfielders at home. That oh. shows how much. That shows how much he is scared of us. <laughs> oh my! Because. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's, you just say stuff you want to believe in. No, it's yeah. true. Right? Yeah, that's all that is. Yeah, bro, it's bro. Didn't Ramos no. That's Lucho saying. That's Lucho saying. Today? That's Lucho saying. We don't. We don't want y'all to bore the game with side passes. So we're gonna play our, as many midfielders as we can. You know, because yeah, that's all you guys are gonna come to play a slow game. That's you niggas only mm. play slow. You guys Stop. play so Allow fucking it, slow, like. We don't do that shit. We play fast. Like if you know y'all are gonna call up with fit, he would have started. Wait, who was fit? Bro, I'm telling you Barcola. Yeah, Barcola was fit. He man, might start, dude. Hey, he done, might bro. start. He might start. I want him to start, man. Bro, he'd fucking cook. He'd man, cook Kunde your would flank. eat him alive. Stop. No, he won't, bro. Oh, Kunde he would ass rape Kunde. No, he won't, bro. I saw that dude he has no ISO moves, bro. Just stop, man. What about Yamal? Yamal showed no ISO moves on Oliveira in Naples. Bro, you saw him. He showed no ISO moves. What? He showed no ISO okay. moves against Oliveira in Naples. We saw him at the Mondrik. Okay. We saw yeah, him. yeah. Mario Rui tax. No, bro. I saw him. <laughs> we saw him against Brazil, bro. Like, stop. Oh, bro. God. Oh, Niggas nigga still bringing up Brazil. <laughs> it's sad. It's sad. That shit's sad. That game would feed me 
for generations, bro. <laughs> but yeah, man. Can you um show um videos? Mo, I, I want to see your your goal today against Clermont. Hmm? We had two goals. One disallowed. Yo, you um, that what one is, one? yo um, a lot of people are camping. I think a lot of people will be campaigning for Ramos to start. Do you think he should start? <laughs> Why bro, not? Respect you know, in their head. Respects my club, man. What do you mean respect your club? Started we started him, fucking Icardi. Disrespectful, bro. We started a, a finished Icardi. Wait, yo, I saw a tweet about some, like, I guess, president. I don't know if he was Clermont president, <laughs> but... He was upset, I think, because you guys played your C team, and it was disrespectful. Or maybe the what? translation was wrong. Who? who? Some president. Maybe oh, yeah. Luhav. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Is he the Clermont's president? No, no, no. no, no. He's Luhav, the president Luhav. of uh, it's another team. It's a relegation battle. Clermont is 18th in the league. And they got a point here. And he's mad uh, that we fielded our B team, which made it easier for Clermont to get a point. He was uh, just fucking crying. <laughs> big, big, big Tom Kurt. <laughs> Don't kill you know, me. Phil, I love that word, man. <laughs> uh, here's the Cinema Yulu goal, Phil. Let me see this. Look at that, Marquinhos. Yo, Tosin, look at that pause from Marquinhos. Yeah, great pass between Easy the lines. I don't know who can make them. <laughs> oh man! What? No way, Ramos give and go. Dang, man. No, no, like Ramos, we can do that against. Like we can man. do that against. P we can do that against you. Respect me, Tolson. Man, respect me, bro. No, I'm telling Ramos, you, like I think Ramos. And... You don't think Ramos is a decent option? No. No, he is. He is. I think you guys are better off with, with Colo. Someone who can run in behind. Look, Look how you're trying, like, you're trying to ass, sabotage. Man, Look man. how you're trying to sabotage us with that. Oh, shit. here we go. Nigga trying to sabotage us. <laughs> he played us today. He was so bad, man. Oh, was he? Yeah. I think what he's going to argue is that he's going to keep insisting that he's a nine. Gee, you're just not. You just. You just ass. That's did um them them ballet play. Nah, no. Full star oh, treatment. Wow. Didn't play. Okay. No starter played. No Donna. No. Okay. Marquinhos came on. And Lucas didn't play. Lucas wasn't even in the squad. Nuno was in, not in the squad. Warren didn't play either. I think. Yeah, Warren was not in the squad. Vitina didn't play. Fabian didn't play. And then Kangeli and Mbappe came in towards the end. Yeah, like it's over. It's over, Phil. Yeah, like it, bro. We're gonna be so like you guys are gonna have no rhythm. Oh, stop this, like, Mitch Olsen, bro. What do you mean, Mitch? Like, I man, promise you, you, you no. Otez, okay, so, so uh, if you are Otez, then this break would benefit us, bro. Like, no, but it's also you need a level of rhythm as well. Oh, You're gonna be so. so overwhelmed on the night. <laughs> You're gonna be so overwhelmed, oh, and you guys. Aren't you don't have. You don't have. You don't have someone. You don't have a Pessy anymore. To pick you up. We don't need Pessy, bro. Like, we have a more balanced team, bro. Like, no, you don't. Yeah, we do. No, you don't. But we, we got a balanced team. Do, do you know how gay that sounds? What? Because what do you mean better balanced? Like, that's the most important thing to have a balanced team, bro. It's not. What's a balanced team? A team that ha that. A team that is good in multiple positions, midfields, defense, attack. But isn't that every single team? Bro, no. The, the teams with Messi, they're terrible. Um, the, the midfields were, were bad and also the defense. Bro, your midfield is still bad. No, it's not, bro. Like, the midfield you're going to play is going to get overwhelmed. Oh, my You're God. not going to keep the ball. Oh, my God. That, the midfield you have won't keep the ball. Christensen, Frankie, Gundo. Really? That's you're not keeping the get, ball. Yeah, you're not going to keep the ball. You can get five midfielders. It doesn't matter. You guys will have five, six, seven. We're going to keep the ball, bro. No, you will have it like in phases. Yeah, but we have, for the majority, no. PSG, I think PSG, no. I'm actually going to come out and say I think PSG You, you, you didn't even have position against Napoli. Wait, Joseph, that is clear. 
Barca had 50-50. Like, I think they had less position than Napoli. You know that game, we, we were best stressed because it was our first knockout, knockout game in oh, like no, four no. years. Oh, you, th- you no. think you've been playing uh, PSG and Mbappe at the back, you won't be stressed? No. Man. <laughs> I will be there, bro. Phil is shaking. I'm not shaking, shaking bro. Down. Like, bro, like deep like, down. You don't like, you shaking, took bro. too many L's. You don't took too many L's. So the transfer breakout, though, and shit. So, so now, like, oh relaxed. my God. Uh, no, no more L's, man. Like, you was twerking for Neymar heavy in the <laughs> summer. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, sir. Tom so, bro. Thank you, Tom. Yo, a joy feels rich, No, no. Phil wow. is a personality, man. <laughs> man, we would be there, man. Tom yeah, I Soul, remember how Phil SSP. was trying to cook during that purple patch. You remember, Phil? <laughs> oh, Felix pain, better man. than the Billy patch. Oh, uh, pain, man. I, Wait, I did you want Mr. Back at Barca? When? Yeah, um, he did. He did. Last no, summer. No, not last summer. Bro, he's he's cooked, bro. Bro, no. you did want him, bro. Stop no. it. Stop it. Stop it. You wanted him back, bro. Stop. Mm-hmm. I only want him for no for nostalgic reasons, but like I don't know, man. I don't think he would fit, bro. Like he has zero legs, man. Uh, Phil, young first Champions League season Mbappe or first Champions League season Yamal? Who's better? No, what? This dude, no what that's, a, a, that's a crazy why question. Do you have a Lamar, this dude no has a Lamine agenda, bro. He's only 16, no, no, no. man. Oh, you see what I'm saying? He's 16. Bro. He's 16. Bro. Hey, Mbappe, was Mbappe? Was he 17? Which run? No, he wasn't. He was 18 by then. Or was he 17? <laughs> Also, nah, he really peaked. He really peaked at eighteen, though. Like, not 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 peaked. I mean, he broke through. He like he's he broke through at eighteen. What year was that? The Monaco year. Yeah, the Monaco year. Yeah. Oh my god, he most compared eighteen to sixteen year old. Oh my. Oh, god. he was seventeen in groups and eighteen. No, because uh, Barca fans before were comparing. When I said Yamal, it's not going to be good because he has zero goals and like one assist in eight Champions League games. Like, this game would be too big for him. And then someone said, oh, but you remember Mbappe was young and he had a crazy Champions League knockout stage. So they, they, it wasn't me. It was the comment and then I wanted to ask you. But you agree that Mbappe, first Champions League season in Yamal, co- completely incomparable. Mbappe is so clear, right? Mm, I guess. But what why, do you mean, I guess? But why like, is Mo now using the goals? And that's his argument. Where, where what, what is it? Has Yamal scored in this Champions League where campaign? Energy with Dembele, huh? No. What about what, what, what about I mean, Because Phil, I don't say Dembele will score, but you know who oh says Dogma will score? Do you know who says that? Himself. <laughs> Both home and away. <laughs> Fucking disgusting. <laughs> it's not boys. <Barcelona, laughs> it's him. <laughs> oh, here you go. I think our ultras were sh- were chanting Puta Barca. Yeah. Oh, come on, P3, bro. No, no. <laughs> I'm going to be the last well, I one. I feel sorry for Phil. Because feel... oh. we all know how it ends. For... No, we know how it ends. Man. We know how his shit ends, bro. This, this Barca W is going to get, it's going to make Mo so much money, man. Everyone's going to tune in <laughs> to your full <laughs> smash. <laughs> your full smash. <laughs> It's actually, I get more viewers when, like, today, yeah, Clermont, we all lose, like, yeah. this is not a big game. Oh. But oh, I was like, yeah, 100 right. concurrent okay. viewers, majority yeah, of the stream. I've seen that, I've seen that, yeah. Oh, man, the Barca game is going to feed It's because of the Barca game. Barca game is nearing and shit. So. No, for, for, from now until the second leg, I'm just going to post PSG Barca content. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, we don't play. We just we play you. Yeah, no league game. We play you back to back. Like bro, like even if even if it's even like bro, even if it's like a one one, like that shit like the playoffs, nigga. Like we come in second leg, we make adjustments. Like it's game two or some shit. Like nigga. 
Y'all niggas is food, bro. No, but Tosin, I better hear the same argument about you guys being rusty then, because you have one week off, right? No, we won't be rusty. No, you have, oh, you have go, 10 days we off. We won't be rusty. You have 10 days yeah, off. Yeah, ours is, that's six and, days. And, that's and six Finn, days. You, Finn, you came off, the last game that you played, the 10 days, was Las Palmas. When our yeah. last game will be a Barca game. Because yeah, think six about it, days ago. That would be, it would be six out days in the Barca the game. game. Then we have to travel to you guys as well. So then that one week is, is a good period to, to rest. Yeah. yeah. That's normal. That's normal shit. I still days. remember how Phil warned us, especially Tosin, to watch watch his mouth. Otherwise, they're gonna snatch Verratti Neymar from us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Man, the receipts are crazy, man. <laughs> oh man, the the good old days, man. That chance window was a vibe, bro, man. In the summer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. Name Messi back, Neymar back. <laughs> Dembele, oh, wait, didn't you say Dembele would not come to PSG? Oh, pain, bro. Pain, yeah, I think I said that. And then he snakes me, and then he snakes me, man. Uh, he, uh, he upgraded. Bro, yo, this dude Phil was so gassed for Dembele, of course, <laughs> at the start of the summer. <laughs> He's like, man, Dembele's gonna cook this season. Uh. He's gonna take that lead. <laughs> uh, he's sad as hell, man. No, so, you are, no, Tosa is one. But of the honestly, man, you guys are lucky. You guys are lucky. You lucked into your mom having your mom, man. Because without your mom, you guys would be cooked. That's that's how bad you are. The fact that you need a sixteen-year-old and it's going to be exposed oh, in Champions League. It's, it's going to be exposed in Champions League, sadly. You know, it's unfortunate, but nope. But yeah, man. Um, in the event that the impossible is made possible, y'all not gonna see me. Where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? <laughs> TT. But yeah, where are you hiding, Tosa? <laughs> <laughs> this is God. That's not for y'all to know. You know? <laughs> Pain, bro. Will you be hiding, Phil? Or will you be like, Oh, for sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. He's going to be gone with the quickness. <laughs> nah, I won't, bro. Man, Tosin is really going to dip, man. So, this, so on Tuesday, it's going to be Tosin's last day on the pod, bro. Hey man, the th wait, actually, no, Tuesday, Tosin is not going to show up for the pre match thing. So, so today will be his last day. <laughs> Can you ask Phil how did Barca with a better team last season get embarrassed by a shitty United side and get dunked on by Anthony and Fred? Bro, we weren't better last season. How many times do I have to tell you guys? It was well, Fugazi. You won the league. You it won. was so your league title was fake. Your league title was Fugazi. It was Fugazi, bro. Like wow, you you're saying your league title was Fugazi? Yes, man. No, he says Fugazi. Just because he, he doesn't like Dembele. Just because he don't like Dembele, well. his league title was Fugazi. Man. Bro, no, no, no bro. He, it's because he doesn't like Xavi. Bro, if oh, I were to Chavi, go back okay. on the like, if you were to watch old pods, you, you guys were, would say the same thing too, bro. Like we were conceding so many chances. But everyone was missing, bro. Like, we were worse last season. Bro, you had a great defensive record in La Liga bro, I don't last care. season. Bro, everyone was missing. Easy sh okay. How was it in the Champions League? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you didn't. You didn't. That's what we were telling you, though. Bro, we had. <laughs> That's what we were telling Bellerin. you. Bellerin playing against Mane, bro. Like, stop, man. You we were cooked last season, man. Man, y'all keep going to this defense thing. Defense. Oh, now we have Kunde, we have Araujo, we have Kubarsi, Kubarsi. we Cancelo. have uh, who's your left back, Cancelo. When that back line gets cooked, you have no more excuses. You know that, right? Like you know it's okay. Then you're gonna say when Kubarsi drops a stick, you're gonna say he's just seventeen. He's not dropping no stinker, bro. Okay. Bro, we saw him at the Wanda. We saw him at 
at Bilbao Stadium. Like, he played at hostile stadiums, bro. Like, nothing against no me, against with no talent, no actual talent. Yeah, unless you about to has see no talent, talent he bro. hasn't seen. You about huh? to see real, leg- you about to see like legit talent, <laughs> bro. Yeah, it's, dude's it's running at him with speed, Madrid, like, but even better. Like, bro, you can't you can't even handle Vinny Rodrigo. Bro, like, that was before the Kubarsi crowning, bro. Like, um, any results prior to Kubarsi's debut? I don't care. No, nah, Phil, Phil, Phil. After, you see what I'm saying? Okay, you see what I mean? Say, oh, Kubarsi, it was all for Gacy. Oh, Kubarsi, I was for Gacy. I that, bro. I was. <laughs> nah, bro. Trust me, man. Kubarsi, top two CB. <laughs> Bro, he's not NPC. Barado is NPC, bro. That's an NPC, bro. Hey, man, chill on Lucas. <laughs> yeah, but Phil, we do not say that, oh, when Beraldo came, the entire team changed. We're f- 100 times better now. Bro, I think Ra- I'm start- I'm, I'm, I'm warming up to Ramos starting, bro. Respect the sport, man. Or you think we should play? Because there's got to be a way to fit. I'm thinking Baraldo. Just you don't start Baraldo, and you start Warren at, at right back. But wait, what? But yeah, I don't think Warren starts. Yo, this could be a Warren crowning, man. Like. This is like the perfect game for Warren to just, to just go off. Cause no one, no one can get no one on that. Like if he has space in front of him, space to turn, you know, no one can no one can get the ball off of him. You know, he's just like he's like a phenom. Yeah, like uh, our moments of transition are gonna be scary, man. Because we move so fast, so fast. It's not like Madrid, where you know they're like they don't even move that quickly. They don't move. They don't move the ball as quickly as we do. Like, bro, we move really fast. Like Warren, Vitinha, Dembele, Nuno, Mbappe. Like we move fast. Like yeah, Phil, you have no pace. Like who, who's your Stop, quickest player? Do that piece. Who's your quickest ooh, player? Ooh. Cancelo. Arrows are quick. Oh, you mean attack? Okay. Or oh, oh, Raujo. Oh, uh, bro. But oh there's a lot God, of man. there's a lot of speed speedy center backs in in Liga. Name me a CB as quick as Araujo on your team. Why are we hyping up a center back's pace, Phil? Look, Lucas you, isn't you, you, Lucas, I, Lucas isn't as fast, but Lucas is fast, so he's a quick. Well, I saw Pulis, I saw Pulisic burn him in a race, bro. Like he's told him it's not, it's not that quick, bro. Pulisic is quick. He's quicker than much quicker than Yamal. <laughs> Yamal is not quick. Yamal is like no Yamal is quick to Rafinha. No, 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 Yamal is only like quick with the ball. Like he's quicker than Mares was, I would say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll put them on a similar thing. For example, Phil, who's quicker, Nuno or Yamal? No, oh, Nuno, Nuno. Bro, Nuno's gonna clamp that shit, bro. Like yeah. Nuno, no, 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 bro. It's honestly sad that it's not a consensus opinion that Nuno's the best left back in the world. I think this is the game where he just, you know, playing at 80%, he, he clamps that shit. <laughs> That's very fast. Because, yeah, Nuno's going to clamp that shit, bro. I just can't wait for it, bro. Like, start the damn game, man. I wonder how high up Marquinhos will move in the build-up as like a fullback. 
if he plays full no, back. H- high up. So if Rafinha receives the ball, he's on him immediately. Yeah, I don't see Marquinhos getting cooked by Rafinha. <laughs> like <laughs> a Rafinha on the left as well. Like, yeah. Mm. We have uh, Ismail here, a PSG fan that wants to come in and have his thoughts about the PSG game, PSG Barca game. Welcome, Ismail. Appreciate that. How are you doing? Chilling, doing great. Chilling. How are you? Pretty good. That that game today was kind of disappointing. Why you say that? Why you say that? I'm being streak still alive. E- even with that team on the field, you should, should have won that. Agree. Agree. But uh, that, that's in the past. We're focused on Wednesday. But uh, I, and, I did, I did want to say, before uh, before the quarterfinals, I was uh, I, I kept a good eye on Barca when they played uh, Napoli. Yeah. And Napoli's tactics against Barca were, I, in my opinion, it, it was amazing. But I think they didn't have the the kind of players that they needed that PSG have. Otherwise, they could, I actually think they could have beaten Barca because in, in the first leg, I remember there were at least four or five like chances where they would play the ball over the top, and Barca's like defense was like it was a high line like at the midfield area, and they would play a ball over the top for Osimhen. And I mean, I, I love Osimhen. I, I I don't know if I want him at PSG, but it I in my head I was like, if that's Mbappe and that ball is getting Picked over the top, that that's that's easily a, a dangerous chance or even a goal. I think if, if Barca plays the way that they play against teams like Napoli and La Liga teams, then I, I think I think PSG cooks them. Yeah, PSG just moved too fast. For them. Exactly. Yeah. Old, too fast. old brother, old brother. What's up? <laughs> yeah. What's the issue? Phil, you just hate him, man. <laughs> nah, I just disagree. Um, why? Why do you? Why do you disagree? Because you're seeing how I think Napoli were, were missing key players and, and stuff, but so were we. Like we're missing Frankie. We're missing like uh, who else? But but that I, that that doesn't change the fact that <clears throat> if Barca plays the way they did against Napoli, then they'll they'll be in trouble. I, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. I remember mm. uh, watching the uh, El Clasico. Where Barca wanted to do the high line against Real Madrid. Vinny, Vinny Rodrigo. Then, yeah. yeah, Vinny Vinny got like two goals in ten minutes. And in Patrick. my opinion, Mbappe's clear of Vinny. Yeah. So if, if Vinny was doing that to to Barca, you know. And the thing is, Mbappe and, moves. He, he he's gonna be like a, he's not gonna just stay stay <clears throat> where he's gonna move to the right. He's gonna move to the left. Like. Yeah, and and I also think this could be one of those games where. Barca or Chavi knows he has to change something. You know what I mean? To, to play against PSG. Because I don't think the, the typical Barca high line, I don't think they, they'll do that in Paris. And I think when managers start to change things and like hesitate, I think that's where like they start to, to crumble. Yeah, but ever since that 4-1 defeat to Madrid, we stopped playing that crazy high line. Now we, we kind of play like a mid block and also another change that we did is that we, we moved Kunde from center back to right back so I, I don't see our defense being like um, exposed that much mm. anymore because like we made some some ch- changes you know and, and we don't play that crazy high line a- anymore Trust, trust me. Well, like, well, do you do you guys? Think it just, that... it just that just sounds like a contingency plan, you know. No, that's no, what no, it no, is. It doesn't. No, no, that no, doesn't. No, that no, doesn't no, look no, like no, a long term. Entire this, team. This Here's your team, team versus Napoli. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're not in a high line, and like the only players missing is Dion. We don't even care about that. He's he's ass. Stop, bro. It's not, bro. You were begging for him, bro. You gotta stop calling <laughs> our first ass, man. <laughs> no, just let's just look. Could PSG oh. do? This? Really? Bro, I would love I would love that front three. We will out position you guys. You will look mostly like this. No, you won't, against man. us. Trust me. Yes, we will be pinning you back, whether you like it or not. And then look at this. 
<laughs> Cancelo. Who's going to score from the and this... cutback on your team? Well, we have Vitinha, Warren. Vitinha. Warren, like what? They've all scored cutbacks. What do you mean? I feel I'm just talking about how easily the ball got to Pulitano there. Like Cancelo is ass, Phil, whether you like it or not, he's ass defensively. If we pin you back like this, it's over. No, no, and, that, and that's on the right channel. Our right side, our right, channel, dude. Our, what what we do on is from the right side. The football. Like the, Dembele receives the ball in this area here. The reason why I'm not that scared about you guys in the first leg because there's no high Hakimi, bro. That's a major loss for y'all, bro. Is Hakimi better than Kunda? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? Why are you are you asking that more? I'm just no, because more... Okay, I I wonder why. Why does Luis Enrique not like Mukiele? Because I feel like Mukiele offers so much. Like, I, it, in my opinion, I think he sometimes offers more than Hakimi. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. He's not it. it in like, I, I don't know how to explain, but I've seen the games that Mukiele has played. He's, like, he's just, him and the ball is just not, you know, he's just not good enough with the ball for Lucho side. That's why, he, that's pretty much why you don't really play. Mm. Like, his demands, what he wants, like. Uh-huh. What do, what about Fabian Ruiz? What do you guys think about him? I think I think I think he's like the biggest wild card of the night. You guys think he'll he'll play? Yeah, I think he starts, yeah. And I think he if really he has play. a good game, if he has a good game, man, like I think that really bodes well for the team. I think he's like the biggest wild card on the night. Because mm -hmm. he, he can match up, he can match up with Frankie. He matches up with Frankie. Boss, like it's not hard. Like I saw Goretzka boss Frankie, so you know Stop, if he can match bro. up, I would play him. Respect our uh, players, bro. Like no need. He, There's uh, no need to. There's no need to giving your track record in Europe. So there's no need to. Plus, but yeah, it's either like, him or Dembele that would be like the open man in the because we're playing a four man midfield or yeah. even a five man. I, I really like Dembele, but I, I get scared because I feel like he, he'll either do something amazing or he'll lose the ball in the midfield and then that, that's a turnover. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, but I think he's I think he's been um I think he's been more measured with that. Like in the Stad Rene game, like it he didn't lose, like his waist was way less from those central areas. So uh -huh. But yeah, like that's I do get that point. Like, because there was one he had. Like, was it against um, Marseille? Yeah, it was Marseille. Sixty second minute, just before he got taken off with Mbappe, he made one like really bad pass where he just passed it straight to. Um, I think it was. I mean, Harit or something. Yeah, he just passed it straight to him. Like, but yeah, like it's just. I think that's just, those are just like it's just concentration issues. Yeah, right. and, and you, I mean, you never know. I think come Wednesday, we could see something that Luis Enrique has never done. And, and that's the one thing that I think separates him from other managers that we've had. He, Luis Enrique does things where you can't really predict. Like in the past, like last year, for example, you knew what Christophe Galtier was going to do for a game. You could easily predict the lineups. But if you're a, if you're a manager for Barcelona, for example... You, you think about what PSG could potentially do. There's so many things they can do. Whereas, like, previous years, like, it, yeah. like even I could tell you what they were doing. And, I, I, I like, I don't – I'm not a coach. You know what I mean? But, like, and, and said that he thinks um, he might play – he might ship put Nuno higher up the field as a left winger. That's something to think about. Like, mm. And just play Nuno, Mbappe, Dembele up top. <laughs> I'll pull up how we will look tactically. Uh, oh, I have it here already. So here's how, how it's going to look. Hernandez, Berando, Marquinhos, Vicinio, Warren in the double pivot, Fabiani, Lee in the half spaces, Dembele and Nuno holding the width, and Mbappe up top. It's a four-man midfield. Barca playing with a three-man midfield. Cancelo pushing up, Rafinha here. Oh, okay. 
And then if, if we say they were, they were pressing us, we're going to look like this. Uh, I think Fabianski could be more here. Dembele. I mean, Dembele could maybe be essentially here. So if they press us, Leva will occupy the two centre-backs. Cancelo will be on Lee. Rafinha or Marquinhos. Kubarsi here. Christensen here. Gundo. Frankie. And then Mbappe will be drifting to the left when in the beginning of the game. And then Kunda and Araujo will take him. And you see who's the open man here? Yeah. It's Fabian. If, if we say Gundo drops deep, Christensen goes to him. It's Dembele who's the open man. Maybe Barca will tell Kubarsi to go to him, but if Dembele goes this deep, as he did versus Sosinad, then either Kubarsi has to let him go, and then we have an easily output from the press, or Kubarsi drops deep. And Araujo has to go here, and then Araujo has to defend this entire thing by himself, and you're putting Mbappe in a 1v1. Or if Araujo stays, this entire holds. Because that's the dangerous thing, Ismail, if you watch the Sociedad game. Yeah. Yeah. Why yeah. they Spal couldn't press us? Every time they, they tried to press us, Dembele was dropping deep. Yeah. And Sociedad didn't commit one of their sides like, Bar onto him. Barca are not going to be that aggressive. Um, it but yeah, if we find that space between their midfield and defense, those spaces, that's yeah. where Dembele can exploit. Like, And then Mbappe can make runs like but yeah, that space in behind Christensen and Frankie. You get our players running at them with pace, like down the sides. Like, yeah, it's there's gonna be so many opportunities for cutbacks, for like, you know, shots from outside the box. Like Yeah. And here again, Tosin, if we're playing uh if they're playing a mid block, which would be very dangerous with the high line, look who's the open man once again. It's either going to be Fabian that's the open man or Dembele. Or it could be Warren, you know? I mean, if they Warren also Dembele, moves. Warren Warren moves. Yeah, Warren moves. Yeah, because Warren moves as well. There was a time, there was a gate, there was a part where Warren was the open man against Sociedad, remember? Yeah. And he drove like 30, 40 meters before he took a shot in their box. You know? And I also want Hernandez to make these runs, Tosin. And Martinez to make these runs. No, nah, that's. Her I, just, I know Hernandez can do it. Marquinhos, I'm um, unsure. Baraldo got to give us a lot of quality on the ball, which he will. Like, if our center backs play well with the ball, it's, yeah, like. Uh, it, it's it's gonna, funny how it's two possession based teams that are going against each other. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the thing is with Ismail, with possession-based teams, is that they are used to playing with position, which means when yeah. they do not have position, they are in an uncomfortable situation. But the great thing yeah. with this... PSG More so is, Barcelona. More so yeah, yeah, yeah. Barcelona. Because think about Lucho, for example, when Barca MSN played at Bayern, when he played Pep, he gave Pep the position in the first leg at the Camp Nou, and he just countered them and beat them 3-0. Mm -hmm. Lucho's possession can play with and without the ball. Barca can only play with the ball. Barca without the ball are bad. They need they, the and, ball and, badly. And, and they don't want and they don't want a back and forth, back and forth. Remember, like point example, Gundo. Did you see how he 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 made Yamal? He told him to stop dribbling, and then Yamal just said, like had to chill, like because Yamal was in transition. Yamal could have gone at his you know gone at the fullback, but Gundo okay. told him to slow down. I don't know. I, it was either Na was it Napoli, Phil, where you just told him to slow down, yes. and then you know let's recycle the ball and keep the ball. You know, like yeah. it's called pausa, Tosin. Okay, it's that's pausa. not pausa. That's no, not it pausa. he's thirty-five and should retire. That's just that's just him saying, like, bro, we old as hell. We need a long spell of possession <laughs> where we're not chasing after the ball. But PSG, we don't care. Like every transition, we're going to go for the jugular. Like we play at a really insane pace, bro. Like you guys are gonna not. You guys and are then from the other weaknesses: Christensen, yellow card, he misses the second leg. Frankie, yellow card, misses the second leg. Araujo, yellow card, misses the second leg. Yeah, true. <laughs> sure. The central areas. Yeah. Why why are we talking about our yell cards? How about if Lucas? How about if Dembele? How about yep. if but I think okay. with the center backs, I think we have we have we can easily cover that. 
Yeah, if, if Lucas has a yellow card, Phil, Hakimi will be back for the second leg. I yeah. was just playing Nuno Beraldo Marquinhos uh, thingy. Yeah. And Dembele, Phil, Dembele just has to be calm. It's not like he's a player that usually tackles. He gets these stupid yellow cards when he just gets yeah. mad. Against Milan, he just pulled the yeah, ball away. Yeah, he just kicks Newcastle. the ball, yeah. yeah. But it's yeah. a game where he has to be professional and just stay calm. Yeah, he, yeah exactly. Don't talk with the referee, don't do it. And he can easily do that. Mm. So, Phil, do you think they will double up on Mbappe? Mm. Hmm. Or will it be like this? Maybe Araujo drops here to, on Fabian and Kubarsi drops a bit on Dembele. Do you want Mbappe versus Kunde in 1v1? I luckily don't mind that because I don't see Mbappe as a like a crazy um, 1v1 dribbler, you know? So I think no, Kunde... I guess, but Araujo will be able to, like, help out, you know, if he tries to run, like, in behind. So, I don't think we will double him. I don't think so. We'll just play a good um, collective def um, defense. <clears throat> so, are you positive that it's going to be Lee that plays over Barcola? Yeah, I mean, I took most of it from previous games. <clears throat> And today's game. Uh huh. Oh. Barcola, look, Barcola, for the past month, ever since the goal in the first leg versus Sociedad, has not been good. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And then now, recently, was out for what, two weeks? It would be uh -huh. stupid for Lucha to play him. But I get see, it. But you want that 1v1 threat. The thing yeah, is, I, I, could I, see being, I, I could see Lee being central, Ismail, and Dembele being on the wing. And then you have like a Mbappe, Dembele, and Nuno. And so uh, three outlets. I, I think I think they're most productive when Dembele's in the middle. That's yeah, but I, with Hakimi missing, I could see Dembele playing on the wing, just because Hakimi is missing because you need some kind of pace on that flank. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, at that point, no, I think I think I think Dembele around. and Lee. I think that's why Lee's not. I think Dembele and Lee will just interchange throughout the game. You know. You see, if you guys yeah. start Lee, I don't see you guys having that many goal scoring, like, like goal scoring, like, like opportunities, because like the that was the one that was the issue. Dribble past someone, you know, like Cancelo a, a couple of times, because this is Dembele's game when he plays on the flanks. He would try to dribble the right back, I mean, the left back, and after he beats him, his goal instead of trying to you know run towards goal or Try to go for a shot, he would just look for a spam cross. But if he, he were to do that, and it's only Mbappe against four other de defenders, because I'm sorry, Lee, bro, like he's not going to be a threat in the box. But um, Dembele don't really do that. He don't spam crosses. I was looking at Dembele's. Um, Are you sure, man? I was looking at Dembele's uh, games with you guys in the group stages. Uh, last season, five of twenty-four crosses, two of fifteen crosses. Dembele doesn't play like that with us. Dembele's not having that high volume of crosses. Like you guys used him in a disgusting way, man. You just told him, "Yo, like that's inst that clearly instructional." Okay, 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 okay. Put in that yeah, many crosses. Dembele, Dembele doesn't play like that. Okay, like even the way he plays at PSG. <clears throat> Yeah, so, he doesn't. He doesn't so, put two, three, three okay, four, yeah, so five, he, nine, ten, eleven. He doesn't spam cross. Okay, fine. Yeah, he he doesn't cross, but usually when he like dribbles past someone, he tries to look for someone to pass to. Right? Yeah. Can yeah, you yeah. agree with that? But yeah. who can you look to pass to when there's only Mbappe up top? No, there's Lee at the top. There's Fabiana crashing into the box. Bro, you there's Virginia, Warren, dude. That midfield four, all he of passes, them could score a goal. Obviously, Mbappe Mbappe's going to attract attention, but I'm just saying, like, the midfield four behind them, like, they can be wild cards on the night where they can score a goal, too. Like, I don't see... Like, this is my issue. Like, Barca fans are saying, oh, it's just the Mbappe team. If you stop yeah. up Mbappe, like, they're not going to do anything. What about your team? What about your fucking team? Like, yeah, who scores goals threats. for you? We have Rafinha. What? We have... Oh, my Lewa, God. Have... Like, how are, how are these guys threats? 
Gundagan, like compared what? to our, we have like, Torres, Gundagan, Gundagan, Gundagan. Torres. Oh my like, God. Should we name Gonzalo then off the bench? Gonzalo is more goals than Ferran Torres this season. Here we go. Like we could call Colo a threat. We could like, like what's your what's like, like, like what's your idea of a threat? So like I, I, I just don't get it, man. Like, Listen, let's not bring up any bench players, but. Our starters, Level can score a goal, Kundugan can score a goal, mm-hmm. Lamin can, and also Rafina can. Okay. Um, okay, you said Lamine. Okay, so I'll, I'll say as well Mbappe can score a goal, Dembele can score a goal. Don't tell us, don't say Dembele. Why can't I can't say Dembele? Bro, he only has one goal the entire season. How do you know he can score? How do you know that he can score a goal? Because he can. That makes no sense. How? <laughs> He can so why can he do it? Why can he do it before then? I don't know. Like the landscapes just haven't oh been there. Oh my god! Here we go. Okay. Okay. He has like three point six xg <laughs> on the season, I, and he and he doesn't play. And honestly, realistically, he doesn't play that much. I saw he averages fifty nine per minutes a game in the league. So okay, continue though. Part, um, yeah, Lee can score a goal. Mm-hmm. Warren can score a goal. Vicinia can score a goal. Fabian can score a goal. Our, really all, our, all four of our midfielders can score you're goals. You're really relying on your midfielders, bro. I just mentioned three attackers. What attack? Three. Lee's an lo- attacker, I guess you could say. Okay, I guess. I don't know, man. Like, like all of our players, have, they've, they've all scored goals at points in the season. So I, I just don't get that. I don't get that point. And then um, even from um, set pieces, I think Marquinhos could score a goal. You know, but we are way taller than you guys, and we're actually good in in the air this season. Like, especially defending, I don't think we have conceded like a set piece goal yet. Oh, for real? Yeah, that's... I might be wrong, but I don't remember. I. I... I think I'll we'll enjoy this game because you look at a team like Real Sociedad. I think I think PSG would rather play a team like Barcelona just stylistically because you you play a team like uh, <laughs> Damn. so actually I, I like I, I just think <laughs> when you play against Barcelona there there will be so many more chances than there were against uh, Real Sociedad. Wait, why do you believe that? I don't want you guys always gas up Real Sociedad like. They were, because bro, you, you could have handled them. You have to consider, oh you have to consider God, the so style. Bad. You you have to consider the style that they play. Can, can we go through their schedule? I mean, like they're a, they're a very good pressing just, side. They're no, very good. We, press- before that tie, can we go through their last fifteen games and see their form before they before they played you guys? They were barely winning, bro. Before I mean, that, was, they, that was a team that Barcelona. Barely managed to get that goal. was, but that was like four months ago. I mean, man, a team is a team. Like Real Sociedad is, they went basically flawless in their group. You can't discredit that, whether no, they had injuries or not. No, no, but they were lucky too because Inter, both times when they put Inter, Inter played their B team. They always rested players against them. I think they had important, but you don't games. you don't top your group by by accident. That's just not you. Do, that doesn't happen by accident. I mean, I don't. They weren't that impressive. Trust me, man. Like, even I just right now, think the way Barcelona plays will invite players like Mbappe for many chances. Man, he better. Phil, you will be the most open team that we play this season, right? Yeah, man. yeah exactly. That's, that's uh, what I'm trying to say. This that's what I'm, I'm, hate, I'm talking. I'm talking about a high line. You're not a team that's afraid of us. You're not no, a team that's gonna park the bus. Are you? Are you, are you gonna? Are you gonna try to counter press us? You know, like you know, suffocate us in our home. You know, to try to keep the ball. Are you guys gonna try that's to play Sociedad that? did in the first half. Yeah, that's what Sociedad tried to do. No, we're going to play a mid block, like, like watch and, us against okay. Atletico Madrid. That's how we're gonna play. Oh, is that how you played against Atleti in a yeah, mid-ball? Man. But but yeah. you see, here's the yeah, issue. Here's the issue. PSG is not yeah. 
they're not Atletico. Like they're not exactly. going. They're not. They don't. They'll counter you. Atletico. They don't have like the same. They don't have pieces. Guess, like, yeah, research. they're not good on the bomb. They and are. That, and that's another thing. I no, not comparable to us. Not comparable and, to us. Yeah, everyone who's saying that Atletico, like based on all Bro. the predictions I've seen, they all say that a team like Atletico would take out PSG. But I think the way PSG plays with the possession would easily take care of Atletico. I, I guess the one, one thing I am I, I could be worried about is that those first like 20 20 ish minutes or maybe even the first half against Real Sociedad in, in Paris where sometimes where they do try to press it, it does work on us but that's the yeah. only thing I, I really see happening. No, no, why I'm not afraid of that is first of all the defensive animation we had Marquinhos, Danilo, and then Beraldo as a left back. This yeah, time it will that. be Marquinhos, yeah. Beraldo in the center, and Lucas Hernandez and Nuno Mendes, who yeah. are all really good on the ball. And then it's the extra midfielder. That's why Sosa's press didn't work in the second leg. Dembele yeah. entirely fucked you up. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna yeah. lie that that game it, it kind of gave me a bad impression about Beraldo, but I, I've taken that back. I think I think he's an amazing, amazing center back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just saw that comment, bro. I never guessed Napoli, bro. Like, I have respect, you know. I mean, I have well, self-respect. You, you said you had a great, perf- you didn't have a great performance versus Napoli. Yeah. No, I said we had like a good. You, you had a great game. start. You got the two 0 Then you became comfortable. You let Napoli come into the game, and then in the second half, it was. Napoli a bit more than you guys, and then you got the goal before them. Like, if that Lindstrom chance had gone in, you would have gone to extra time. Here we go. Why don't you talk about yeah. our missed chances? Like, but end of the you of didn't the day, have a missed chance. Oh my god! But I think yeah, the, I think that scoreline day... was misleading because uh, Napoli could could have easily tied, and then oh that, their third goal would not have gone in. I think they would have played more defensively. Yeah. I guess that yeah, first leg was was also misleading too. We missed like so many chances, and they they scored one fluke goal. Like that's football, bro. Like, and, and I I I want to ask do you: Do you guys prefer that it's in Paris and then you go to Spain, or would you have rather had it the other way around? Because every bar, oh, yeah, 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 it, it's man, they're all celebrating it. As yeah, honestly, it's Paris, I don't like, oh my god, we got the music. <laughs> Come on, I'm, I'm trying to figure that out. What, what, what's the yeah? Like, like they don't, they're, they're not gonna travel well. Like, I don't think they understand. Like, they, they don't. Barcelona are not gonna. No, it's it, do it's well more because of past trauma. It's more because of past mm. trauma. It's it's Roma. It's Liverpool. Mm. All of these. The second leg was away, so they're just happy. That's that's not gonna happen. I and I think PSG is uh, outgrown that that kind of curse where they go to the away stadium and and choke. I oh. think this season, like especially against Sociedad, like oh they went God. there. That was a professional <laughs> performance. I think they'll do the same. No, it, it, Phil, even yeah. Dortmund, a, a team that's in the quarterfinals, okay, me, me, we I went tie, away to them, we cooked them. Give yeah. me a tie other than Dortmund that you guys went through after beating them away from home in the second leg. Can we say that again? Name me a tie where you guys went through when the second leg was away from home. The thing is, in the past two seasons, we've only played... Uh, yeah. One game each in both knockout stages. Yeah. And then season before. You guys played City and then you guys got eliminated. Both you and Bayern, it was us, uh, us home second leg. Season no, but that City game, the, the, this context, like we lost oh, the first we game. Any, we lost the first game anyway. So on some fluke shit, but we lost the game. So it, like it's. Like it's weird to even just like even bring that up, bro. Like because what really matters is you're playing the first leg at the park and you're not surviving. Okay, but Tosa, what if we do? Are 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 you guys going to be in trouble? Let's say if we survive. No, no, but no. I, I hate this. It means it'll it'll, it'll be everyone, then. It'll everyone's be grueling, saying that but... if you if you tie in in the, in Paris, that you'll you'll automatically have a good result in Spain. I don't think it's like that. I think no, no, I don't think it's that either. Way. Yeah. Yeah, I still think it, then it's open. At that point, it's open. Objectively, it's open. Yeah. But um, I don't see it that way. I think you get blown away at the park. I think we're stronger at home than you guys are at that makeshift it stadium. Just, it really depends on how Barcelona approaches the game. Because I, I personally don't think they'll they'll play 
the, they won't play the same way that they played against Las Palmas last week, for example. Like they, it'll be it'll be different. I, I think they'll play more defensively. They'll definitely. Yeah, I think they'll play very defensive. I think they're going to play very defensive. I think they'll willingly give us possession, which yeah. is sad because that kind of plays into our hands. And yeah, it's yeah. But it, in in the off chance that they do start trying to possess and play this high line. I would rather Barca do that than try to play defensive because the moment teams start doing that against PSG, I, I, it just invites Mbappe and other players, Dembele. But what, what was the what was your guys' prediction for the first game? I have three one or four one. Three one four one. Yeah, I have the same. It's with, but I'm thinking clean sheet. So I'm thinking three nil, four nil. Then why are you laughing? You guys are funny, man. <laughs> Score four hey, goals. Bro, bro, you have to say, but you have to say, but you have the same. I no, our our players will come on. Like Colo Gonzalo will come on. They'll score. Yeah, uh, and then the, they they will each score two goals. Like come on, bro. Like no, no, no. One of them. No, and Bobby will have oh. at least a brace, maybe a hat trick. Yeah, like Mbappe. <laughs> I don't know how that's funny, It's not. It's not Mbappe's second hat trick. You underestimated uh, Mbappe and not Finn. You remember last time what happened in Mbappe played you? Bro, that was during COVID times, bro. Like, what do you mean COVID time? Like, <laughs> it, was that not during COVID or not, bro? That shit irrelevant, bro. But what like, is that? What is that? Bro, were empty. COVID, uh, AIDS, were empty. HIV, anything. Pretty empty stadiums, bro. Like, no fans. Of like. It wasn't even a home I mean, game. I, like, I think Mandzukic would be even more dead oh now. My God. Bro, like that. you're talking COVID. Like, Mbappe gave your whole team Ebola on that night, man. Just <laughs> three goals. Three goals, bro. Down the jet, like. Two goals <laughs> against a wash PK. He dropped long big, let. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, like this is what Barca oh fans do. They, they, they go to the defensive personnel. It don't matter, bro. Oh, my God. You're still going to get cooked. Like, what, if it, what was your midfield in that game? Frankie, Pedri, and uh, Busquets. And he still got cooked. <laughs> bro, <laughs> Busquets, got had, cooked, had, bro. Busquets had no <laughs> legs. Pedri was a baby. Frankie, um, he wasn't like... That's what y'all going to be saying. That's what you're going to be saying, gonna be saying. Gonna be saying after this game. That's what you're going to be saying. You know, love was old. Yeah, Chris is, got your no mom, legs. Your mom is a baby. Your mom is oh, a baby. You, you know, like, you're going to be saying the same shit. Like, scripts. It's just... You know how this goes, bro. And, and, I, I, and young? yo, by the way, look, I, I'm seeing, I'm, I'm sensing a Michael Laudrup type of script with uh, Luis Enrique. So you know, Michael Laudrup is the only player oh, to play for Real Madrid teams. and Barcelona, yeah, and and win four one. You know, Lucho, who did the same, I think, with PSG, um, he'll be the first uh, manager to win six one both sides. I, I think. <laughs> I think it's good. I think, yeah, I think, uh, yeah. Get off the weed, bro. Like, just get off the weed. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I do, I do love the fact that it's it's Luis Enrique managing PSG because I, I think that actually gives PSG the advantage because he, he would know what Barcelona is about, you know? How? He coached us like he, five years ago, seven years ago. Like, yeah, but, he, 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 but Barcelona, they, they play the Barcelona way. You know, I guess true, and, and not to mention, like Luis Enrique was the coach of Chavi. Like, I think that that is not spoken of enough. I think that also plays like a factor as well. Like, oh yeah, he did coach him. That's true. Best that nigga too. <laughs> oh, don't kill me. Oh, don't kill me, David. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Why he why, um, why he bringing that up? Yo, Phil. Yo, I've gotten a footage. The future has contacted me and it gave me a picture. Oh no. I read it to you. Yeah, it, go. It's from the first leg. Oh my <laughs> god. Respect Frankie, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Yes, sir. Oh my yes, God. Sir. <laughs> you, you, you feel the player you guys are mostly underrating is Vitinha. Yeah. How? He 
he's because he's bro, he first of all he's our best midfielder he's and, so, and he's consistent and he's so consistent he's just so consistent Poston, you want him sold bro just stop man i'm not hearing you guys bro like you said that he was on the market bro stop Tosin. well well if you if you think about it people, players like vitinha are the are the uh reason like reasons that mbappe plays well uh like very good as well like if you look at AC Milan, like when we played them in the group stage, Mbappe scored his goal. He played well because of the way Vitinha played and how he was positioned on the field. So I think that's another reason he's a beast. Yeah, man. Vitinha just been like, he's just so, like, he's so tactically versatile. He can play on the wing, he can play at the heart of midfield, he can play as an advanced eight. Like, and he will be the deepest. Gundogan will be his marker. Vitinha will own Gundogan, Phil. Own him. He stopped. Yeah, no, this no, no, no Phil, Phil. I'm not saying dribble. I'm, I'm just saying pure running. Gundogan can't run. Vitinha can run. Yes, he for... can. Mo, why do you do this? Like you. Gundogan you, can run. You wanted him two months ago. Like Mo, why? I, I no, 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 Phil. You, you, we can go back to the pods. It was for, Islam wanted him the most. Tosin was a bit okay. I was I was against it. I called him kebab setter all the time. You remember that film? You, I didn't wait, want Gundogan my club. You called Frankie a kebab. Oh, oh, uh, Frankie. I thought you said about Gundogan. No, I'm uh, talking. I said Gundogan will be Vitina's oh, marker. Oh, Vitina will run run circles around him all day long. Okay, never mind. I thought you said Vitina and Frankie. Okay. Yeah. No, Frankie. Just in the Champions League, he's. He, he looks like a mid player. He looks like any average player. Mm. And Phil, what would you say about the stuff when Barca fans say he holds your game back? He's too slow. Man, it's all a myth, man. These people just hate, man. But all the Barca players rate him so highly. They all say he's the best player in training, this and that. And then you see Barca fans on Twitter just hate him. They just hate no, Frankie is very, reason. very. Frankie's a very talented player, but he's Thank just you, never, man. but he's never shown it at Barca. That's just the, the reality. He, need, he needs to leave that club. Yeah. Oh so, bro, they, they they said the same thing about Dembele in training at Barca. He just needs to leave. You know. Mm. Um, is, I don't believe you guys Barca? will not accumulate point one xg throughout the game in your uh, yeah no it's yeah, not us oh oh oh, 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 oh wow. Rated, bro. Jesus. wow oh okay he's a he's a barca fan makes sense he's not a barca fan he might be a, like no he's a barca fan no bro he's a neutral bro like not everyone's a barca fan i just take the no, no, I, bro I, a statement like that is wild <laughs> to say we won't accumulate point one xg how can a neutral say that have some, come on, bro. Be serious. I think the difference is big. It's just the fan base, the Barca fan base, because it's pretty big. They're they're trying to yeah. They're trying to stretch it and seem like this is closer than it actually is. It, yeah, exactly. Especially where we're like, with my friends, my friend groups, like everyone's, you know, like Barca. It's either Barca or Real Madrid. It's a, it's it's heavy heavy in uh Barca like with like in terms of like. The number of fans there's not that many psg fans you know but yeah i that, that won't matter when it comes to to wednesday is uh is the paris fan base big where you guys are from no no where, where are you guys from i'm from sweden sweden ah nice yeah so did no you, no psg fans huh? did you start following uh <laughs> PSG because of Ibra. Yeah, when Ibra joined, that was uh... yeah me as well. I remember um, for me it was uh, after the QSI took over the Qataris. I remember um, what when I really really started watching was uh, PSG's tie against Chelsea, where Thiago Silva scored that last oh. scored that, uh, third third goal. Second goal, but yeah. Well, third like I mean aggregate. Oh, aggregate. Okay, okay. Yeah, that was. Never forget that, man. Now that's still my, my favorite game, PSG game. That was amazing. Most new young fans have the Atalanta game, but I still got that Chelsea game. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that Chelsea game was because we had to battle with no Ebra. Yeah, and that Ebra red car. Hey, remember that Cavani missed Tosin when he went past oh, the, the, and Cahill the, and then hit the post? Yeah. I hated Cavani so much back in the day, man. Man. 
you guys went through just to lose to me. <laughs> right? You guys, <laughs> lost, you guys lost to Barca, right? Yeah, you did, yeah. That's just, 14, yeah. 15, yeah. That was a vibe. I'm excited for this game, man. Curious to see what Mbappe does. Who do you guys think Neymar is going to be cheering for? <laughs> I, 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 uh, you know what? I'm going to say this film. What? Just because Mbappe is still at PSG, he, he wa- <laughs> I'm not going to say he wants Barca to win. He wants PSG yeah. to lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're saying that he's going to pull him out. Because then he can like the post saying, oh, we're PSG needed Neymar. Yeah. PSG, we're, we're needed. <laughs> he wants us to lose, Phil. Because then he's I- proven right. He doesn't I fucking funny. care about Barca, man. Yeah, he does care about us, bro. I find I it funny how, he... how like, uh, he, he likes a bunch of posts online about, like, like Dembele, for example. How yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, I think that's, that's actually, yeah, that's hilarious. Nah, he's just jealous, extremely jealous. No, uh, he, he just embarrassed. Dembele came, he him... took his 10. Imagine you leave a team and another player takes your number and then they score only one goal, bro. Like, come on, man. I mean, another reason I'm I'm so like, I usually I'm not someone that's overly confident. Like I'm not gonna lie, when I watch your videos, I see you're pretty confident. But I, oh. I'm I'm someone who who doesn't get ahead of themselves. But I feel like the culture has just changed ever since Neymar has left. Because before I I feel like if PSG was winning, that's good. But the moment they start trailing, then there's this toxicity that goes around. It's all negative. It's Neymar like yeah. on the ground complaining, you know. But I feel like that's gone, and like we can go down, and we'll still we'll still put up a fight and come back. That's I think that's another thing. Even if Barca were to score first this Wednesday, in the past I would have been so afraid or like pessimistic. But I think if even if Barca w- were to score, then PSG would would still have the 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 strength and like the the attitude, you know. No, we're 100 more united than ever. We have a clear leader. There is Luis Enrique, especially ever since Mbappe made that decision. Luis Enrique is one. We finally have the manager that has the full authority of the squad, and you know, with with the entire team being young, Ismail and similar yeah, age group, yeah. all of them are like before. It was like the the, the Spanish Argentinian yeah, click, exactly. like Messi, yeah. Di Maria, Neymar, yeah. the, uh, Ander Herrera, the French. Now we just gotta get rid of Mbappe. He's the only mm-hmm. one left that brings some drama, some toxicity, some groups in, in, in the thing. When he goes away, mm-hmm. we, we're finally drama free. I, I think, yeah, because I, I, I watch a lot of ESPN. And ESPN, every every podcast or any like episode they'll make, they say that PSG is just Mbappe. Like PSG relies on Mbappe, this and that. It's all about Mbappe. So I yeah. think once he leaves... Like, call me crazy. I know Mbappe is amazing, but I think once he leaves, I think a, a, the real project begins. 100%, 100%. Because now the, the project is surrounded the, around getting Mbappe as many chances as possible so exactly, he can get yeah. as much as possible. Yeah. People think Mbappe is taking the ball from the halfway line, dribble past five people exactly. and scoring. But it's the, yeah. Mbappe. No, it's the team that is pressing, that is defending, that is creating chances for Mbappe to score. Mm-hmm. And it's something that's I think so dumb is people only base things off of the Champions League, so they'll never look at League One. And like I'll see yeah. PSG that's so amazing. I mean, there I don't think anyone that's a non PSG fan knows that they've been undefeated since November. I don't think anyone any anyone knows that, but they have been. And whether it's League One or not, I mean, League One, sure you can say it's a. It's not the a thing league. I don't even understand about that is, man, is people know that Leverkusen are unbeaten. Exactly. Even though the yeah. is crazy, but it's it's just it's an agenda. It's oh exactly. They, yeah. Like whatever PSG does, it's like uh, it's shit. We, let's find an excuse. Oh, Mbappe carries them. Oh, with Ligue 1 is a farmers league. Oh, they're twelve points clear. It's always some excuse they will find because we're and, we're just so hated. Right. This is this is why for a moment I actually I actually supported the the creation of the Super League because that was finally like an, a, a league where PSG could could show that it's not oh it's not just against League One teams, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no. No, 100%, 100%. I mean, that's why I think every league at the moment is a Farmers League, but still other teams get hyped up for what they do in the league. That's why the Champions League is where it all matters. Yeah. And that's why 
The thing is, I know that this Barca team is not big enough for us to get props. Like, if we beat this Barca team, I already know the gimmicks. Yeah, Yaman is 16, yeah. Kobarsi is 17, yeah. uh, Chavez is going to get sacked, Leva is cooked. They'll All the excuses would come up. Because of Barca's, like, flaws, rather than yeah, PSG's, yeah. like, brilliance. Or, or, if they can't do that, if they would just drop the Mbappe did everything gimmick. Yeah. They love that gimmick as well. Like <laughs> when, when, when people have predicted us to be Barca, it's like, Barca have Kubarsi, Barca have Yamal. But you know yeah. what? PSG have Mbappe. It's that game change. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm slightly edging PSG just because of Mbappe. If it wasn't Mbappe, Barca would cook PSG. Yep. And this, this is why I, I'm someone that, that really loves to see like the neutral perspective. I like to see what other people say. Every like neutral says... They think it's 50 50, but Mbappe is the key factor that'll change it. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, yeah. More than that. It's not just Mbappe. Like, you can take Mbappe out and they'll still create trouble for Barca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just. Then we'll just create uh, create chances on the entire team instead of only one guy. For example, this was that game, the away leg, when we beat them. Mm -hmm. That was a tactful masterclass by Lucho and an incredible performance by Beraldo, by Lucas, by Nuno, by Dembele, by Fabian, by Vitinha, by Mbappe. Hakimi was still good. Barcola was good in some ways, especially in his pressing. But people's thoughts about that game is, oh my God, Mbappe. Mbappe carries this yeah. team. Why? Because he scored the two goals. It's like when Madrid had Ronaldo. Everyone was saying, oh, Ronaldo carried Madrid. No, it was, they had the best midfield yeah. in Europe. They had a great yeah. defense with Sergio Ramos. Kelo Navas was really good for them as well. But, I mean, that's the casuals. The casuals, they just look up on Sova score. Who scored? Oh, he carried them. Yeah. And, and I think you can even look at Real Madrid. You see when Ronaldo left, that kind of opened the door for Benzema. And, yeah. and um, the, the, uh, I don't know if you saw, but uh, the former sporting director of PSG. Uh, was Leonardo? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was... Oh. Uh, he said how PSG existed before Mbappe and they'll exist after. I yeah, think that, that's yeah. a perfect, like, perfect statement. Perfect statement. Yeah, he said something like, for the past eight years, seven teams have won the Champions League and none of them have Kylian Mbappe as well. Exactly, yep. So, no, this is just the media narrative. Again, they always manage to find one way to, to, to slander PSG and now this season, they know that this PSG team is strong. So they're coming up with a narrative to use like, when we win the Champions League, it's, oh, Mbappe did everything. And yeah. then when Mbappe leaves, they can go again and say, yeah, PSG don't have Mbappe now. They can't do anything next season. It's right. like when, when Neymar and Messi <laughs> left us. The season, they were predicting us to lose in the group stages. They were predicting us to not even win league again. There were people hyping up Marseille with their transfer window. Oh, Aubameyang. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, that's funny. That's funny. I, 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 no, I, th I think PSG is amazing now, but... I'm looking to like see who who they'll replace Mbappe with in PSG. Who who they'll transfer in? I'm actually I'm looking forward to Xavi coming back. Oh, Xavi, Xavi on yeah. the neutral. I, I wish he was here this season. I think they would have they would have blown like like especially in the midfield they would have blown other teams out out the park, out the water. And the thing is, we haven't even scored that many goals this season. Yeah, and they and I'm not gonna lie, most of them do come from from Mbappe, but. No, I think I think next season we'll score even more goals. Like we'll yeah. start scoring four, five, six goals per game. Right. Like, like in and easy games yeah. and so like on. Like Dembele, there's. I think this is like the the bottom for Dembele. You only get better like in terms of scoring goals. Yeah, it's, especially with recently it's being played centrally, like back to Dortmund yeah. days. Yeah. yeah. For me, with Dembele, it feels like he was he was a ren upwards trajectory continued Dortmund continued and then when he went to Barca that club just fucked yeah, him up I agree. Obviously, injuries also had an effect but it's just the environment he had to play with Des he played had to play with Kunde managed by Valverde Kiki Santitier right. Coleman Chavi just bumps he and comes to PSG there. he plays with Hakimi he plays with Warren yeah. and he has Luis Enrique as his manager yeah and what and what did I give you only one goal but but you know you know oh I would my God. rather watch the fucking games, man. You yeah. know how good it is. Yeah, Stop fucking exactly. trolling, man. I would, I would rather have someone, <laughs> I'd rather have a player who who adds so much to the field and scores one goal than someone who let's say look at look at Neymar. He'll score let's say twenty goals. I'd rather have no. someone like Dembele. No, let's just say for example, you, let's say, you are let's walking, say Neymar. No, but but Neymar does every everything else as well. Let take a Gonzalo instead. Gonzalo has scored ten goals this sure, season. Sure. 
But is it anywhere close to Dembélé impactfulness? Absolutely no. Mm-hmm. How? Gonzalo won you more matches, no? <laughs> oh. But see, that's that's the that's what you're not seeing. You'd rather have the presence of someone like Dembele who who creates and creates trouble for the the other team than a goal scorer. I I love Gon- Goncalo Ramos. I think he's amazing. Yeah, I, and it's funny. I remember um I remember this so clearly. Uh, the match against Barca where it was four one. Were uh. First of all, Dembele did miss a, a sitter <laughs> against us, but I remember before that match, everyone was hyping Dembele up to be better than uh, Mbappe. And I'm not gonna lie, I I I thought I, like there part of me was like, dang, like all these people are crazy. They're really saying this, but I think when you look at Dembele, when you watch him play, now that he's at PSG, like it's a game I'm interested in. I actually watched the games. Yeah, you see why people were saying that at, at one point. He, I think. The way he dribbles, sometimes the way he just gets through players, like you don't even see Mbappe doing that, you know. So I, I definitely see like his potential is crazy. And I'm, I'm glad he's at Paris. He's actually doing something. No, 100. percent Phil, you were talking about that before. All right, let's look at Dembélé's involvement in Paris Saint Germain's game that you don't see with your eyes. Here, Dembélé receives the ball on the right, Phil. Cooks his opponent, puts in a dangerous cross to the box that the goalkeeper can't clear. Hakimi gets a goal. I don't even think this counted as an assist. Dembele receives the ball on the right, gives it to Hakimi, Hakimi to Mbappe. Goal. Bro, no One, way two. you're claiming that. that, that that's the fuck. If it's stop, stop, yeah. Phil. Wins the pen for PSG here. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is a clear assist. It's a beautiful cross to Gonzalo Ramos in the box. Okay, fine. Beautiful header. Dembele to Warren. I mean, okay, this well, is a bit don't, weak. This is a bit weak. This is a bit weak. <laughs> So <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, I feel I just put every assist, goal, and pre-assist in this, oh in, like goal <laughs> environment. Here, here, Phil, look from the right, goes inside, hooks one, two, three, four. Vitina, Vitina scores a banger, but like then Billy takes it all the way from the right side to the left side. Here, I do think though sometimes between all belly... the players, not many players can make this pass. Saka can't do this. Rafinha can't do this. Dogmal can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> I do think like Dembele's biggest weakness is that final third. He just sometimes I just think he he because he's like, he's like brain dead in the final third. Like he yeah, facts. loses all his brain cells. <laughs> mm. Dude, I just want to see. Don't, I don't, oh my god, bro. Well, Phil, why not? <laughs> he he created mistake. all of this. Goalkeeper must. Must no, say, it's a hard shot. And he should have saved that. He should have saved that, man. Okay, yeah, but he made the goalkeeper to make that mistake. Oh, my God. It's, it's still impactful from Dembele. Or here, look at this beauty, man. Takes the two players onto him, makes the pass. Hakimi puts it in, and it's a goal. It all comes from Dembele taking two players on him. Hakimi is open. But this is why you can't see the stats. This is why you got to watch the games. Back heel assist. Uh, oh, look at this one. 1v1. Bye bye. Cross and Bop a beautiful finish. Once again, here, just simple pause. Goal here. Mistake from the goalkeeper forces it. Gonzalo with the tap in here. Wins the pen. And that, here we. That's soft pen, man. Wow. Wow. I would do anything. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. That's exactly the same as Yamal versus. Was it Espanyol? What team was it? You know when Leva had to retake his pen at the end of the game, Phil? Oh. You remember which one I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you won two one. Oh. Yeah. yeah, Yamal had the same exact pens. Stop talking about soft pens. <laughs> and here we have Dembélé's only goal. It's a beauty. <laughs> we can say Dembélé only scores bangers. And Phil, look at this. Oh, Our decisive penalty that kept us in the Champions League. Guess oh, who won it? Oh my god. Guess who won it? Luckiest pen ever, won? bro. Yeah, it's still oh, Dembélé. Oh, it's still Dembélé. Here, look at this pause between the two players and Mbappé. Beautiful finish. Then Billy here wins the set piece, goes into a goal. Wait, don't tell me you said he wins the set piece. <laughs> Phil, no, this, no, this, no, 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 Phil, Phil. This is what a winger is. A winger is a threat. He's being threatful in this situation. He has to follow him that leads to a goal. <laughs> no, no, you kill me. 
Look at this pass. Look at this assist, man. Would you would you rather see a Dembele goal or Mbappe hat trick against Barca? Which one? Oh shit. No, no, Mbappe hat trick. Really? No, I don't no, know. No. I part of you just wants to see Dembele score just because it would make Barca. No, 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 I want I want Dembele at the man. Kissing the badge or doing this one. This one? Mm. Like, oh, cool. <laughs> Well, do, you think, do you think he would celebrate against Barca? No. He yes, but well, not like not like a supernatural celebration. So I don't think he would kiss the badge or like do a dirty celebration. I just you know when he jumps and punches the air, just like Ibra. Okay. Man, he's, 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 he's gonna he's gonna get booed so badly, bro. Like. You think he gives a fuck? Yes, he does, bro. You think he gives a fuck when he's seven two up? He's gonna do this. <laughs> 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 oh my god look there off the press Phil boom off roll pre- oh. look, look how he cooks here look Phil Cancelo bye I mean oh. we, we <laughs> don't don't forget that we also have uh, Lucas Hernandez to give them that that 8-2 PTSD from a few years mm. ago a- and he scored against them last time they played as well Oh, Lucas really? is a great. Yeah, when they played in the group stage, uh, he scored the header that opened Wait, up Lucas the game. Was, oh, wow. was 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 Bayern in 2020? Yeah, uh, he he assisted Coutinho's last goal that made it eight two. Or yeah. I, uh, he was a Bayern then. He he won the Champions League. Like he was he, he won the so treble last he season with Bayern. Oh yeah, yeah 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 yeah. He played that game and assisted one of the goals. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. No way, most counter than that assist. Oh my god. Also, I, I think something so it's, it's not even an assist, Phil. It's this, it's this. He gets it here, takes away all the attention on these players, and then puts the ball here that opens up the entire game. Like again, this is why Dembele is so great. <laughs> I don't care about goals and assists, I care about impact. Here he's oh, being yeah. extremely impactful. Also, for, and then for looking here, at off the press wins and assist to Fabian. Champions League. If we look here at here Champions League. It, <laughs> if we look at champions, it uh, if you go through all six of their group stage games, I mean, you could throw in the round of sixteen as well. PSG, you can argue. I mean, I don't think it's an argument that they had the the harder group. They had a higher average possession over those six games than Barca did in their group, and I I don't think, I, I mean, they had Porto in their group. Like Shakhtar and Antwerp, no, they had Antwerp and Shakhtar. I think Antwerp was the worst defensive team in the Champions League, yeah. and Shakhtar was like one of the worst. And and Barca averaged lower possession than PSG did against teams like AC Milan, Dortmund, Newcastle. Even in the game where Newcastle uh, beat PSG four four one, which I think is very impressive. You you I don't. This is a very big change from last year. And I think last uh, year was so unfortunate against Sport Bayern. I, I, for me, I just un- I don't understand how the narrative has switched this quick. Like before Barca's like five game purple pass, before the Napoli game, it was oh PSG would destroy this Barca team. Even Phil would say, mm, oh, "Yeah, we wouldn't do well." <laughs> but since this purple patch. <laughs> Is this beating Napoli? You Bro, suddenly, you suddenly a big before team. that, before that, ever since Chavi oh, when Chavi resigned, yeah. oh my god, <laughs> yeah, oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, yeah, we, uh, I think we are unbeaten in, in like eight matches. Nobody <laughs> gives a fuck. We unbeaten oh, since no. November. Oh, here we go, Tosa. We aren't being since November. We're into the cup final. We didn't lose, Finn. Who did you lose to? Bro, you played every game at home. Don't don't mention that cup final, bro. Like, why does <laughs> that <laughs> fucking matter, off, Finn? Why matter. does that fucking matter? One knuckle game. At we at win home. home. We win One away. Knuckle- do you know, <laughs> Phil, Phil? Do you know this season? Do you, do you know what we did with ten men at, at, at Marseille? Yeah, yeah, and Phil, Marseille you know, had an unbeaten league. record. Yeah. In, we've at, broken. At, we've we've equaled the league's <laughs> highest. Uh, unbeaten away streak. A league and history. Bro, we've only lost three games all season. Milan. And it was a Fugazi, Newcastle, Nice, Fugazi, 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 Newcastle. And, and Nice, yeah. Those three games. Yeah, and, and Milan, uh, Mbappe uh, fucking sold us. Yeah. And, and honestly, I don't think the group stage games of the U- U- uh, Champions League were, were very... Uh, 
accurate to what PSG is actually about. Because I oh, think at that time, man. Luis Enrique was still figuring out what his team was like. Like, oh, if you look at the 4-1 yeah. against Newcastle, you, bro, yeah, we played like, a 4-4-2 out yeah, of nothing, you look at that. You know? you look at that was starting, Screener yeah. was starting. That is what you, that's what y'all wanted, bro. I remember you guys wanted four attackers. No, we well, didn't uh, want Kolomani yeah, did. in a midfield four. We did not want Kolomani in a midfield four. I'll tell you that for free. We played a Kolomani on the left, like Ugarte, who was who started to struggle at that point. Yeah, you know, no, that was Mo's favorite player back then. Don't spin him, bro. Who? <laughs> Mo. <laughs> Mo, you, you Mo, you used to rate him so highly. No, what player? What player? Oh, Garza, Garza. Garza. No, he's good. He's good. He's good. <laughs> but I think it's becoming apparent that. that yeah, why no, I'm, honest. I'm honest. I'm honest. Can you at least say Kubarsi is cooked? What? How is Kubarsi cooked? <laughs> See, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. I'm honest here. I'm sitting here honestly saying how I feel, and you're just denying the truth. How is Kubarsi cooked? Kubarsi. Kubarsi's gonna get killed. He's gonna Who's struggle. Fucking man. He, I don't think he's faced oh God, yeah. as Kubarsi faced actual speed attacks. Bro, like, he faced. Oh, he's running. He's running. He's running. He's running. Wait, when did he Ossiman. Ossiman. face? Also, Wait. like, I, I mean, Osiman. Osiman. Oh, oh my God. Really? I'm not sure. This season, Tosin. In Serie A. If you look at the game that Kubarsi played against Napoli, bro, like there was a moment where he clearly. Fouled off semen in the penalty. It was, it was not a foul. Was right, that was a foul. Yeah, but, yeah, that was a foul. Yeah. 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 Again, it was yeah. a foul. Yeah. Yeah. We checked it. Bro, it was a foul. And you know what's funny? I just it think there was a team. It was a team like Napoli where they just didn't care. They were like, you know what? We won't give this penalty, and they just. Oh, here we go. They kept it going. It was a clear dive, bro. Like, not everyday conspiracy, guys. I don't. Know. And he and he clapped him up, bro. Like, uh, I remember that this... tackle in, on. On the fifth minute, so this clean. Kubarsi hype is reminding me of the Serginho death type, where Mbappe just completely what? cooked him in that. In that Nobody game. hyped Serginho we'll there. death. No, yeah, honestly, it's reminding me. It's reminding me more of the Pedri hype. It's reminding me more of the Pedri hype. You know, people were saying, "Oh, Pedri, um, sixteen, he's gonna boss PSG," and that's not what happened. You know, Verratti hey, bossed the game. So it's kind of gonna be something similar. You know, they talking about this Yamal, this Yamal, that. Then Boo's gonna boss the game, so and this is what it is. No, no, I think I think that's dogmal. I think that's dogmal. Like Nuno's gonna pocket him, be so physical on him. Yeah, he may even get that yellow card. He may even get that yellow card. Yamal, I don't think Yamal will defend. So I think Nuno will have do some crazy shit going forward on the left. So you see, Paul, this is why I can't fucking take you seriously. I get that we have different opinions and you rate Barca more than I do and you rate PSG less than me. But saying that Kubarti is better than all PSG defenders. Yes, reality reality is we have, we have, honestly, we have one, two, three. Yeah, I think all three of our center backs would be the top three in Barca's depth chart. You're just a troll, Tosin, bro. You're just a troll. I'm serious. Mark Marquinhos, um, Lucas, and the Lucas brothers. Yeah, I guarantee you, if you if you replaced or if you swapped Yamal with like the youngster that played today, Mayulu, I guarantee you that uh, they would hype up Mayulu just as hard as they hype up Yamal, and Yamal would not get any. Yeah, right no, like game. dude, even Warren Warren don't really get hype. You notice Warren don't. Yeah, exactly. If he don't play for Barcelona. If he played for Barcelona, yep, they'd exactly. be on his nuts. Bro, and that goes back to my point. That goes back to my point. Stop. If you play for Barcelona, you play you play four games with Barcelona, you're already getting a national he team. Stop cap. This? Yep. Even your coach you're getting a national team your cap coach already. Lucho Enrique was twerking. Bro, what do you expect him to say? Wait, what what what, what, what did Lucho say? What did he say? He said that Lamine Lewandowski. Oh, I have the biggest, the biggest, and, and uh, Chavi and Chavi responded Chavi saying, the same. Chavi, Yeah, Chavi responded saying the same oh, thing. Oh my god, no, it Chavi, Chavi literally said that PSG are the favorites against them. So, do you agree with what, what, what Chavi says? No, no, the, the yeah, say and he Chavi said it's because of money and uh, Ch uh yeah. yeah, money. And no, but the Chavi say, the, the Chavi that, yeah. name any players. That was start for he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, because he, he knew. Why does that matter? But why he does said that they have, yeah, but he, no, that doesn't mean. Phil, oh, Phil, 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 we, we got, you know, we, you we know, he rates a bunch of our players. Like, don't do Ooh. that. A bunch. 
Marquinhos, Lucas Hernandez, all these uh-huh. just from Donnarumma, Hakimi. Uh, he would rate Hakimi. He would rate no, no. Seven. Like, bro, stars. we have. Bro, he's yeah. He named seven players, saying that they would get into our squad. No, he said he, and any said, squad said, said they would start. No, he didn't say they would start. He was his squad. He was his squad. He said it like that, he that really was just means a, uh, a mistranslation, Phil. That yeah. usually Barca yeah. accounts to. They always exactly. fuck up the translation. He means that they would get into <laughs> they, any squad. Any of these squad. When they made it say that Berati would rather play for Barca than PSG. And I listened to it, and I know Arabic. And he didn't fucking say it, Phil. And here, here's Xavi saying. He said a lot of PSG players could play here. We're of similar level. So this is this lot, is just called something lot. mutual respect, Phil. And you know the players he's referring to. So because we who? have a lot of those players. Who do you think? Like, I, I already mentioned like four. To. I already mentioned like four. If only Dembele and Mbappe. He is talking about. I, I think. He said a lot. That's more than two. But okay, man. A lot is in the range between five to eight. <laughs> we can even find the English definition of Allah. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Or you can just play the 21 Savage song. <laughs> Wait, how many? A lot definition numbers. <laughs> A particular quantity of material from a single manufacturer. Let me just... What the fuck? I don't think. Okay. Yeah, English yeah. just super nice. Yeah, but a lot. I would say it's between five to eight. <laughs> if someone says I have a lot of bitches, you think he has two bitches? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. He got a he got a heron. He got a rotation. <laughs> oh, kill me. He got a start in five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Minimum five. Minimum five. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> How many PSG? Yeah. So a lot. So exact. So you get you get you finally you understand now, Phil. Broken mm-hmm. down. Have we broken that down Dude. enough? By the way, 24, okay, we don't care that much about this court. It's just that Phil keeps bringing up this Luis Enrique court because Lucha pretty much said the same thing. Uh, no, he has not mean the players. Okay, you can say there's seven seven players that, that start in PSG or, or the other teams he mentioned as well. No, 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 he said but, squad. He says he, in the squad. he okay. meant okay. squad and, and, yeah. he, and he didn't just say PSG. He said um, sure. other clubs as well. He said sure. uh, City, Real Madrid... Um, but I think um, yeah, like I said, all these other clubs. That 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 doesn't necessarily mean too much because if you look at someone like Mbappe, for example, he can offer you like so much. He can offer you like a great amount more than like what two or three Barca players together could give you. You see what I'm saying? So I think in a sense that that doesn't that doesn't mean that Luis Enrique, Enrique thinks that overall Barca squad is better because. There are players in PSG like Mbappe who could give you way, way more individually than a group of Barca players can. Yeah, the entire Barca. I think yeah, Mbappe has more goals than the entire Barca attack. Yeah, probably. But I mean, yeah. I mean, is that really a big accomplishment? I don't think any of them. Are doing that, <laughs> no, that no great. not really. Phil, really, you think yeah, Dogman is scoring his first Champions League goal? Yes, sir. Yeah. Look at Lewandowski. If if he didn't have the the name, the history, the, the the career he's had, and you just go based off what he's done recently, I guess, or like this season, what what how how is he any different from someone like Goncalo Ramos? What? I mean, if it, yeah, he actually has better link up play. Yeah, look, oh like oh my god, god. But I would say uh, uh, Liva is still a better finisher because a lot of his recent goals has been crazy finishes. But as an already player, pressing, build up play, link up play, all of that, uh, Gonzalo is better. Oh my god! You also don't see uh, Goncalo. I won't go that far. I won't go that far. You, you, you don't say like. No, no I've watched Liva this more, season. His man. link up play is the worst thing I've seen. Exactly. That's why you guys were pushing for Vitor so much. Don't try to change the agenda. Yeah, well, <laughs> yo, 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 hold on, hold on. What happened to all that hype around that guy? That guy's a bum, He's bro. He's a dud. He's a straight dud. That, straight dud. 
Every day. There's, there's a reason why they don't even are. call him. This is national team ain't even call him out. They prefer to call Andrew. Yeah. Shit. And, and I just want to back up. So. You do not see Goncalo Ramos yelling at a younger player like Barcola the way that Lewandowski did to Yamal earlier this season. You don't see that. But actually, actually, I want to give props for Liverpool to do that because I thought that would fuck up Yamal, but that's only made Yamal stronger. Yes, sir. Oh, nice. I think it was Lowa being a crybaby, honestly. <laughs> and then he's saying he's proving that no, yeah, we depend on Mbappe goal scoring wise, but I don't understand. I don't understand how bars have shifted relying on Mbappe. That's a bad thing. You only believe that because you think you're gonna lock up Mbappe. Yeah. Relying on a great goal scorer is not a bad thing. That's what every team does that has an elite goal scorer. When Boris had Messi, they relied on him scoring goals. When Madrid had Ronaldo, they relied on him scoring goals. When Real recently won the CL, they relied on Benzema scoring goals. Exactly. PSG is not just Mbappe, especially going you know, I, I said Just scoring goals. That's why I said just purely yeah, scoring goals. Yeah, just yes, purely scoring, scoring goals. Yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah. But going forward, our attack, no. Like there's just what so many. Yeah, Benzema scored a hat trick against us. Against Chelsea, he scored four goals. He scored a hat trick away, and then at home he scored one goal, I think. And then against City, he scored one away, or maybe two away. And then at home he scored the he scored pen. a penalty. Yeah. Yeah, and then Rodrigo scored the other two, and then in the final it was Vinny. So yeah, if you can't rely on one player scoring. 80% of your goals. Yeah, he scored in the Benzema scored in the final as well, but they wrong. Yeah, that was just bad. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mbappe, I'm, you don't think Mbappe can do that? Yeah, Mbappe could definitely do that where he's decisive yeah. in every Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, just we even, main field, we, in, it looks at Ronaldo's 16-17. He scored uh against Bayern scored a brace away and then a hat trick at home. I could see Mbappe do that versus Barca. I could see Mbappe do that versus... Maybe Atletico are a bit defensive. Maybe we'll just win 3-1 across both legs. I don't know. But Mbappe could legit score 80% of the goals that we need. And then maybe uh, Hakimi could check in. Maybe Barcola could check in with one. Vitinha yeah. one. I think Yo, even uh, Nuno, Mendes. Nuno Mendes is, is a real threat. Yo, uh, Ismail. Um, What's up? Do you think the post Mbappe era? Have you like? Do you have like one eye on that? Like, how do you feel about Mbappe uh, yeah, sneaking I... the biggest club in the world? <laughs> Honestly, I I see the flaws, but I also see the benefits. I think PSG will finally play the way that they need to be playing. They won't. They won't be as reliant in in um. I think that's a, that's a time where they can finally prove that, they, that Mbappe isn't just. PSG is not all about Mbappe. It's, it's not that. But the thing is, Lucho, he, he depends on Mbappe so much. I feel like he's more heartbroken than anyone about this. But, but the thing is, we know we know that they'll bring people in, whether it's a midfielder or... I, I personally want to see Rafael Liao come to PSG. I, I, that's what I want to see. That was that would be my ideal summer transfer. How much, how, how much are you willing to spend to get... I'd, I'd even do 130 mil. That's, that's, that's how much I would Man. do. I, him... Him and Bruno, Bruno G from, um, from Newcastle, from yeah New, Newcastle in the Premier League. I he's he's a baller. I think those two come to PSG with Chavi Simons. I think it's wraps. Interesting. But Interesting. I, I don't know because there are times where I'm like, you don't need Rafael Leao. You have Barcola, but then again, I mean, Barcola is a young young person. Yeah. The thing is, like, I think Barcola could be that fourth attacker coming off the bench. It's just a matter of um, selling Cola. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know. You said think... something about me. I, 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 I like Cola Moani. Bro, he's struggling against the 18th place team today, bro. Like, it's just no, I it's not going to work out. And, and, and I'm not going to lie. That, that's what I meant earlier by, like, the group stages of the UCL, those weren't really accurate because we were playing him for like 80% of those games. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. I, I think he, I think he offers something, but he does, he does. Because I here's the thing, I don't understand why, why it's too heavy. Yeah, I, I don't think they should pursue Osiman because you have Goncalo Ramos who's who's in my opinion really good, if not as good as him. 
I don't think, think he's as good, but he's I think good. he's a better link up player than Ossiman. Because I'm not gonna lie, yeah, I watch yeah. I, I, I'm Maybe. not gonna. I don't. I, I watch uh, like entertaining neutral games, but like other than that, I, I would you you won't see me watching a Napoli lead game. Like I'm not. I'm not that type of. Like you know, I, I don't. I don't watch those kinds of games. But the game where I, they were playing Barca, man, I saw Ossiman just giving the ball away, like trying to pass it, misplacing it. Like Galcalo Ramos is really sharp with how he places his passes. So I don't I don't that's what I'm saying. You shouldn't waste all that money on um an attacker like Ossiman. And, and honestly, yeah, I think it was a mistake for PSG to buy Polo Money in the first place because you already you had already bought Galcalo Ramos. You might as well have splashed that hundred mil on on a midfielder. Yeah. But That's you need, probably you need an experienced midfielder. This is why, like, I still to this day, I don't know why we sold Bratzi. Like, I'm, maybe I'm not seeing it, but I think he was, a, he was amazing. I think he still had a few years in him with Vitinha in the middle. Torsten didn't. <laughs> no, why why it, did they like, get rid of him? I don't understand. No, like... It, I don't. I think he still had a couple of years in him as well. Bro, but... no, you you were happy when he was gone. It's like, oh, you guys play yo, bro, faster. Yo, bro, bar, can... bar, bar, Barca won. I didn't him. say that. I didn't. Yeah, say that, bro, bro. Tosin, bro, don't lie. I didn't bro. say that, man. <laughs> why, why are you making shit up? Like you yeah, just you know, it's like you just you know, persecute me all stream, bro. <laughs> I remember those days you saying he couldn't fit into your new system. Is oh yeah yeah yeah. Like I think in terms of um uh, hybrids like. This hybrid thing that I don't think yeah. um, Lucho wanted him to thought he was a fit for his quote unquote hybrid four three three. I don't but, know. I think I think even even today he could have had a good involvement. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. It's just that uh, Lucho wants his midfielders to maintain the same intensity from minute one to ninety, and I guess for him, um, Baratti's lifestyle. Won't, he can't expect that from him. Lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What he does often. Hey, I'm he's smoking and drinking. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the thing is, if Lucha wants to tell the players you can't drink, you can't have one exception. Because then nobody will be respecting your rules. I think that's what happened last season and previous seasons. And the manager tells everybody these are the rules, but then they see Neymar go against those rules and not get punished. Yeah. And then you can't rule. This Mbappe does his stuff privately. Like when he fucks his hookers and transsexuals and takes the coke and ecstasy and all of that. He does that and nobody sees that. You know, you know what's funny? I'm keeping quiet on that, but the moment he leaves, PSG goes to Real Madrid. That's the only thing I'll be saying about him. Why? Why? I mean, I can proudly say he's a rat, even though he's winning us games. He's a disgusting, filthy rat. His mother... The only mother that comes in competition with her is Rabiot's mom. That's the oh, filthiness. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Look, man, PSG. I think, are, I think uh, Rabiot definitely regrets leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you guys think about that? What do, what do y'all think about that Vinny to PSG rumor? Nah, that's not gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna happen. No, personally, I think that'll be a perfect Mbappe replacement. Yeah, but Madrid would never negotiate with us if after everything. It never, no, never. No, but true, but honestly, part of me feels like Vinny would leave, especially because of the racism in um in Spain, you know. I think one day you're just gonna get fed up. No, because I, I, Madrid I don't are know. not backing him. They're not backing him, you know what I mean? So that they're not I mean we do him, know so. that Real Madrid's a dirty club. They'll 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 sell anyone if they need to. Look, know? man, all I know is Holland's Holland's release clause. He's not going this summer. <laughs> For foreign clubs, it kicks in for foreign clubs. I'm telling you, like, don't bro, underestimate us. How long is he and he's coming to Barca in 2025, bro? You just no, he, no, stop, he's not, man. He's, he's not I would even love thinking to about see PSG in a uh, city in the final of the, of the Champions League. I think that would be, I think that would be the most entertaining final. No, Madrid would be more entertaining. J- just no, you don't want Madrid. Bro. They were... I think if it's if it's against no, a good, like Madrid. city, you you can make a. I don't know. It, I guess it it just depends. I, I guess whoever wins that quarterfinal tie will will be the Make most the final. Yeah. Like <laughs> I, I see teams like Arsenal being hyped up. I mean they, they're no, doing no, good they're in the Premier they're League, mixed. but they, they just haven't played against uh like a player like 
a team with a player like Mbappe, you know? That's like perfect. I, I know like Arsenal against Porto, for example, they had Porto had that one um attacker who who was pretty fast and had some skill and they struggled against them and barely managed to get through that tie. That's why I think a team like PSG would Man, I don't know. I just think PSG's season's different gra- gravy. Yeah, like we're we're just we're too good. But I didn't even expect possession and like, per- I, I thought this position and pressing. Bro, I thought what makes me a- so hot gassed about us is our pressing, man. It's, like, it's not that nice, bro. I don't know why you guys are. What do you mean? It's it's the best. Like it's how. Like because, because listen, 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 the, a, yeah, the stats, uh, the P, the PPDA, the passes per defensive action. Yeah, we have the lowest. Yeah. Um, I think also, it was us and Sociedad. As a, as a PSG fan, you just wouldn't see this too much in the past, but now that you see it so much from PSG, you like, you like, wow, bro. Like if Warren can start winning duels again, and then Vich- because Vicinia's already winning duels, and he's just coming into his own, Warren. Gets in on it, like, bro. I'm telling you, if Vatinho, Warren, Fabian, like, I don't see Christensen, Gundo, Frankie, Vatinho, Warren, Fabian. I don't see some. I don't see any big difference in quality there. I don't. Well, so how, where is Warren playing? Like, it, it's technically he's right back, right? No, I think Marquinhos will be the right back. Really? Yeah, and then he'll he'll form a three. It'll form a. Th- it'll it'll be a three at the back. So it'll be, I think personally, it'll be Nuno, Baraldo, Lucas, the Lucas brothers at center back, and then um, Marquinhos sit right back. And then um, Nuno's going to bomb forward in, in certain phases, and then it'll be like a three in possession with Marquinhos, Baraldo, Lucas. I'm also, I'm also liking uh, Donnarumma's performances recently. I, I think, yeah, I think like, he's finally... He's finally playing. How, He's the best he goalkeeper in the world. He's the best goalkeeper in Europe. Because at first, when I, when we were watching Donnarumma, I kind of felt bad for Kaylor Navas because he was, in my opinion, the first few seasons of Donnarumma. You can even say starting last, like like last season, the season before that, he wasn't. He wasn't like. Um, he wasn't great. I mean, he, he, he wasn't. wasn't he was shaky. Like he was Kaylor shaky. Navas. Like it, yeah. You were thinking, why would why would why did they make this switch? I know Donnarumma was young, but I think now now he's definitely proven himself. That's another. I think that's another position where where we're really that we're really in form. Yeah, and Barcelona, like they even they admit they're not a clinical team. So against Donnarumma, that's just a clean sheet. No disrespect. Mm. The clean sheet's gonna be the best part of this game. That's that's my prediction. Stop, that's, I, I don't know. I Tosin, it's like what it's like what you always say. We're we're gonna cash in our XG. Okay, we're gonna cash it in. Trust me, man. Like, we got way more to cash in on, but okay. Man, I know this is gonna be an emotional game, man. For Lucho, for Dembele. Exactly. That's that's another reason they'll win. Yeah. Man, I'm did you, just... you remember that uh, thing at the start of the season where uh, Lucas and Mbappe were shitting on Barca? Oh, they were like and uh, training with Dembele. They're dancing, yeah. they're like dancing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. They like Barcelona are just not rated. At all. I mean, what do, what do you expect someone like Lucas Hernandez to say? Like. The only memories that he has are like 8-2, 8-2 3-0, shit, yeah. like those types. Like obviously he's gonna say something like that. Yeah, like he called them, he's just straight up called Barca a shit team. Like, <laughs> mm. like how did your team teach you how to sing? You do know? you do you think that, that Lucas Barca. Hernandez is do you think he's he's accepted now at PSG? Because I remember at first they they were really against him. Joining Paris. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's well accepted. Like he's like a favorite in the locker room. Like he's he's probably like captain material. Yeah, if Marquinhos leaves, he definitely takes the arm back. The only Luke thing is though, it? like there's there there are rumors that say maybe like his his personal life ain't the best because he's really in the the Parisian nightlife. But other than that, like he's just mm. that's funny because I remember Buffon said that. 
uh, when he went to PSG, he said he couldn't believe how good players like Marquinhos and Mbappe and Neymar were. But he said that and they Verratti, could. yeah, he mentioned yeah, he, all of them. He said if we had these players at Juventus, we win three, four Champions League. That's yeah, what he, he said. said the the reason that PSG yeah. hasn't won a UCL is because they're in Paris. Wait, how does that make sense? Because they're because in Paris. Paris is like a uh, like a flashy area, like it's like all partying, and you know, like it's like the capital where, oh, where all the the drama and entertainment is. Uh, how do you guys feel we have scored 100 goals this season? I think that's amazing. Oh, oh, already. Is that good? What percentage is Mbappe? Over 30%. Let me Over check. 30%. So 100, yeah, right? Goals, so, yeah. so that's 33. He has 30 plus. So it would be. Hmm. Or does he have 20 something? It'd be, yeah. Okay, let me see. Man, part of me really wants to see Barcola play on Wednesday. I, I don't know what it is, but... Bro, I said the same thing literally yesterday. Mbappe is 39. 39. So, no, no, he has 39% of our <laughs> Which is low. 40%, bro. I thought he had Damn, more. Man. Gonzalo has 10, Colo 9, Vitinha 7, Asensio 5, Hakimi 4, Kangi Lee 4, Warren 3, Barcola 3, Lucas 2, Fabian 2. Osman Dembele one, Danilo one, Screener one, Beraldo one, Soler one, Nuno one, Endor one, Mayuro one. Actually, maybe this is not updated from today. So maybe, yeah, I think Gonzalo has 11. Uh -huh. And uh, Mbappe has 40. Oh, oh no, Mbappe then scored. No, no, Mbappe didn't score Mbappe. today. Yeah, yeah. Someone asked how many goals do we have last season? I'm gonna see. At so Mbappe point, and, and yo, if last Mbappe. Season, oh no, that Mbappe, was only the league. Yeah, Mbappe has 39. percent Well, well, here's the thing. I think last season you'll see a, a higher number, but that doesn't necessarily mean there that it was a better season. I think there were games where PSG either just lost embarrassingly or they won convincingly. You know. How, how are you feeling about Eminem at the start of last season, like that hot streak? I, I, I'm not going to lie. I, I knew since the beginning that it wouldn't work. I just knew it since the beginning. I... Like, where were you having your reservations? Like, No, 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 no. no. I, 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 I don't... Like, what part of the team gave you reservations? Like... 116 goals last season. In total? Like, throughout... The whole season? Yeah, last season. And now really? we have six games left in Ligue 1. One game in Coupe de France. Possibly yeah. five more, more in UCL. Yeah, we're playing more games, so... I think we'll pass that number for sure. Yeah, 104 hours. Oh, it, but, but it's not that much. It's not that much. Like, if we look at our top goal-scoring season, I think that was Unai Emery, 17-18. We scored like 164 or something. I think we scored yeah, the most but, in Europe that season. I, is it okay? This is a question I have. I remember way back in the day, like maybe even a decade ago, you could say PSG was they were winning games like 8 0. What, like, what, what, what happened? Is it just league in? It's league, it's yeah, league in that have, has no, no, it's allow. not really oh, league. Yeah. Huh? It's not just league, huh? it's also the fact that um, we don't have a lot of cooks in the kitchen. Well, I don't know. I like, like Mbappe, Dembele, that's really it. Like, like, we need Barcola to play. Barcola is still like young. He's not yet there. Like, we don't have that many. Like back back then, we had Mbappe, Neymar, Di Maria. You know, Draxler, come off the bench, do something like Cavani. Oh, I even, I forgot to say Cavani. Yeah, Bro, plus, yeah, all, all, Cavani attackers, then, like, all the players you're mentioning there, apart from maybe Mbappe, all in their prime. Yeah, here like, Mbappe yeah. is in his prime. Dembele, Barca fucked him up. He plays like a youngster. Gonzalo is not in his prime. Corman is not in his prime. Like we just have an extremely young attack that's not going to score. Seventeen, eighteen, Tosin. The goal scorers were by order in the amount of goals. It was Cavani up top, forty goals. Bro, do Neymar you know twenty-eight? Mbappe twenty-one. Di Maria twenty-one. 
And then Los Celso bag drop, yo, Alves Dagel. Bro, like, we had you know, four goal scorers with, with above 20 goals. Wow. Can we see how many goals have been conceded from, from last season and this season? Most conceded, okay. But only in the league or our comps? I think do, you know, do you know the most pro- prolific front three of all time? Per game, per 90? Uh, per season? Uh, uh, Mbappe, Neymar, Di Maria? Yeah, yeah, that's what I would say. No, no. You're going to say M- MSN or like yeah. most prolific ever of the 20? No. It's the Mbappe, Cavani, Neymar front three in 17. Mm, in the first, 17, 18, yeah. yeah they're the most prolific front three per 90. I remember they uh they clapped Bayern that that season or was it that season? Like the numbers are crazy if you look at it. It's actually crazy what they did per ninety. The numbers are nuts. Mm. But yeah, man. I, I can't wait for Wednesday, man. Just bring on Wednesday. Fifty-three goals we conceded last season in all comps. Fifty-three. Yeah. Mm. And then what about this comes. Nah, honestly, it's World Cup killed us last season, man. I j- I just think having Messi and Neymar killed us. That's, I think that that was the issue. I, w- I won't. Why are we doing this lately, man? Like, I'm actually 35. I need to talk about this. Like, thirty five. This season so far, yeah. Not bad. No, but why are we doing this lately? Where we we group. Neymar with we group Messi with Neymar all the we, time. No, no, I think I think Neymar Tosin it just injury. Yeah, but like I, I've just noticed that like you know we always put, we always say Neymar bitch. and Messi. We never just say Neymar know. or just Messi on his own. We always just have to say them together like they're you know because like they come in a package you know yeah because like, because they're they're like they they basically did the same thing they didn't defend. They came with a lot of baggage to Paris. They, I mean, you can say this through by Mbappe then. Well, yeah, yeah, I agree. But Mbappe is uh, Mbappe. I think since since even when Messi came in, the team is built around Mbappe. They the the focus is more on Mbappe. So I think if you were to like, I, I guess, I guess, like, if you were to have one player out of those three, you would obviously choose Mbappe. So I think those other two players, Neymar and Messi, were the problem. You know, you could have all three of them. That's why I, I say, like this season, for example, it's st- it's built around Mbappe. Uh, but it's just it's just Mbappe who who, like you'll see other attackers like Barcola, Dembele, like those players defending. You know, but but when Messi and Neymar were here, that that wasn't the case. Mm. I think I think Mbappe is just that one exception. You can have one superstar who can do that, who can not. Yeah, not track back, not none of that. But you can't have people like Neymar and Messi doing that too. I know. It's, it's just that I feel like Neymar, when he wanted to, he would provide that volume, that defensive volume of the three that the others. But it's it's too inconsistent. It's like he's yeah, bipolar. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think with everything he's done, he's just been bipolar. That's that that was Neymar's issue. Injuries, attitude, consistency. It was all bipolar. Yeah, it's a shame how it ended. Yeah, I think it ended the moment he he recruited uh, Messi. When when we recruited Messi, that was really the the beginning of the end. Like, yeah, I agree for sure. Man, it's, uh, I, just... I mean, I look at Mbappe and like, I don't just say this as a PSG fan, but. Why why go to a team that's already won so many UCLs? It, it would mean so much more to win one UCL with Paris where you're from, which is their first one, than to win five with Real Madrid. It's not even that. It's look, when when we win it in June, right? Mm-hmm. Like Mbappe, he's gotta look back and think, bro, dynasty. Like yeah. why he not think it dynasty? No, it, it is for me it's point. just the fact like, that he's from Paris, like you're from Paris, you could win PSG their first ever UCL. Is that that has to mean more than winning five with Real Madrid? Yeah, 
No, five is a lot of Champions League, dude. <laughs> no, but five, still, like, do you lot. see what I mean? Like, do you see no. the, the meaning of winning one with PSG compared to winning three, let's just say three or five with Real Madrid? No, three, even three is a lot. It means, like, they dominated. That's what I want us to do. Like, I, like I'm thinking, bro, we get this one. I'm thinking dynasty at this point. You got to, like, this decade, the 2020s decade, it needs to be about PSG, you know? You got to, this is where you got to dominate. Like, we have the youngest team. Like, we have, you know, a bunch of players getting ready to get into their prime. Like, like this is that moment, yeah, bro. Yeah. There's really a void right now in Europe. And Madrid are trying to build, like, this Beatles-type thing, this rock band-type soccer team with, you know, Bellingham, Mbappe, Vinny, you know? Mm -hmm. While... Well, you know PSG, ours is a bit different. Like we do have we do have some star players, but we also have like um, players in that like sweet spot, like twenty four to twenty eight as well, that are getting into their prime, like Dembele, Hakimi, um, Donnarumma. You know, like so. This is honestly, man. Like this is this is it's now or never, man. Like because. Honestly, the teams in England. I look at Arsenal. Arsenal for me, they don't. They they just they don't have the attacking talent. They're just Arteta is just defend. They're just a set piece club. No disrespect. Like they they live off of set pieces and defensive solidity. Uh, Manchester City just not explosive enough. And I think Holland isn't like he doesn't like. I don't think Foden is like you know something Europe should be scared about, a team headed by Foden, you know, in the post-KDB era. Like, I look at the futures of these clubs, like Liverpool, Klopp leaving, there's some uncertainty there. Like, there's really, like, a void to fill in, you know? I look at Barcelona, like, they're, uh, they, I don't really see the future they have, no disrespect. Like, their best players are Gundogan at 35, 36, you know? Uh-huh. So there's a void, man. We got to capitalize right now, man. We got to capitalize right now. Like, this is our time. Well, how do you think PSG would do next season if Mbappé were to leave? Um, I, I, I agree with the Leao take. Yeah, I think you I think you get either Leao or Cavara, one of those two. And then um, you get... And, and do you guys think PSG would be as relevant as they are look, now? Like, I, I know you guys love Gonzalo, right? But... I'm looking at the way Lucho sees him and he treats him. <clears throat> I don't think Lucho sees him as a starting caliber player for his No, but, but I think but Luis Enrique has said that he'll he should play get more game time. times. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He says that he should, he deserves more game time. But you know, Lucho he he can say one thing in the camera, but then you see his decisions on the field. The reason why Gonzalo isn't playing or or wasn't playing at a point was because of Mbappe. Because he wanted Mbappe to be the nine. Mbappe was who was keeping him out of the team. It wasn't even Colo because they figured out oh, Colo can't even play nine. Like, what do you have? What do you think happens next season? Like, I think with Mbappe, if Mbappe legitimately leaves, Lucho's gonna be like, shit, I need more attacking reinforcement. Mm. And like not just and he'll want something of expensive taste, I, I believe. Like, you know. So, like you said, like a layout for sure. And then he might want to center forward, or he might play. I don't know. We'll see. The, oh, by the way, there was a report. Yo, keep this in mind, because I don't think Bruno G might be the new player we get in Newcastle. Uh huh. I think it could be Isak. Mm, I don't, our I don't scouts know. were watching him. Our scouts were watching him. Here's the issue. yeah. I've been thinking about that as well. Our scouts were watching him, so I'm just saying it could be Isak. So, but you guys are meant. To, I like. I feel like we're talking too much about number nine. It's like we don't. That's not the position where where we need. Bro, I think we're gonna get a winger and a nine. I think we're gonna get Leal plus a nine. I See, really now we're just we're gonna... spending in areas we don't really need to spend. I mean, you could say that, but I think we're gonna. Spend... Biggest issue has always been the midfield. I think that no, like that's. Just obvious. No, nah, I'm starting to think. I'm starting to think. Um, we're gonna get better in midfield with Xavi coming in and uh, Moscardo, and um, what's it called, Vicinia and Warren just growing, with the more games they keep playing together. 
And Fabian. Yeah, Fabian. Is it just an able deputy, I guess? You, you guys are big fans of Fabian Ruiz? Uh, yeah. I, I, I personally like his game. But, yeah, I can understand that he's inconsistent. And on his worst nights, he's awful to watch. Yeah. Um... So I just want to show this. But yeah, the one midfielder I do want is um the Benfica kid. Uh, Joao Neves. Joao Neves. Oh, him. Yeah. Uh, or or Gavi. This. Or Gavi from Barca. This guy is fucking... This is why I hate with the French PSG fans. So awesome. This is Mukele. Thank you all for your message. I'm fine. More than... F so people actually message him shit Tosin after that. That fucking drama fest. Crying with the medical staff, holding that paper around so the camera is always around him. But he, no, he didn't. What, I don't why think he was inviting. Why, why is he inviting the camera? Well, he wasn't inviting the cameras to be around. Because he was walking up and down, holding this, doing different faces. I'm for me, Tosin. It's more about our fan base. I hate the French PSG fans, Tosin. Have you seen the twist they made about Gonzalo? Was Gonzalo good today? I was going through what David has been retweeting. It's disgusting, Tosin. Th this is not a true PSG fan base. Look at this one here from a French one. He's saying, the more time passes, the more my desire to lose Enrique. Trust Gonzalo next season increases. Gonzalo six goals coming off the bench. Forced to imagine his performance if he started every match. Well, it's not like he's not been starting. He started this game. He was mid-ass pretty much before that goal. Versus Nice in the Coupe de France, as versus Monaco, as they get fooled by one goal at the end of the game so much. Gonzalo, I think he 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 can become a great player in like two to three seasons. He can, I want him to be our backup next season. Continue this backup role. I think as a squad player, he's good. I would love to keep him as a squad player, but he's not going to be a starter. He's not good enough to be a starter. He started many games this season for us, and he's been ass. Like he doesn't pose a, a threat, like a consent, a genuine threat to the defense. Like how across so? ninety minutes. Like I think the way that he plays for Portugal, for example, is. I think it's it's that's, that's how does scary. he play for Portugal? I don't I don't watch Portugal, so he's always throwing numbers up. Yeah, no, nah, he's look. Gonzalo's a good player. I just don't think he at the top. Like, and I think where he's strongest is one v one facing the goalkeeper. Like you just know it's going to be. Is that all what you need from a number nine? Yeah, but the thing yeah. is, Lucha does not usually play with a number nine. He usually plays with a false nine because he, he wants his guy to be involved in the entire gameplay. He wants him to be able to score, but not be a one-dimensional goal scorer. He wants him to do everything else on the pitch as well. Was Ramos brought in before or after they announced Enrique? We were in the beginning. The beginning. The only signings uh, before were Ugarte. Yeah, I, I, like it's it's pretty Chendor. obvious. I don't think Luis Enrique wanted Manuel Ugarte, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he ne he never plays with a defensive six. He always plays with a ball oriented six, like a Busquets, like a Rodri, those kinds of number six, not a destroyer. Mm. Gonzalo, I said I would keep him as a bench player. This these opinions about him being a starter next season. Just shows, I mean, we're not fucking Crystal Palace. We're not Leon. We're not Arcelon. This is Paris Saint Germain. Gonzalo is not going to be our starter next season. He's not. And Lucho is definitely going to well, be pushing for that. I know, I know AC Milan wanted Ramos to replace Giroud. Yeah, if we so can do a layout. If we can do a layout. Clubs. Yeah, if we can do a layout, Gonzalo swap. Oh, I would be down for would that. Would you do it? Yeah, I hell mean, yeah. Easily. So then, like, I I don't see, I don't see why Osimhen is linked to PSG if that's the case. He's because he's, he's twerking. He's, he's twerking. He's twerking the con. That's the issue. But I think we're getting Holland though. I don't, bro. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. Calm down, bro. No, we're I'm serious. I'm serious. That's not happening. No. Bro. It's a release clause. It's a release clause situation at PSG. If they know the investment is worth it, they'll put the money down. I, I mean, I just don't see the need either way. Muani, Leao. Muani for Leao. Would Milan want him? 
I don't think Milan would want him. Because they want to replace Giroud. Hmm. And now uh, Pulisic is scoring enough goals. So do you, do you guys think Barcola could be the future of like PSG in that left wing position? It could be left wing. It could be right wing. It could be second striker. Yeah, I think but, Barcola but could Barcola be a second striker. I, I like I like the the French like presence in PSG. Like it's it's a, it's oh, a oh, team um, in France. I, I have another player. I have another player that's um looking to come. That's a winger. Um. Just keep an eye out, but he's he's also looking to come. Don't say Rashford. Kingsley, come on. No, he's a, no, 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 I'm just saying. I'm he, just saying. He's, he's willing to come. Player. Yeah, but he's a squad Mexican player. Nice. No, but I think he's decent competition for Barcola. No, nah, Barcola I, eventually beats him out. But I, yeah, I agree. I do not want to see Rashford anywhere near Paris. <laughs> Rashford would be just be a marketing would be a marketing signing, but it could it could really it could bang or it could go really 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 bad. He's just inconsistent. And yeah. and I I think I don't know maybe it's a bit early on. It depends on how much Lucha rates him, but I could definitely see Xavi Simons as a centre forward chosen, and you have yeah, deadly wingers and a deadly midfield. That. Yeah, it's possible. Because then you could play like a Moscardo, Vitinha, Warren midfield with a Xavi, Dembele, Liao. And just all of them five. And and you got the fullbacks as well. Nuno Hakimi. Yeah. Mm. Bro, like we have like the mix of athletic qualities, like technical qualities. Like, bro. Our team is so young, bro. So young, so athletic, so fast, like so technical, like it, bro. And they all can play multiple positions, either from out wide or in the centrally. Like, dude, it's like this could be a juggernaut of a team. Like, I'm talking dynasty. Like, like Hakimi Nuno is the best fullback tandem in Europe. But no one knows that. You know what I mean? Because they haven't really played uh, enough games together. Or, you know. Or or just people just don't watch PSG, right? Either that. So, uh, like, it's just the talent, man. Like, it's crazy. Hakimi, Nuno, Donnarumma, Vicinia, yeah, Warren, Dembele. It's just, it's a lot, man. I like yeah. Mayulu today as well. He's pretty good. Mayulu, yeah, Mayulu was cooking. Bro, even Kari, man, Kari might got some, might have something to say coming because they're apparently they're monitoring him as well. Lucho I, I really just want to see how PSG lines up on Wednesday. I just think the only question is an attack. Like, does Ramos start or does um, Lee start? Or does Barcola start? I I don't I don't I don't think Don Ramos would start honestly. I'd... They just played him for ninety minutes. There's no way he starts Wednesday. Yeah. But I mean, <sighs> Luis Enrique didn't play Barcola. Maybe because he just came off injury, or maybe because he is saving him Wednesday. No, Barcola didn't even make the squad. Oh, he did it? No. Uh, oh, I thought he did because I, I saw like the clips of him at training and stuff. No, no, he's yeah, back. Yeah, he's back. The he's back. Report, yeah. yeah, yeah, he's back. He's back. Uh, Warren was not in the squad. Lucas was not in the squad. Nuno was not in the squad. There was no point having him there. They're, they probably maybe had a, a, a private training session today to get even more in shape for the game. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm, I'm glad to see Marquinhos back. That's that's, that's a big... Yeah, no, and Marquinhos look good. Yeah, he's a beast. He's a beast. Bro, like, remember... Yo, you, you guys are saying so, man. No, I would... Justin, I would still keep the door open. Did you see what he said after the game? Did you see what he said after the game? Who? No, he actually became our uh, highest appearance maker this game. Yeah, Of yeah. all time. 
Then it, oh, no, well, he's tied. I think he's tied now. He's tied. He's tied. Yeah. He, he, yeah. he wants to retire at PSG. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. You know what? It, it, that's the thing, Justin. If I could, especially with the situation now, like you got to sell screener Danilo and Kim Pemba. You got to really? get rid of them. Yeah. yeah. Screener is the biggest one because he has the highest wages. Man, screener. We, we, so we, they good. just got him, right? <laughs> Yo, screen I know, but it's better to send them as quick as possible. It's my, if you keep them for too long, their value is just going to plummet even more and more and more. Yeah. Wait, so are you saying screen year is the flop? But screen year is a flop? I mean, he came for free, so it's very hard calling him a flop. Yeah, well, underwhelming. No, I mean, like, talent wise. What do you mean, yeah, talent wise? But, but I don't even blame it on his quality. I blame it more on profile. PSG is a team that. Attacks a lot, presses the opposition team a lot, which means that our center backs have to defend in space. That is Skriniar's biggest weakness. At Inter, he was always protected by other defenders, by midfielders. Yeah. At PSG, we're expecting our center backs to defend 1v1 situations, which Lucas Hernandez is great at, which Lucas Berardo is good at, which Marquinhos is good at, which a player that we linked with, Lenny Oro, is good at. That's what we need. We need our center backs to be able to defend 1v1 situations. Screener can't. Screener got cooked by that Nikolaisen and, <laughs> and some other bumps, man. Yeah, I mean. And you said, who else do we need to sell? Yeah, Kim Pembe. Kim Pembe got to go, man. Yeah, I'm tired of that master. I, you know, I, I like Kim Pembe just because I think he pairs with the, uh, Marquinhos better. In 2021. No, no. <laughs> Did you watch them in 20? Well, yeah, we haven't, like seen, we haven't seen them in a while. That's... Yeah, but you think it's a good thing for a footballer to be out that much? Plus, he's fat now. He's chubby. And he never cared about his PSG career, man. I don't know. I, I... No, no don't he, say he didn't care um, about his PSG career. Okay, okay. The past two and a half seasons, he's not cared about his career. We got, we got, he see, always we gets got bailed out by the PSG fans. Because he does the mascot duty. I mean, I don't know. Nah, bro, we, we just got to see. He, he converted to Islam, bro. Like, shout out Kempembe, bro. That's my brother. My Muslim brother. I mean, brother. yeah, he, he, he's a brother in religion, but not a brother in a club that I support, man. He's an enemy of the club. He should fucking nah. leave, man. <laughs> I, no, because I feel the same thing with him and Mbappe. Like, Mbappe, it's, man, it has come out that his mm. his clan has been paying off the ultras to not be disrespectful to him. Did you Wait, see the report? That, did, did, you, did, 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 did you see another report? You see another what? report that uh, Campos is paying the, the ultras as well? No. Nah, come on. That, nah, this has to... Fuck, man. Our ultras are so... this. No, no, no. Because the ultras uh, with their new leader, it wasn't like this before. Did, but did, did, you, see leader, the, did you see their banners? Did you see the... He's... Yeah, yeah. They were decrying Lucho, Nasser, and Campos. Yeah. Which is weird. They never do this. They never do this. No, and they were hating on Antero and Enrique. They were saying the only Enrique that we, we, we acknowledge is Lewis. <laughs> So they were taking a shot at Antero, Antero Henry. Uh, yeah, I hate the ultras, man. Like, what the fuck do they know about Antero Henry? Yeah, I'm t is that Roma? That, that's what I'm saying. It's, no, it's Campos. No, Campos. Yeah, Campos. Campos is doing some shit. Campos no, but the snake is Roma Labil, the, the president of the ultras. Because he's a sellout, Tosin. He's a whore. But yeah, Campos is going to... I, Campo, Campo Sloki trying to be PSG's greatest ever sporting director. I really want to see uh, what, what kind of TIFO they put up on Wednesday. Like the banners and stuff. I want to see what they do. They're just, Barca are just not going to survive in that atmosphere. I, I really, one of my favorite ones was um from last year where they had the, they had, um I think it was like a Goku or something. With the the long arm and then it uh, punches the Byron badge. That that was really cool. Yeah, that's what they should be doing, yeah. supporting and making art. But them like having their decision in the stadium, going to Neymar's house, going outside the the PSG center last season, and talking badly about Verratti's mother and Messi and Neymar and Galtier, all of that shit. 
you're not fans. You're enemies of the club. That's that's something that more safe fans would do. That's not something that PSG Ultras would do. They mm-hmm. they think they're part of the club. They're not. They are an ex- but, but you external know, I, I think, part of the club. I think the people that they go after are are um they're they're in, they're in the wrong. But I guess maybe they're not doing it right. I, I don't know because like going to Neymar's house. Neymar was the issue. I, I, I'm not gonna deny, like, like. Man, was, like you don't really you don't really rock with Neymar. That's crazy. No, I mean towards the end, not really. I I just it, it's all about the environment. Like you gotta have someone that that want. Like look at Marquinhos for example. I mm-hmm. love Marquinhos so much because you know he wants to play for PSG with Neymar. Half of Neymar's PSG. No, eighty percent of Neymar's. PSG so what about Mbappe? If he, no, then what no, about no, Mbappe? Listen, listen, listen. You think Mbappe he, always wants to play for PSG? By that, yeah. by what you're saying? Yeah, you but, Mbappe... but but look at look at Neymar. He he already he he no. brings drama, and on top of that, like most of his PSG career was just him being linked back to Barca. Like you don't want that at PSG. So I don't blame the Ultras for doing what they did to him. You don't blame what they did going outside of his house well, I mean, when like, his pregnant wife was in the house. I mean. Like, like what Neymar's done, though. Neymar's... All right, all right you know what? Okay, Neymar's so a snake, about, Neymar's so... a rat, Neymar's a bitch. What about Mbappe? Is Mbappe a snake? Is Mbappe a rat? I think... Honestly, no, because... <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. No. We got another one, man. We got another one. No, no David no, 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 would no, no, love you, man. Bro. David would love you, though. No, I, Junior I, I, would I, love I, him. I, Junior I, would love him. Sure, sure, but I think... I think Mbappe's better than... Neymar in terms of like he's no more no no if, let's not talk about Neymar let's purely talk about Mbappe is Mbappe a rat has he lied to us well in what way in what way fans multiple ways like how how is he lying when he oh, extended he's for times. example he when he extended for example he said I extended for the fans for the club uh, I want to win the club his yeah. first Champions League but he's been uh, talking with Real Madrid ever since he made that yeah. extension. He sent a letter to the PSG office only two weeks after that extension that he was not going to extend, which means he had already been and, planning leaving PSG yeah. when he extended. And months before that, and months before that in 2021, he said that if I were to extend at PSG, it would be it for would be the a long, long term. term. It would be yeah. for the long term. But I mean, hasn't he but also agreed true? to? He's agreed to like wave off the bonus fees and all um, nonsense, all nonsense. It's, all it's, my, yeah. it's my, that was bonus fees. If he extended his one-year contract, I, I, I yeah. thought those were fees where, like, he, he would he would be guaranteed them if he played this season. No, that was for, he's already received for this season. That's for oh. next season. Why? Well, I, I even I'm heard not, not I even heard that he, he was gonna give some of his signing on bonus from Real Madrid. That's that's right. a fucking yeah, lie. That part you know, is a fucking lie. Yeah, the only reason that report came out is he wants to improve uh, his relationship with the fans. He's always yeah. doing. For example, you know when he went up to the stands against Monaco, yeah. and wearing his shirt, didn't say with. Then his entourage and clan were coming up with BS reports that PSG management told him to go there. Like their clan always tries to. Blame someone else when Mbappe does disgusting shit. <laughs> it happens all the time. I mean, so, yeah, yeah, please stop that. defending. Yeah, you gotta stop defending. Like, bro, he, he's a snake as well. Biometric, like. Yeah, sure. I mean, I, I mean, I, 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 but but we were talking about the the ultras and, and their reactions. Like, I think that just shows their their passion. Like, I don't. No, the Maybe. ultras Mbappe be paying them off. Like he, the ultras are just—they're passionate, obviously, on Champions League nights. Nice. But honestly, oh, have the ultras are. really has the ultras have the ultras passion really helped us? Like this, see, like bro, I'm not gonna historically. lie. Historically, like UCL on UCL days, like the atmosphere is cr- like all the flares and stuff. Yeah, it's cool, but I don't think UEFA allows that shit. I don't think UEFA allows the flares. Yeah, they get fined every do. time, but who, who cares? I, I'm curious to see Wednesday. I, I want to see what they do. The ultras. I want to see what kind of banner they put up. Mbappe is a rat banner. They should do. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. It, okay, yeah. if he wins PSG, the, if he wins PSG the Champions League, would, would you still consider him a rat? Oh, yeah. obviously. Yeah, but just yeah. because I, he's I he's, just he's bailing on a, he's bailing on a dynasty. After we have done every single thing for him, Ismail. 
and build yes. a whole team around him. Neymar, Lucha in, giving him crazy wage. And Mbappe is like, after you've done all of this for, for me, I'm going to leave you for free. And I'm going to announce this decision in the middle of the season to create as much drama, as much havoc. It's man, you know, every, I've, I've watched predictions yep. about PSG. In every single prediction video from every kind of football fans, 30 seconds into the videos, they say, oh, and he's soon going to get drawn Real Madrid. And he's soon going to draw Real Madrid. How do you think that feels for us PSG fans? No, I'm, yeah, I keep yeah, that's, always that's fucking saying. hearing. When Mbappe scored the goal against Madrid in the Bernabeu in 2022. Yeah. After the goal, they scored. Kylian Mbappe. He's soon a Real Madrid player, but not yet. Yeah. I don't want to fucking hear that about my fucking player. And that's Absolutely. all Mbappe's fault. Because well, he likes the door keep open. Yeah. He's, and he's already made the decision in the uh, in the France. Um, what is it? In the France thingy, when they asked him, you heard what he said? He said, I haven't made a decision. Oh, go and ask him who has told you. He knows better, clearly. Like, shut the fuck up, Mbappe. Or the recent Mar get Marseille game, Ismail, when we won 2 0 at the Velodrome with 10 men, and Mbappe posts this on his, uh, on his Instagram, like we fucking lost 4 0. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think people are looking into that too much. <laughs> But you'll look into the Neymar shit, though. No, I... Bro, but listen, listen. Neymar is just... But you know... Okay, here, here's the difference between Neymar and Mbappe. I, I agree with what you guys are saying. They're the same. They're basically the same. But Neymar... Like, they're is, same. They're both high-maintenance, basically. Yeah, but... Na does, bro, yeah. Na like, Mbappe's more... More, um... Reliable. He, he, no, he... No, no, he's more disguised. Like, he's more... Like, in my opinion, he's more respectful. He... Neymar... No, no, no. Mbappe, Mbappe just lies more. Neymar... Yeah, Neymar is just filterless. He has no filter. You will see his exactly. true intentions. Mbappe hides his disgusting intentions because he wants a good PR. Neymar wants his true PR. Mbappe wants, he always creates this, this gimmick of him, which is not true. That he's a respectable guy, that he respects PSG and all. He doesn't respect PSG. He, he toys with us all the fucking time. He's been negotiating and flirting with Madrid since 2019. Yeah, I mean that's that's another reason I think that once he leaves, that that's a plus because we'll that that'll finally be be like that'll be in the past. Like you won't see other players doing that. Like that won't be an issue at PSG. No, no I'm I'm so happy he's gonna leave. Now, I heard you guys talking before about how they're gonna see PSG. I think next season they're gonna see PSG a bit similarly. You know, a lot of the Liverpools high power is. They enjoy a lot of the Grimaldo, the Verts, the Frimpong. That would be the same at PSG. But most of the credit, I think, will go to Lucha. Similarly, a lot of the credit at Leverkusen goes to Xavi Alonso. Uh-huh. So he, people say, oh, it's Lucha. Because this is just this is just a consensus thing about uh, among football fans nowadays. They always want to give credit to one guy more than everyone else. Hmm. I uh, yeah, it's Bellingham, City, it's De Bruyne or Haaland or Pep, uh, Liverpool, it's Klopp or Van Dijk or Salah. PSG will be Lucho. Maybe if the Billy starts scoring, they will start cropping him. We'll see. Hmm. I see what you're saying, yeah. How long do you guys think Enrique is going to be at PSG for? I mean, it's either three or it's like seven. Hmm. Yeah, it could be really long. I think it's... He could do I'm, what Pep, like, gonna, he has yeah, exactly, unlimited money. Exactly, exactly. exactly. Nasser That's loves him. Uh, he, and he has a young team, Ismail. When you're a manager with a I young agree, team, yeah. you can stay with it for as long as possible. Like the Barca team, the prime started falling off. Neymar left and all of that. And yeah. it was like, yeah, I'm going to leave as well. But this team, it's... Like the average age of the majority of the players is like 23. And with Xavi coming young, Moscardo coming young, Lenioro young, a lot of players will include their young. It's, it's kind of funny. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I, I feel like um, the reason Enrique is even at PSG is because of the, the players themselves. Because like, it, like the, the players themselves, like for example, Mbappe. Mbappe uh, took the uh, Nations League final from Enrique and then Hakimi took Enrique out of the World Cup, yeah. and then he ends he ends up at PSG. So, 
I think that's yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I I, I hope Enrique stays. I I I'm a I think I'm a big fan. I just hope it doesn't go stale at some point. You know? Yeah. I feel like that happens with a lot of managers. Once once the Champions League's out the window, it's it it happens. No, I don't think that'll happen with our players because we have a lot of French players now. Well, you know? that's what I'm saying exactly. That's why I like how PSG we have a lot of French like a players pair of now. So I think okay. I think though that investment will be there. I feel in the latter half of the season, if we were to get knocked out of the Champions League. Um, mm. I, yeah. It, it's going to be interesting on Wednesday. I, I, I don't know. I, part no, of Wednesday's a... No, we're winning the Champions League. I, like, I've, I'm seeing it now. Like, have, But have you have you said stuff like this in, in previous seasons? Like, be honest. Have you act like... Because you just seem so confident. Yeah, every season I say it. You have to speak it. You gotta, yeah. You gotta be positive. But um, I think this season, more so than ever, like I just I look at the landscape, like and none of these teams are really separating themselves from the pack. So yeah, uh-huh. I think PSG. I think PSG are definitely on the level. Like no one's talking about them too. Like no one in the I mainstream. Agree. Is talking about them, and it'll it'll be even worse next season when Mbappe's gone. I don't think anyone will mention PSG. Yeah. No, Mbappe doesn't even have that much PR, man. No, come on, yeah. no, no, but like, like, come on, bro. no, but like in terms of the press, the me- traffic, you know, media traffic and stuff, like they're gonna talk about. I think Mbappe. PSG is only relevant in the media because of Mbappe, because they say he's the, like he's the best in the world. You know. Mm. But yeah, um, if we get if we get Leao, and Leao takes another leap, that that'd be pretty dope. Leao would be he would be a big signing. The only issue is he keeps he keeps saying, like I feel like Leao's the type of player that PSG needs because he he's so loyal to his club. Like you see what he says to AC about AC Milan when 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 yeah Leal's no no like, he's just being respectful, but. Yeah, exactly. um, but do you see him under the, like the Ramos? Uh, I bro, I I feel like he he he's a PSG guy. Like him and Osima. Like I just don't know. I don't see the need for Austin. I get what you're saying, but I just feel PSG are gonna we're gonna get Holland, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but know. if we don't get Holland, they're gonna get Osima. Hmm. But why wouldn't we get Leo? It's it's easy. Yeah, we're gonna get Leo, Osiman, or get another and a midfielder. Um, probably. I don't know the midfielder we'll get, and then we'll get a defender as well. We're gonna strengthen every sector, man. Defense, midfield, attack. Like. Yeah. So yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be a movie in the summer. So I'm looking at Barca's options for midfield on Wednesday. That yeah, Christensen, Frankie, Gundogan. That's gonna be their midfield. Christensen, Frankie. Christensen is a press trigger. They really play him at midfield. Yeah, like, and they think that's better than what we're we're playing. They think that they have the advantage in midfield with what with, with that with that like they don't really like it's very even and honestly I would tip the scales in our favor with, with us being at home, so. Yeah, I mean the the odds, the odds are um, like if you look at the stats or like the favorites, I think it shows PSG is a big favorite. Yeah, uh, according to Sofa Score. Barca, I think, have a 65 or 70 percent uh, win rate. It's voted by just Sofa Score users. Uh, if it's voted, then uh, yeah. If you have it as a vote, I think like oh, Barca fans will flood yeah, it. You you could put Barca against Real Madrid or Man City. The, Barca will have the. Mm. the you actually, according to Google, according to Google, we have 49 percent chance to win. Barca twenty six. Yeah. I so mean, Google is, Google is smart a bit. And then they haven't done for the away one. 
Yeah, I, I think the 49 to 26 is more accurate. Yeah. But even 25% draw, like... Mm-hmm. I, I think... If it were to be a draw, I don't know. I, 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 I don't see... I don't see it being a draw. Yeah, I don't see it being a draw. I don't think. I don't if it's think a draw, it's what like draw? To, what type of scoreline would it be if it's a draw? Like, a, I, you know, know what's funny? I, I would even mind if it was a draw, just just because it. You could go to their stadium and get a result. I don't think it's it's hard. I agree. You know how many teams this season have walked like walked into that stadium and fun. Yeah. No, like I think we're gonna win both games. I expect us to win both games. I just think the moment PSG gets an advantage, it's 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 good because they'll any team that has to play um, aggressively against PSG just opens up chances for counterattacks, and that's what PSG, in my opinion, PSG right now they're 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 best at counterattacking. Yeah, because we have the players for it. So there was a goal that uh, Mbappe scored a few weeks ago. Uh, Colomani assisted him. I don't know. I forgot what game it was, but it was a like, it was a perfect example of like the counterattacking that PSG plays. Is it the Montpellier game? The finish with the left foot. The second goal, yeah, second goal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep, against Montpellier. Yep. Yeah, that yeah. was a great. That was a great counter. That's that's why Colo could be a candidate for to start for, for, for against against Barca. Nah, come on, bro. Trolling. What did you say? This guy thinks that <laughs> Colo Mani could start. Well, yeah, he could. He could. I, he, and then it would be yeah, and then it would be similar to like the the Marseille game. When he started there on that right, or even in the Dortmund game, the last group stage game. Yeah, that game we should have won. Because would be like a constant threat. I, I think it's between him and Kang. <laughs> this Gonzalo hype. It's only PSG fans saying it. Lucho well, has never know. considered I, Gonzalo the high up. I think Enrique could play a, a formation where Mbappe, Dembele, and whoever the third person is just keep changing uh, uh, across the front front line. So yeah, that, that no would be Barcola game. then. Yeah, exactly. Because if you play Barcola and they are, they're all interchanging, that makes it super hard for someone like a Rao or yeah. a man one. And they've done that in the past. PSG has done that in the past. That, all, honestly, I don't know. Because with Barcola, he's either terrible. Or he, I mean, not terrible, but he's either like quiet or he has a really good game. If you're doing a... Uh, if you're doing 1v1s, yeah, you definitely want Barcola. I don't know. I, I personally think you want pace against Barcelona. And if you have someone like Barcola, I, I think that I think that makes more sense, in my opinion. Oh, wow. Well, Gilker is. Say it again? Where'd you, where'd you see that report, Thompson? No, I'm just looking at the... Oh, he's saying uh, inside actor. Uh, but yeah, people, I think that's been it. Yes, sir. Uh, it's my end. Yes, sir. It was a pleasure having you on. And uh, I you're welcome to be uh, on anytime you want. Just DM me on Twitter, and I will hook you up sure. with, as this time, all right? This yes, is the sir. first time you've been here, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. I mean, I watch right. your videos, but just, this is the first just time. Just get off the Mbappe dick a bit. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. We'll, hey, we'll, we'll, be, here for two, we'll be here Tuesday <laughs> for a pre-match podcast, straight oh, after sure. the, the City Real game. Per- perfect. What time is it for, for you guys? 5 32 in the morning. Oh, yeah, uh, 10 32. 10 th- oh, you're central as well, yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, we're, we're from America. So, you see, you watch the games around 
what is it like? You said it's five a.m. for you, so you watch it nine p.m. your time. Me, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm the same time as France, Central European time. Oh, okay. Yeah, we we see it in the in the afternoon, two p.m. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. No, we'll be there. I'll be there Tuesday for sure. You sure? Uh, it's fun. It's actually funny because when, when I see you react to all the goals that PSG score, like your your mic, the sound barrier breaks. I don't. I don't. <laughs> Wait, did it, did, did it fuck up today? Do you know if it fucked up today? I, I, I don't know. Actually, I think it did. I don't know. But every other game uh, I've watched, it's funny. I need to <laughs> fix it, man. I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> Not for sure. We'll see, you, we'll see you Tuesday, then. All right, then it's man. You take right, care. Y'all. Take care. Y'all be good. Tosin, I hope I see you on uh, Wednesday post-match podcast, which means PSG win. And a good win. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir, yeah. Bro, we're going to win. We're going to win. It's just uh, sometimes I, I got to play. I got to play the other side, you know, but, you know, just to temper expectations, know. temper expectations. But yeah, it's going to be a dub. It's going to be a dub. Because we're at the crib, bro. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, no, plus Lucha uh, likes to finish it off in the first leg. Or at least get a two-goal advantage so the other one is more comfortable. Uh, but yeah, Tosin, pleasure having you on as usual. And see you soon. Beautiful Paris Saint-Germain family. That's video from your boy PSG. And to all the Barca fans that are, you know, streaming into this channel, as I've always said, you may not like my opinion. You may not agree with it. But this is the true Paris Saint-Germain perspective. And uh, yeah, I'm glad for, you know, all the viewers I'm getting, all the likes, all the comments I'm getting. I'm trying to answer to every single comment and everything. And once again, a huge appreciation for the motivation that everyone that has been watching my channel, including, you know, the majority of the PSG fans and the majority of people that are always here. No, Joseph, he won't. All right, Camila, I will do that. But that's been it for my boy, PSG. And as usual, ale, ale. Ale. Paris, allez, allez.